Greetings all, this is your host and commander, and OBS Sign 8 is not going to be taped today. Um, can I get a mic check uh, from the uh, chat? Since every time I start one of these streams, my mic has proven that it really doesn't like me. So, there we go. So, for those who were um, here last time, this, as I go right now, should look familiar. Let me just put it away. The radioactive... Okay, music's too loud. Alright. How's that sound? Is that doing better? It's a little hard for me to always tell what it sounds like. Um... Okay, testing, one, two, three, four. Okay, all right, there we go. I'm kind of echoing, just the mic. Every time I stream, there's always this. So people, if you, if you watch the previous stream, this might look familiar. This is the radioactive hot dog. And, of course, I try and change to the radioactive hot dog, and it decides it's not going to. Hold on. Window capture. Add a window capture. Select the hot dog. Now I've got two hot dogs. Why? It... Okay, this is fine. So anyway, the goal of the stream is to try and upgrade through every version of OS2. Last time we got through OS2 2.0, uh, sorry, 1.0, and we upgraded all the way to 2.0. We even, even managed to get to, um, we even managed to get high resolution, although we are still stuck with 16 colors. Now, if OBS will agree with me, there we go. Hey, look, the fail count's still there. Uh, we'll bring that back when we need it. The goal at this point is to try and see if we can finish it. And I can already know some lag. So we got OS2 2.0 to boot last time we were here. We didn't actually do any exploration um, because this was the first version with Workplace Shell. And yeah, I figured at this time of day is... Um, is at this point um a lot of people are going to listen to this for background music but we're going to see i it's a lot of it's experimenting to see what works best what what doesn't so um for debian 10 uh or to compile pcm this is a pretty old version i've got i've got v16 which was a while ago i remember i had to go hunting for some dependencies but it wasn't that hard so if we look around in workspla Workplace Shell, which was the quote-unquote killer feature of OS2 2.0, um, if we open, you, like, I don't know how well it worked in practice, but this this is basically what o um, IBM spent two years di doing to compete with it, uh, Windows. So if we go into OS2 programs, we can see that the programs that were migrated from um, the earlier version. So we still have Sidekick. Hey, and this time I didn't have to edit the config files to get this to work, which is kind of a big deal because the last few times we've tried to um, do um, upgrade across versions, I had to edit uh, uh, config.sys to fix the lib path. So that's, that's actually progress. So this application, and I just noticed I, sh I should have noticed this in the past. It is a Y2K compliant application. That is indeed uh, May 5th, which means it also did the leap year correctly. Because for those who didn't know, 2000 is an exception to the normal leap year rules. So yeah, so so far we've gone, we, you know, we have five years of backwards compatibility. It's not all that bad. So, okay, definitely a, good place to start let's check the other applications we're running on some pretty high-end hardware so yeah you know i just noticed that i didn't put this in this is information that came in, in sidekick 
I don't want to know what happens if you call those phone numbers. This was what shipped with the product, so I'm going to assume those were Borland support numbers, and we're going to move right along. So then we have Notepad, which nothing special there, and oh, that's interesting. The calculate. This is not. This is the. This is not the Borland calculator. This is the. This is the Willow calculator we installed. So, um, I'll explain in a moment. So, Bor Sidekick. If we um, if we open the file system, I think I gotta go to drives. Yeah. Okay. If I go to drives and then I go to Sidekick. Calc. This is what it should have opened, um, because this is the Sidekick calculator. So you know, it's basically just a punch tape sort of thing. Although, how do I multiply nine times nine and get eighty one zero 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 one? I think the fail counter needs to come back because um, that's a fail. That's a fail. Do we now? The question is: Do we chat? Do we reset the fail counter back to zero, or do we continue from the fails from last time? And you know, last time we were here, I was talking about emulating math copro bugs. And <laughs> yeah, okay. So the the fail counter is coming back. Hold on. Let let us let us bring the fail counter back. So we were at 1337 fails. So I think we're going to go to 13 for uh, how am I going to do this? We're going to go to 140001 fails just so it fits on screen. There we go. The fail counter has continued. So now we've had uh, we've had a floating point amount of fail. Mm. Just Gotta love those fails. Gotta love all those fails all the way through. So anyway, so the reason I bring this up, um, so we see that all the Borland sidekick stuff from OS2 1.0 is still working. I don't have that many applications for OS2 1.0. There was pretty much none. Um, the big ones were Word 5.0. Didn't I install Word? I may mean, not. No, I didn't. I did install the applets. This is what's called Willow or the Windows Link um, uh, Link Libraries for OS 2. And if you look at this, this is a native version of Solitaire ported from Windows... Um, 3.0 directly to OS2 and it is actually a complete collection of the Windows core libraries. Microsoft had intended this as a retail product that would allow easy porting of Windows to um, OS2. I don't know if it ever actually gone released. The If it did, the SDK has never shown up. So, um, but Microsoft had quite a few of these, what was known as their WISE integration kits. Like if we go to help here and we go to about Solitaire, we can see that this identifies it as Microsoft Windows Solitaire version 3.0. So beyond that, this was the first version of OS2 that included um, WinOS2. So if I go to, let's see here. At least it's using standard desktop um, shortcuts, like if I right click. So I go to Windows programs, it should show everything it imported from Windows. Um, so I think I gotta go, it's been a long time since I used this version of OS 2. Yeah, okay. So um, in this version, you had to go full screen. And wow, this is, this is broken. This is just flat out broken. This is probably because, oh look, the radioactive hot dog part two lives on. So, okay, so people, so 
We oh, I just realized we lost the, the uh we lost the picture. And if hold on. G give me thy cursor back. Okay. Okay, there's the picture. Now if I hit that. Yes, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I mean so um, what happened when I loaded the Win OS 2 environment is I got a whole lot of error messages, and then we got the slightly less radioactive hot dog. So, when we had OS 2 1.2 installed, I manually installed Windows 3.0. That is an unsupported feature of OS 2. So, um, it makes sense that um, you could do it. It looks like Win OS 2 tried to migrate settings and sort of failed miserably. Yeah, okay, restart Win OS 2. Yeah, see, those are the errors I got. It's it's not finding its group files. So that tells me that there's definitely config issues. Can we get logs up? Um, Dungeon Seeker, when you say logs, do you mean like chat logs? Um, normally I depend on YouTube to do that, although I do realize in the previous stream that didn't quite work the way I had intended. So, um, I'll keep it in mind for future ones. I don't want to do it for this one because every time I futz with the stream, magic happens and not in a good way. Oh, installation logs. Um, did OS2 even leave? I don't even know if there is an installation log on the system. I could look. I don't think there is one. Um, we're definitely, if you want to see 1.0 to 2.0, it's available as a stream archive on my channel. Um, because I live streamed all that. So this is a follow up to the previous live stream um if there is i would think it'd be in dash os2 let's take a look i mean we have a lot of new features in this version of os2 uh there's the dual booting set boot which was how you dual boot between daws and um os2 if you don't have os2 2.0 has a fairly fancy boot thing i don't remember what's um for dual booting but that was apparently it kept the old ones around like some of these are definitely upgrades like this oh no this fixed disk utility is actually for this version of os2 see so here we've got e we've seen e before yeah so all these are new and replacements for the originals that were here. If I had installed an extended edition, which was the server version of OS2, uh, we've probably had a lot more interesting things on the file system. So beyond that, and we're going to get to upgrading here in a bit. I just I want I'm I'm mostly just getting us caught up with where we were. So the other big things that came from this point is we can now run multiple DAWs applications at once, including, if I can get the corner of it, including Rogue. Come on. So end commander. And it plays just fine. Although, hold on. It sort of plays just fine. I, it pro that's more of a keyboard issue than anything else. So, this was a big thing um, that this was the first version of OS 2 that could run multiple DOS applications. It's what, um, it's why IBM branded OS 2 as a better DOS than DOS and a better Windows than Windows. But ironically, design flaws and presentation manager meant that you were actually better off running DAWs and Windows applications than OS 2 because presentation manager was kind of garbage under the hood. So, and now, so PVC, to answer your question, um, HPF 
ISS, IFS was a separate module. It's been a separate module since it was an add-on module for Microsoft OS 2 1.2. It was available in LAN Manager as HPFS and HPFS 386. If we, let's just end the quest, exit, that's fine. If we go to E, I think it's loaded. Although maybe not, because maybe I don't have... Yeah, if we go into autoexec or config.sys, we probably find it here. There's an entire programming interface for adding file systems to OS2 called the installable file system. Uh, yeah, no, that's actually what IFS stands for which was a concept that was copied for NT. Um, writing OS2 file systems is exceedingly non-trivial, but Arcadia OS and Ecom Station have support for FAT32. I've heard that there's read-only support for NTFS and there's support for IBM's JFS. Um, PVC, um, ex IFS actually ex uh, exists in Windows NT. The thing is that Microsoft didn't publish the SDK for it. I want to say not until 2000, although maybe it may have been as late as XP. It is documented in later versions, even though the interface has been there since NT3.1. 3, 3 so I think that's the bucket tour of this version. So Right now, the biggest problem is we don't have CD-ROM support, and that's partially because um, PCM doesn't support it, uh, or more specifically, it doesn't support something I can emulate and that OS2 supports. We should, hypothetically, get CD-ROM support with the next version of OS2. So, um, I think it's time we... we dive right ahead and go to the next version. Chat, do you guys want to see us go to OS2 um, 2.1? This will be the last floppy-based upgrade. So, um, or is there anything you guys want me to see, do, and or explore before we go here, there? Because, um, you know, like I said, there is a fair number of games and things. Like, there's a tune editor. We could try. Yes, and I'm going to knock on wood. We could try and get sound support working in OS2. Okay, all right. Chat has made themselves known. We are, are going to upgrade. We are, we're just, let's, let's go. All right, so to do the upgrade. All right, uh, David, have a wonderful day. Thanks for dropping by. So the upgrade process is pretty simple. I think, let me go full screen. I think I made a backup of this this uh, disk image already. I d yes, I did. I made an OS2 2.0 backup. Okay, which means I think we're ready to do it. So let's put the disk in. So OS2 2.1. Uh, yeah, we're going to... There is a way to do it from the CD-ROM. We're going to do it from floppies. This was actually the version of OS2 I ran. I ran 2.1 for a long time before I switched. I, I never upgraded to warp. Uh, come on. There we go. So, all right. So, to do this, we just need to do shutdown. Yep. Hey, at least on OS2, you don't have to click start to actually shut down. So this will lock the file system, and then it tells us to give it the free finger salute if we want to reboot. All right, here we go. Come on. Fingers crossed that this works. Fingers crossed that this works. Okay, so it should start booting from the floppy. And I believe 2.1, I, I don't know if 2.1, no, it was Warp was the first one to have CD-ROM support out of the box. 
uh, mostly because that's when um, a AT API drives became common. So, yep, we've got the blue screen of installation. We've had surprisingly few trap errors, so who knows? Please work. Please work. Please work. All right. So, well, if you guys really want to support me, get the message out on Twitter. Help get people on stream. Right now, we've got 41 concurrent viewers. Uh, my record for streams is getting up to 200. So, I'm... Um, Let's let's see how many people we can jo make join the camp of the radioactive hot dog. And I also realized we lost the background music at some point. So while that installs, we're going to get some music going. We are. I'm actually using a soundtrack on Epidemic Sound called Tech Unboxing. If it will cooperate. There we go. All right, stream. Just let me know if the music is too loud. Okay. Come on. Come on. No traps, no traps, no traps, no traps, no traps, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Okay, that's a really good sign. That means the OS2 kernel successfully loaded. And the following screens will guide you through installing OS2. The OS, I like how it says operating system to program onto the hard disk. So, okay. All right. Um, just as a note, most virtual machines will not be able to install OS2 because OS2 uses some... Hold on, I got to lower the background music. Um, because we had a floating point... Um, so phones with in-depth, we had a floating point error earlier. So to show the fail count, it's at 14001 because... Apparently in OS2 land, nine times nine is eighty-one zero 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 one. Because math is hard. Math is very hard. So yeah, anyway. Uh note to current users of OS2 2.0 uh 2.0, that's us. This version of OS2 2.0 supports Windows 3.1 programs. This was the only time that the version of Windows that shipped with OS2 up, got upgraded. So it, um, let's see here, if you're installing over an existing install, existing OS2 features can no longer be used unless you reinstall them during this installation. Okay, all right, um, that's fine. I, I don't, I have this, you, you know what that dialog box reminds me of is the, really scary ones you get when you upgrade modern versions of Windows saying this is unsupported but you can try it if you like and if anyone who's ever tried to do it with an in-place Windows server upgrade knows what I'm talking about so we're going to accept disk C uh, and hopefully we won't accidentally for accidentally the hard drive so OS2 2.1 I believe will take us all the way to uh, 1994. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to format. We will want to switch to HPFS at some point. The reason for that is when we get to warp or warp 4.5, it's going to prompt to install the, the OS2 SDK. Um, and the SDK does not work correctly without HPFS. I've learned this the hard way. I think it's a problem with long file name support um, because OS2 doesn't have any concept of VFAT, so you only get long file names if you have HPFS installed. So, okay. Um, Dragon Seeker, there was an actual server version of OS2. Um, there was the 16, there, there were actually multiple ones, if you can believe it. There was Microsoft Land Manager 16-bit server. There was OS2 Extended Editions from IBM. There was the Small Business Server, and then when there was one or two other ones. So, but so far the install process uh, is going nicely. Benny, you need libsdl, you need the Allegro um, library. Um, 
there are build instructions on the list that you need for um, packages to be installed. So um, if you Google for it, you can get the Debian package list. So I've done this install so many times. What it's going to do is it's going to ask us for the first five disks. It's going to ask for the installation disk. And then it's going to go full round. And then we need to we need to determine if the radioactive hot dog will live another day and then we need to find a driver so we can see the glorious high definition radioactive hot dog in 256 colors um os2 did not ship with a web browser until warp that was 3.0 uh not net positive i think it shipped with communicator but I don't remember if Communicator was on the disc at that point. It it was a really... Uh, if you thought Microsoft was bad about early internet, they got nothing on OS2 because TCP IP was not standard in the box. There's a special add-on you have to install for 2.0 and 3.0. So... Um, I'm currently, uh, so to answer the questions in thing, so for Billa, yes, you're right, it was Web Explorer, which I think was just a branded mosaic. I, I really want to say that was just basically mosaic. Um, and then, um, du Dungeon Seeker, at the moment, we are emulating a trident video card uh one of the more crappier ones but one that might actually have a driver i was actually correct it actually wanted the install disk back so um it might show you how many times i installed os2 back in the day so blotch repair thank you so much um I like doing live streams a lot. Um, they sometimes take quite a bit of out of me uh, for those who don't stream it's difficult to explain but there's been some real life stuff that i'm not really going to go into i haven't been able to do any video editing as a, a matter of course but i do have time to do streaming so i've kind of decided that if i can't make a video for a given week i'm going to try and do a stream health permitting so i'm hoping this will be a relatively regular fixture on my channel i i'm hoping people a, don't have problems with that there are some people that really hate live streams um but that's kind of what i'm hoping you know i i, I i'm never going to be like lgr and get a video out per week there there's too many things that for the time being is not going to let that happen but i got something new and shiny on that bookcase that i am looking forward to doing a stream and it starts with soul and ends with Eris. Let's see here. Yep. So, yep. I um I won't do premieres except for very special videos. Um, I have a video planned for the one year anniversary of this channel, although technically that's already passed, which I'll probably do as a premiere, but I don't really like the premieres feature. Yes. Uh, okay, so this is going to reboot fine. You know what? I'm going to tease you guys. I'm going to tease you guys. I have in the box Sun Solaris 7, which is waiting for a rainy day and, a, and the right stream. You know, it helps if I put the box the other way around. So... I've got some I've got some goodies on the bookshelf waiting for you. So anyway, while we were doing that, um, and I will note that when we do Sun uh, Solaris, that's the version that works with Internet Explorer for Unix. I sadly don't have any Spark hardware left. So, chat, I want you to do. Do we want to learn how to use a mouse, or do we just want to install features? Um, Dungeon Seeker, so for Spark, uh, for Solaris, to answer, so, uh, you know, I just remember people want me, um, Solaris was available for Intel x86 and Spark, that is the Spark version of it, but Qume can emulate that. 
So, um, yes. So if you want to see me suffer through installing Solaris, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you really enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon because, yes. So, um, yes. Oh, God, the Sun Interactive System. I forgot about that. That that's that, that that has open look on it. Oh god, that is an uh that it's either open look or CDL. Okay, so I think we're going to skip on how to how to learn how to use a mouse. I think we're just going to select features to install. So, okay, so we have a serial mouse that is correct. Ooh, CD-ROM support. What do we support? We we don't support anything. <laughs> I'm clicking the buttons. There's no there's no CD-ROM support. You you guys seeing this? Okay. Uh, can I install a SCSI adapter? No, I can't install a SCSI adapter. This is. Uh, if I just check the boxes, what happens? Uh, maybe it'll prompt me. So, Serial device support is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So super video graphics array. So this is all fine. We will do the other step when we upgrade to the next one. So, all right. Hey, hey, look, CD-ROMs. None of which we support. <laughs> I really shouldn't have been surprised about this. Um... This, however, oh, what? I don't remember which version. Hold on, I'm gonna have to go full screen. Um, so, yes, you can choose one. So, all right, let me go full screen here because I want to see what we actually. If we go to machine, um, because what I want to do is I want to pull up the PCM configuration. I should use 86 box for this. It has better support for these things. Um, let's install the Adapt Tech driver, and let's see if we actually get working SCSI out of that. And this supports an ATZ. All right, so you know, I'm actually not going to do that. We're we'll continue to the next. Now let's. Let, let's let's go for broke. So we want to select that SCSI. Uh, I don't cancel. Okay, so there's the SCSI. And let me go back to this being full screen. Because th th this is going to end badly. I'm not counting this as a fail, even though this is like really garbage UI. Um, all right, so was that CD-ROM drive even listed here? Like, I don't know why there's all these CD-ROMs. All right. Uh, fine, let's just go for it. This is fine. So, and of course I gotta get the chat back. So, all right, anyway, uh, documentation, yes, fonts, yes. What are optional system utilities? I'm just, I'm just curious. Hey, look, uh, backing up your hard drive is an optional system utility. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, nothing here really looks like I care. Oh, God, you can uninstall Solitaire. The horror. I, w I will say that this version of OS 2 comes with quite a few games, but at this point, they were really trying to get people to use OS 2, so let's, let's just go for it. So begin installation. Okay, and we start with disk 6. Um, now, if this is anything like the last upgrade, you'll notice that our Lord and Savior, the radioactive hot dog, is currently missing in action. It should come back after the upgrade process finishes. So, disk 6 is in. Okay. All right. Uh, I actually really like this version of the OS2 logo. I This is generally considered the iconic one. Um... Uh, Will William, it's fine if I deselected it. You you can reinstall it afterwards, although it's kind of obnoxious. It's going to ask me to reinstall every floppy disk. Yeah, the radioactive hot dog will return um, after 
after the upgrade fast. Okay. And the progress bar is always weird in this one because it's the progress per disc. It's not progress towards installing all of OS2. Although I've noticed, oh no, it is actually the same. So it doesn't include the driver discs here. So, so a lot of it is that one of the big things that IBM did to try and get people to use OS2, um, Blotch Repair, I'll actually talk about that in a moment. Um, one of the big things is that after the Microsoft IBM thing, they really tried to give you a lot in the box. Um, if you saw us running OS 2.1.2 or 1.3, it was a very, shall we say, bare bones system. Um, as for OS 2 running um, Windows, um, Microsoft licensed, uh, sorry, Microsoft and OS IBM made OS2 together. It was a joint development agreement between the two companies. Um, and Presentation Manager, that's the UI in OS2, is actually built around Windows 2.0. The intent was that OS2 was going to be the replacement both for the legacy DAWs operating system and the 16-bit versions of Windows. What happened was that OS2, for a multitude of reasons, failed horribly in the market, mostly because it's a bloated giant mess and has some pretty bad integrated design problems that most users won't encounter, but are miserable from a developer's perspective that make it a very unpleasant platform to code for. When Microsoft and OS2 divorced each other rather famously, the two companies retained rights to either end's products of the time. So IBM had rights to use and modify Windows 3.0 and 3.1. Conversely, Microsoft retained rights to HPFS and the OS2 APIs which actually Windows NT up until XP could run console mode OS2 applications and with an add-on library can run some presentation mode ones. So um, uh, PVC, yes, it is actually possible to replace Presentation Manager. The only thing that is known to work is what's known as T-Shell, which was the text-based interface from OS2 to um, 1.0 but it is technically possible to replace Presentation Manager. It's actually listed in config.sys. The biggest problem with Presentation Manager is something that's called the single input queue. Basically, OS2 takes events as a first in, first out list but it's one queue for the entire system. So if any one application crashes, it can crash all of OS2, even though the operating system is preemptively multitasked. So in practice, you have all the bloat of Windows NT and the stability of Windows 3.1 or 95. That on top of that, on top of that meant that OS2 had very bad driver compatibility because due to very difficult and questionable decisions because OS2 supported the 286. The driver architecture can be best described as on drug, on drugs. Um, Benny, um, so catching up with chat questions, Benny, you'll have to find a set of ROMs for it. Uh, I can't say anything else just because of YouTube's conduct. Um, and for Life Life LP, this will be a VOD, but YouTube blotched the last VOD. It became available 24 hours later. Excuse me. Make sure you're subscribed. I send out a community post when the VOD is processed and up. I also sometimes edit it just to remove excessive waiting or if things go wrong. Um, I think what happened with the last VOD is that Comcast basically went you know what comcast does um and youtube had some issues creating a vod 
of the stream going down the tubes. Um, I have made some adjustments to my settings. I've got no warnings. I've got excellent cl excellent connection. And YouTube says that I'm sending enough bitrate. So I'm thinking this VOD is going to behave. I hope. I don't know. Um, things. So, you know, magic and ponies and more ponies. And there is something I do kind of want to try. Apparently, it was mentioned in the comments um, that partition magic can convert um, FAT16 partition. For the, we had some partitioning issues in part one, but there is no. There are two ways to upgrade from FAT to HPFS. Windows NT can do it. Versions 3.1 and 3.5, not 3.51 or four. And um, apparently Partition Magic can do it. Um, I've got the rescue discs for Partition Magic. I've never actually tried, though. So, who knows? Okay. So, files are installed. We are now on disk 14. And I'm actually going to see if we... This was the first version of OS 2 with... Oh, it may have been an add-on. Um... A lot of stuff that would become OS2 warp or add-ons. I don't remember if multimedia support was in this version of OS2. So, yeah. I am using PCM v16. I have I, I need to just upgrade and compile a new one. It, it just has to happen. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. The, the crank is going. The next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try and find some drivers. I'm really hoping we will. All right. We're on disk 15 of 17. So, uh, see, I this like I said, this is the version of OS 2 I used extensively. This was the one where they started implementing OpenDoc. They implemented technologies from ta uh, ta uh, Tygent. Ta was it Tangent? Tangent or Tygent? I don't know if Jason Stevens is still in the chat, too. Neo Z to uh, fill me in. This was back when IBM was still partnering with Apple to combat OEL. They were working on creating a power PC, the Power PC platform um, for the AIM Alliance. They even had a version of OS 2 for Power PC, which I would love to show on channel, but holy cow, finding the, the hardware. The, the hardware is hard. That... That, that that didn't come out the way I intended it to come out. Uh, anyway. All right. So, OS2. Why do I keep losing the audio? I, I think Epidemic Sound is... Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I meant to say OLE. That's Object Linking and Embedding. Um, it was basically the underlying technology that made Office really popular because it let it um it basically made everything an integrated experience do we have music hold on yeah that's not the music i want let's let's find some good music uh you know here's a soundtrack called space exploration yeah okay yeah, yeah, that works. That works. We'll we'll leave it on that. So it's hard to pick out good tracks because I don't know all of them. So um, I've done this on real hardware. It's actually twenty nine discs um, plus another ten to fifteen if you install the fix packs. Um, it was available on CD ROM. This was the first version on, available on CD ROM. I have never gotten the CD ROM installer to work. I have tried. Um, I think a lot of it is just because SCSI and SCSI and, um, most things don't emulate SCSI that well. Plus the support for the needed versions of SCSI is not great. Yeah. So, all right. So we are up to 72 concurrent views. Very nice. I... Folks, really, 
every time I stream, it's amazing. I mean, you guys have had, I've had streams where I've had 200 people and it is so humbling. So I really do appreciate all your support. So, okay, we've now reached the second half of the installation. So now we get to migrate, we get to configure the desktop and we get to do more migration. So, okay, so we are going to preserve the existing WinOS 2 desktop. Uh, it's going to prompt us to do migration. Uh, I don't want to do drive D. Oh, it found a lot of stuff. Okay, migrate. Okay, exit. That's fine. Uh, automatically update. So that's all the migration steps done. Let's see here. Ect 8989. Great. Okay, we're now done with the main disks. We are now on to the printer disks. Jason, uh, Neo Z, they had OS2. I mean, I know, I know you got OS2 one free to see a, um, to see a, uh, bleh, a SCSI CD ROM drive, but it's not that easy. Yes, you, oh, yes, if you install no printer, you still have to put all free printer disks in. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to this project, but at some point, and you know, this is the at some point, I do really want to do a, um, I want to do a land manager stream. Okay, we just inserted driver disk one, we put two in and we put one in. I want to put OS2 on Lovecraft's 486, uh, the Intel professional workstation. So, yep, yeah, okay. So now we're back on disk one. Now we have to do the driver display disks. God, installing OS2 from floppies is not this obnoxious. And I have OS2, on, uh, not OS2, Netware on floppies on, the, on my bookshelf behind me. I've installed it on the ThinkPad from real floppies. It's not as obnoxious as this. So, yep. Let's see here. Yep. So botch repair. Um, I did the stuff on real hardware. So yep. The. So Jason Stevens, how are you going to do it? OS two. It. One day we should dive deeper into thirty two. L. No, no. Neozed. That is the path to madness. Um, LX is the binary format used by OS2. Um, you know how Windows uses portable executable or PE. They're all EXE files, but the specifics vary. Um, and I, uh, what, what NeoZ is suggesting is the path to madness in such a way that the madness would numb on my soul and... I no. All right, we're taking odd. Uh, okay, let's find out if the radioactive hot dog lives. Do, will it live or will it die? Okay. Well, it's booting. It's booting. Well, no, no. It shipped with free discs, but uh oh. Okay, no, that's the tutorial. No, the radioactive hot dog might be dead. Okay. No, we lost the radioactive hot dog. And why do I have scroll bars? Why does my desktop have scroll bars? We lost the hot dog. The hot dog is no more. No. Okay, time. let's make a new hot dog. Let's see here. Let's go to system setup, color palette. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you do this. Do you just Let's see here? Drag item to target window. Hold Alt for system default change. Oh man, I forgot. I forgot how. Uh, oh, I remember how this works. Okay, so this is how you change individual things. I think you gotta go to. Uh, God damn it! I've never actually tried to do. 
Um, drag scheme to individual window. I'm dragging. It's not doing anything. Okay. So, all right. So this is a different scheme. I, I, it feels so menacing calling it schemes. So, okay. All right, so if I drag this over here, I grab autumn. See, I, this should be tearing off. Uh, oh, it's... Okay, you guys can't see it, but I have to use the, the right mouse button. But holy cow, that is an abomination. So this window, I themed this window. I didn't theme the rest of the system. So now the system's set up. I, uh, oh God, that is just horrible. That is just horrible. Let's, all right, let's, let's, let's make a new radioactive hot dog. Uh, let's see here. So let's edit color. How, how radioactive do we want our hot dog? And I just noticed, I think we're in 256 color mode. Actually, I think we are because, let's see here. We need a very neon, neon pink. Oh, there we go. That'll do. So, yeah, that'll do. That will do. That will do, pig. Um, that wasn't the UI element I was trying, trying to adjust. That re. <laughs> I forgot. This is just bad. All right, uh, let's see here. We want, let's make the frame yellow. Yeah, let's make the frame bright yellow. Oh boy, this is, this is gonna be blindingly bad. Okay, uh, application workspace. Let's go with cyan. Okay, that one actually did something I thought it would be. Okay. See, I can't even click on these elements. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. Okay. Ah. Now, hold on. We're going to default this. Now I understand what I'm doing. So, active title background. The radioactive hot dog returns. There we go. And then active text background. We're going to make a bright neon green. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, this is going to look amazing when we, uh, we get rid of the dithering. Because I am going to install proper drivers for it. Uh, what color should we make the background chat? I think blinding orange sounds right. Oh, oh, it's, it is glorious. We've got the bun, we've got the mustard, we've got the ketchup. We need, we need uh, the dialogue background. It has to, it has, just has to be bright, bright red. Uh, you know, that needs to be a slightly different one. That, that, that's not the red it needs to be. This needs to be more. Let's go with a more seafoam green. Yeah. Well, it's going to be amazing when we remove the dithering because it's just going to look so wonderfully hideous. Hideous. And then we're going to make the inactive ones bright red. And I'm going to actually choose a color that's not dithered. Uh, nope, I didn't actually want to edit the text. The text I actually want, I do actually need this to be usable, so I can't go complete, complete crazy. But chat, keep throwing out names because I am watching, even if I'm not responding. So if you find if something that is properly hideous, well, I I gave it ketchup accents. I gave it I gave it some serious accents. Um, okay, let's see here. Inactive title background? What's this one at it? Is that the one I'm looking for? Yes, that is the one I'm looking for. Um, okay. Here we go. Here we go. 
That was not what I was aiming for. Let's try that again. Oh, you know what? Let's go, let's go with... Yes! Yes! And you know, what's worse is I remember people losing hours of their life trying to make this work. Or doing this on classic Windows because th this was a big thing. I want to say until 95 or maybe even 98 um, where people used to customize it. it. XP is where that really died off with the um, with the built-in themes. But this used to be such a big deal. So I'm going to make this black. And then we're going to make the menu text radioactive yellow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so green for the active menu. Um, I'm afraid to know what this is going to be like. <laughs> we actually, actually, you said it. Uh, let's see here. I think, let's see, your menu background is black. All right. What else needs to be, chat, for out things that still need to be edited, we need to edit the icon text has to be white. Like I said, we still need to be able to see what we're doing. Uh, sort of. Oh, I can say a shadow text? Hold on. That changes everything. Oh. It's, it's like CGA, but with more dithering. Yeah, so I can't figure out what this open one is. And then we still need to change the application workspace. Let's, um... Let's go with a nice cyan here. Okay. Which really just leaves the 3D bright, which I think we're going to make. Uh, let's make it a puke, puke color. I don't know what that did, but it just got interesting. Ah, uh, here we go. Scroll bar, background. There we go. There we go. Uh, I don't... Yes, we will take a look at the wallpapers. Um, but none none can replace this horror. Okay, that... Okay, even for me, that's that's a little bit too much. Um, let's, yeah, let's just make that black. Yeah. Um... Yeah, okay. Why why did I do this? Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe I should make a fundraising goal that for every bit of every bit of every donation or Patreon subscriber I revert a UI element. <laughs> you know what's going to get better is when we install actual video drivers and the uh the the dithering goes away. <laughs> I, I I like how this one window is like, yeah yeah I'm I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not doing this. Um, you know the worst part is that in some with the exception of the white text on orange horribleness, um, this is more readable than how and more colorful than what OS two was like out of the box. I mean, just look at it. It, it. It's it's such a glorious abomination. It's a crime against computing. Um, 
I'm going to take odds if the radioactive hot dog. Okay, so before we do anything else, we need to back up the VM image. So, um, because we're going to actually install some graphic drivers here, because we need a, uh, we need a non-dithered. Um, yeah, we need we. As much as I like this, I actually. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Hold on, hold on. I I gotta go full screen. The um. Uh, this one. I. That was not the one I wanted. Guys, look at the menu. This is surprisingly usable. In a oh my god, please kill me sort of way. I, I, I mean, you can really see... You know what? These are the uranium f fuel rods. It's In some ways, it's probably a good thing that you can't customize windows like this anymore. Oh, this is... This is just a... So, I, how does this work? If I just grab an element from this... So if I just grab an element, oh, oh, that is so much easier. Where was this when we were doing this originally? So if I just like grab an element and like paint like this, oh, I can make the bun purple. I can make, we can make the, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. You know what? I do think we can change the font. Can we change, can we make Comic Sans the OS2 system font? We do need to change, uh, we do, there is one change I need to make. I need to, let's see here, uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't think I can change the font, but we can try. System, oh, that is bad. That is bad. Oh, the more I look into it, the worse it gets. Okay, that, that that's an improvement. That's an improvement. I, I'm noticing that we're missing about half the dialog box. Let's uh, add a little bit more color. Yeah, okay, we can work with this. Yes, so it is actually possible to change the font because if you'll notice that the font on this window is a little bit different than the other ones. But, uh, yeah, I I think it's... I think it looks a little sick. I... I, I, I you know, no, I, I'm pretty sure it looks a little bit sick. I think it's time we back it up and... Um, Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I got nothing else. Um, now, now, catching up with things. So, um, uh, Med Medre Shiri, the thing is, to you say that why operating systems are not customizable. Yes, there are people that commit crimes against this, but it's actually kind of important because for people that suffer from colorblindness or need high contrast, the loss of these type of features really sucks. If you've ever had to work with uh, websites and apply custom CSS, it really, really shows um, how much they get screwed over because of this one size fits all mentality. Yes, I made an abomination to graphics design right here. My frame buffer got my, I'm sorry, my uh, frame buffer, my thumbnail artist, he will probably never be willing to make another thumbnail for me again because of uh, this. Oh, I just realized we can take this further because we can still customize OS Windows. This is OS 2 2.0. Um, I've just, we um, we did a little bit recoloring. I, I, I have committed a great sin. I, I mean, that's all I'm going to say here. I, I've, I, I have done things. Did this version of OS two even support? Um, let's see here. I 
think it didn't even support wallpapers. No, it did. It's if when you lock the screen, it showed the wallpaper. Now, how do you unlock? Select cancel. Type your password. And that unlocks it. Okay, so that's how that works. So there is a way to set wallpapers. I, If chat knows, let me know. But yes. So, um, yeah. So, yes. So this is OS221. New Times Roman, please, point 24. Oh, font palette. I can change the system font. Okay, let's do it. Can I... I don't think Comic Sans was installed on this. I don't think it was... This this is a two this is too a few years too new for Comic Sans. But we can make the UI bigger. I love how this this all turned out. I mean this is just beautiful. I, I Alright, so if we do that. That did not work the way I thought it was going to work. I'll I'll be perfectly honest. Let's uh we'll go just regular times new Roman. Nope. Yep, there we go. Uh, now let's just go with Hectavia. Yeah. Yes. So one big thing about OS2 is that each window um, can actually be changed independently. Like, if I want to make this window use Times Roman, I can. The idea was that each window could be customized independently of each other for a distinct look. And unlike Microsoft, they managed to do this without integrating um, an HTML engine into every browser. Yes, that was a shot fired at Active Desktop. Um, why do you ask? So, um, yes. Yes. Um, I, 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 you know, if, you know, I will take donations to pay. I think we need to, we need to, um, you know, the thing is, I could convert Comic Sans to OS2 compatible format. I think it's just standard. Um, uh, they licensed it from Adobe. It should be standard TT, uh, TTF. But um, I want to undither my desktop. I, I, want, I want my desktop to have glorious high definition colors. Now, the biggest problem with this was a huge problem with OS2 is that if you installed a driver that was incompatible, you could actually brick your system. I, I, I love the red on blue. I mean, it's just, it's just glorious. So, uh, is it, is it shut down or is it actually shut down? I think it's actually shut down. So first we're going to back up the VM's hard drive. Okay, so let's open a terminal. Just because if I completely blow this up, uh, let's not start the VM, please. No. Okay, thanks, bye. For those who were wondering, I have a second monitor. Um, let's see here. OS2 upgrade. No, it's OS2 bigger hard drive. Uh, desktop OS2. OS2 one radioactive. Radioactive hot dog. So, IMG. I actually would love to set up a Microsoft chat server. Um, it's just standard IRC with a few extensions. It's well documented. I really loved using comic chat back in the day. It was one of the more really, really nifty things you could do. So, before we pop back into OS2, let's, let's tear off a browser tab. Um, because... I actually want to find a good driver we can use. I, I want high definition color, and I want to show you how horrid, and I do mean horrid, um, OS2 driver installation is, because this, this was the bane of my freaking existence, driver installation. Uh, and if I could find the multimedia kit, I would even install that, because it, it was bad. So, all right. So, OS2 video drivers. Do they have a Mach 64 driver? It looks like they do. Uh, OS2 PM drivers for OS2 to 1. Let's see here. 
requires mock that's a mock 32 requires os2 2.11 1. that might need a fix pack uh let's let's grab it i remember ati drivers are usually fairly reliable but let's see here yeah this says os2 211 Huh. Yeah, getting a high resolution driver is not straightforward. Actually, I think there are, I no, I know there's S free drivers. I I please tell me the hair. I think I need a verge driver. Verge. Uh S free Verge. That's from nineteen ninety. That's a little bit too new. Here we go. Um, 98, 96, 2 and 1 or higher. I mean, we could try it. I mean, what what's the worst that could happen? I mean, we're overdue for a trap error. Let's see here. Is this the S3? Yeah, that's the S3 Verge. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm almost certain I would have to install fix pack to install blast video driver. I really don't want to do that. Because to make a fix pack for OS2, you have to download a bunch of files, you have to make a bunch of floppies, you have to boot off the fracking floppies. It is the worst, worst time. And I know this because I had to support OS2 in person. Installing dry uh, patches on OS2 is something you wish on people you don't like. It, it, it's bad. So, um, PVC, yes, you're right that VESA VBC was a thing at this time. There are architectural reasons why um, it really wasn't great. All right, let me see here. So this guy talks about doing this let me see here does he actually list a video driver because if he lists a video driver i i would love to go full lazy here let's see here so two so there are 256 colors using the sing driver kit i guess we're just going to have to keep going with as is ati is well supported um I would love to do I would love to do micro channel stuff. I I would I've been trying to get micro channel hardware for a while. Um it's just OS2 getting working micro channel stuff is obnoxious. All right, let me see here. Let me get the ATI. Let's go to the Hobbs thing. Uh and what we're looking for is a fairly old driver 95 probably is old enough let's see here. let's see what the readme says the readme says 211000 and it wants me to load it onto a floppy disk all right you know let's try it the worst that happens is we blow up the vm you know what? I, I i can live with that we, we, we can we can do this because I, I want to show you you need to see how bad this is because let me tell you this is bad all right so first I need to mount uh, a disk image uh, come on come on what uh, I got the willow one so let's call that mock 64 that IMG um there were unofficial tools to install fix packs. Um, I'm sorry, I, I don't speak Russian. I can't pronounce your name. It's really quite difficult. Um, being able to find those at the moment is probably like trying to find a needle in a haystack, except, oh, I, I don't know, like a million times worse. So let's loop mount this and we'll put this there. 
Okay, yeah. All right. So I don't need this disk anymore. So VM, so you all go away. <sighs> yeah. One of these days, I am going to accidentally RMRF my file system. I just know it. Uh, oh, wow. I haven't seen that in a long time. They actually put a banner image in the zip file. Complete with a CompuServe Go ATI tech. Man, remember when everything used to have AOL keywords and so forth? Okay. Uh, well, uh, fine. All right, we're good. All right, so we've got the disk image. Let's fire the VM back up. Uh, let me reconfigure the VM for the 64-bit card. Let's see here. So 64... ATI 64. I guess that's the graphic turbo. Uh, let's look at the README. What what is actually supported? Yeah, I I I I have this horrible feeling this is just gonna blow up all in my face. Like I should probably go with the the S3 Verge. But, okay, whatever. YOLO! All right, there's the VM. Let's go full. Let's bring... There we go. Okay. So, the banner in a zip file thing is part of the spec. Um, most decompressors don't show it. Uh, the only reason we saw it is because I did it on the command line. And, my God, it is hideous. It is so <laughs> hideous. I, I I approve in a way that hurts. So let's grab the mock 64 drivers. Uh, let's go to drives. All right. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. So th there's a art form for installing drivers in OS2. Why do we keep losing the freaking background music? You know, I, I get so caught up that I don't notice it's gone away. And then it goes away. Wow, okay, that is just loud. All right. Folks, if the background music cuts out again, please let me know. Okay. Uh, camera got bumped up. Oh, yes, you're right. Let me... Let me fix that. I The way it's on my desk is a little awkward. So, all right. So, if you want to install this, talks about all this, run the DSP install utility from an OS2 window. All right. So, that means we need to go to OS2 system. We need to go to command prompts. Uh, where is OS2 window? DSP install. Oh, please work, please work, please work. Okay. All right. So change our primary display. Oh, wow. We've got a... We got quite a list of drivers here. Okay. So we want to select... Uh, the, the driver I want to select is not here. Okay. Cancel. Cancel. Something went wrong. Okay, so follow the on stream instructions. I'm let's see here. Keep copies of the files. Load 64. See, sometimes you run into these stupid problems where things don't work. Okay. Alright. Um. I, we may have to go one more version before we install actual drivers. We could... Do we want to try CGA? Chat. Uh, hold on. Chat, do we... Are you really want to see CGA... Um, uh, PM install. That ain't what I wanted. Do you want to see me try and put this in CGA mode? Like, like, really? I, I don't even know if it was listed. Let me see if it's even in the list. 
Uh... Okay, so DSP install zero, primary display. Do we even have a CJ? We do. Do you want me to try going CGA? Are we going CGA? I, I guess we're going CGA. I am really curious on why this is not working correctly. All right, screw it. We're going CGA. Uh, specify the source. Okay, so it wants display driver disk two. I've got that. I am going to regret this. I am legitimately going to regret this. Display driver two. Oh, this is going to suck. It's going to, it, I love the fact that people, we're going to go, people are going 4K for something that, okay. Configuration has been made, so now we need to reboot the system. That's fine. Shut down. I love that we're going 4K for a, uh, something that at best was a lot less than 4K. Okay. Uh, reboot, please. There we go. All right, it's shutting it all down. Now we just give it the old all control delete. I I am I'm curious on what this is going to look like in CGA. I don't know what resolution mode it's going to run in. I might have to put a physical CGA card in the VM. Oh right. Uh no, that's fine. I I just left the floppy disk in the drive. Okay. That was not the that was not the thing being installed. Um, so Patsy thirteen eighty seven. Um, what type of system and how old are we actually talking? Because that's going to influence my answer by a lot. I holy rip. That is bad. Oh my god, what resolution is that running at? Because it's trying to show the radioactive hot dog in these colors. System setup. Hold on, we, we can switch we can we can make progress to monochrome. Uh Yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. That is bad. <laughs> okay, folks. Are we going to stay with a CGA card? Or are we going to go back to having color and things and things? I... I... <laughs> yeah, it, it, is, it is 640 by 200. Um... I, 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 I'm speechless. It is atrocious. DSP install. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can go back. I think it just cra- Nope. Look how badly it is glitching. All right. Let me see if I can figure out how to actually install this. Because there should be a way... Oh, I see how you do it. So you need, so let me go to A. I think I need unzip here. I actually do think because I need what's called the load 64 utility. Yeah, wow, it's, it's actually, I think it just froze. No, it actually did freeze. Oh man, I've used Windows on CGA and it was bad. Oh, you're right, I did remove the disc earlier. Why is it? I removed the disc and the whole thing hangs. 
Oh, this is like the worst. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's it's crashed. Oh, oh, OS2, OS2, time of death. Let's let's do a hard reset. All right, the crashes, the crashes are going. The crashes are going. Let's 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 continue the abomination. Oh. I like you know I like how this is in color and then the color is going to go away in a moment. Yep. Okay, and then it's going to run check disk because that's a hard hard crash. All right. All right. So I put the disk back in. So this has got PK zip on it. No, it does not. So that means, let's see here, Mac X, which means I have no way to extract. Oh wait, maybe I do. Load 64. Yeah, see, I've got this load 64, but I have no way to actually extract these driver files. Because you need a copy of PK unzip and load 64. So, all right. So, you know what? Trying to get... Let's see here. So, let's go back to DSP. I think we should probably try and have colors. Um, although, reinstalling the color drivers might be slightly easier said than done. Let's see if we can change the palette back to something a little bit. Yeah, I think we need to try and change the the palette. I I like I I Yeah, oh yes, and the fail counter has to come back. I turned it off briefly. The fail counter is now going to be at Fail counter will the fail counter returns. The fail counter is stuck below other windows. Oh, there it is. The fail counter is back. Fail counter is now at 15 uh, to color mode. And the fail counter probably needs to be a more visible color. So let's see here. Let's, let's make it a neon. Let's make it. Yeah, you know, that works. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just going to roll back. A backup because um, that that was just bad. That that was just an abomination. I I I mean, if I really was determined, I could get high resolution colors working. But we still have quite a few number of versions of OS two to go through, and um, I don't know how many. I don't know how bad it is. The picture will be back in a moment. I'm just restoring the backup. All right. Poof. And it's back. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, the thing is that on Windows 3.0, which was the contemporary to this, it was entirely possible to actually use CGA graphics with Windows 3.0. Um, it was mostly good for using Word and such, so stuff. So, um, Party C S G. Uh, sorry. Wow. Words hard, difficult. Yes. Um, if you want to run Linux on an old machine, um, Zubuntu or one of the cut down Ubuntu variants is probably your best bet. So, did we lose the radioactive hot dog? Oh no, we lost the radioactive hot dog. I took this. No, wait, I. Which backup is this? No, this should. This backup should have the radioactive hot dog. What? What happened? It's also frozen. Um. Yeah, I know I took the backup. Did I actually make the backup though? I thought I, I know I took a backup or I thought I did. 
Did it not save correctly? Well, it's not booting. What is it? Hold on, let me let me pull up the debug monitor. Is it actually frozen? I mean, the mouse is moving, so it's not completely frozen. What is it trying to do? Yeah, see, I can move the mouse just fine. But I can't actually do anything. Yeah, I send in all control delete. It doesn't listen to it. Eject drive B. All right, let's try another reboot and see if that brings it back. I don't want to do the upgrade all over again. I didn't mount it twice in Bork it. And so let's, let me see this. Let's, let's just see if this is OS2 being crummy because that is entirely a possibility with this. All right. So it's complains about file allocation. It's going to spin for a bit. And I think it's going to get stuck again. Control escape. Oh yeah, that's let's see here. Uh, yeah, control escape is not doing anything. Yeah, I think something broke. I don't know what broke, but something did. Let, I don't know if this is an OS2 fail. Let's go full screen. Let's go back to the backup folder. Um, OS2 radiation hot dog. And I restored the backup over it. All right, let me try this one more time. So let's... Copy the radiation hot dog back over. PCM. And then let's start the machine. Maybe something just went wrong. I don't use Arch. I run Ubuntu. It's possible, but we booted the machine after the VM. So how do I, okay, so J, um, it's been a long time. How do I recompile? Oh, look, no, no, it lives. It lives. It lives. Okay, so the rule, the rule is apparently you test your backup twice because um, restoring it the first time didn't work, but the backup itself did. I know it doesn't make sense, but The radioactive hot dog lives. So, chat, are we going to go on to the next version of OS2? Do we want to explore this one a bit more? Or whatnot? So, let's see here. Um, although, installing the next version of OS2 might be a little bit interesting. Because I just realized I have the CD, but I don't have the boot disks. You can make the boot disks with the CD... Yeah, I don't have the boot desks. That's a problem. Hold on. All right, let me let's go full screen. So let's mount the OS2 warp desk because there's the here's the make disks uh, file. Uh, that's not what I need. I need the. <sighs> Can you launch this install process from MS DOS? Yeah, okay, so this is this is what creates the boot disks if you don't have it, which you can do from Windows in a pinch. And it, of course, they're not just raw freaking flat file. Yeah, no, they're not raw flat files. It's not that easy. <sighs> that is really annoying. I don't think I can boot from that CD. We can try. I think it's too old we'll have to do uh, all right so how are we going to do this oh i need a cd-rom driver for this version of os2 yeah this version is not uh my ui is cinnamon uh to whomever asked 
this is a slight problem that I didn't think about because I don't have pre-made disk images. If, do we have, uh, let me see here. So here's the images. How does this create them? So this creates disk zero, but it does it in IBM's proprietary disk F format. So that is kind of irritating. All right, hold on. Let, I had, let me load up a second VM because because obviously the correct way to install OS2 is by having multiple machines. What do I have? I think the 95 one should be work. Let's see here. I'm hoping this is actually Windows 95 because it might not be. But this one should have a working CD-ROM. Nope, this is, I, I remember I blew up this one a while ago and I still haven't fixed it. All right. One of my VMs has to have a working CD-ROM drive. Uh, maybe DAWs 6. I don't even know what this one is. I think this was... Well, it's starring DAWs. Does it have a CD-ROM drive? Not. I can add it. So, folks, just for the lesson here, if you want to install OS2, you need a separate machine to make your boot floppies. Lesson learned. Okay. All right. Okay, so I don't have CD-ROM drivers installed on this one, but I can add them. So let's go back to the VM view. And let me just switch the window capture here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to install... Let me grab my driver's disk. Because I have a because I do this so freaking often, I have a nice handy driver's desk with everything I need to write on it. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those days. It's gonna be one of those days. Alright. Um Bus Logic. Oh here it is. Oak C D. Abort. I'm why is this being like this this is a perfectly perfectly fine floppy disk drive go to machine configuration okay so that's why um, when you make sure your emulated high density floppy drive actually is a high density floppy drive so abort sends an error code back to DAWs to um, continue the operation. Fail just kills the application outright. For most things, it really doesn't make a difference. I mean, that's basically what it boils down to. Um, and ignore does pretty much what it sounds like. All right, so is this, let's see if this behaves now. Does it switch? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So I can do install. Okay, now we can install some CD-ROM drivers. Fingers crossed that this all works. Um, PVC, so the only thing you missed is that we have to make the boot floppies, but I've got a bootstrapping problem that I don't have a CD-ROM driver for old OS2. I do have one for MS-DOS. So, um... Yeah, there, there were some logistical issues for doing what I am trying to do. Um, I do think the boxed copy of OS2 Warp had the CDs. Although, my copy of OS2 Warp does not. So, uh, I mean, my like actual physical copy does not. Although, it's possible the, the boot CDs got separated over time. So, who knows? All right, so... This should now see the CD-ROM drive, and then I should be able to make the boot floppies. Yeah. Okay, so the original box did come with it. So my co my physical copy of it, which is not here, it's at my dad's, um, uh, which I got secondhand, didn't have it. Okay, so make disks. 
So welcome to OS2. You have to create a complete set of installation disks. Follow the instructions. Label a blank disk. All right, so we can do that. So create blank disk, one four megabytes, blah, 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 blah. You know what, no. Every, there's a bug if I do this in PCM, it just won't work. So Willow OS2 3 one IMG, mount it. Why is that not there? Oh, because I called it OS3 because I'm a freaking turkey. Okay. All right. This is going to take a few minutes. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I will be back in one minute. Okay, I'm back, and I can immediately see that it failed miserably. All right, let's. All right, let's just see if we can do a format of that desk. It is completely possible that this isn't going to work because this is a oh. Okay, I I, I suddenly realized that this might fail for a really annoying and stupid reason. So the boot disks for the original OS2 um, were not one and a 1.44 megabyte disks. They were um, slightly higher density. Uh, they they were what's called DSK disks. Um, most real floppy drives can read and write these. I might have to go on real hardware to make these. We'll try this one more time, but I'm not optimistic. Yeah. That was what I was afraid of. All right. Let's see if we've got some disk images on the CD I can work with. I doubt it, but th this is going to be more complicated than I like. Yeah, so if we look at the actual thing, we do have these 1.5. Are these just, I mean, it can't be that easy. There's no way. Everything else we've tried has been hard, difficult, and painful. Are these just, okay, so apparently these are just regular freaking disks. So which ones are the ones we need though? So, probably disk zero and disk one. So, yeah, uh, yeah, let me update the fail count. Um, PCM has some issues with um, high density, with, with non-standard geometry disks. It's, it's a known issue. So, we need disk zero, disk one, three, Oh man, wow, that. That's if you need a full set of disks, it creates all. Oh, that, that just is painful. I don't want to make that many disks. Uh, let me see here. So if I want to do CD install that bat. Which disks does this make? So this does disk one CD and it does disk zero. So here's disk zero. So let's, you know, let's just try it and see if it works. I have my doubts. 
Like, I really have my doubts about this. So where is it? It's disk images, OS2, free five. And then I need disk zero. And then do a reboot. Maybe this will work. I have real doubts. No, I didn't even I didn't even see that as a boot disk, did it? Did the disk mount? No, hold on, the disk didn't mount. Um, I, I've got the debug window in the other when screen. So the disk did not actually mount. So before I write this off as completely broken. Yeah, okay. So here in 86 box, we have drives A, B, and it's not letting me load the disk, probably because it's too large. We could do this in 86 box. I think we're going to have to. This is a compl this is entirely emulation problems. This is not a problem with OS2, so I don't want to put this in the fail count. There is one other thing I could try, but I don't think it would work. Okay. That's fine. Um I've got 86 box. Let's let's shut it down and we will try it with 86 box. Uh, there are reasons I don't like using 86 box for streaming, but uh, I'm just gonna deal with it and you'll see why I don't like using it. Okay, so 86. I don't even remember what my last project with 86 box was. Uh, I've got so. There's 86 box. BG disown. I've got to copy the radioactive hot dog image here. Oh yeah, I was playing with vines last time I, I was using this. So the first problem is that there's no native port of um, 86 box to Linux. So um, yeah. I kind of knew that this was going to be a problem. I didn't actually think we would fail because the frackin' floppy disk drive is that obnoxious. Um, before we do anything else, let's see if we can actually boot the freaking floppy disk. So let's put, so because we're under vines and I go under, how's this mounted? It should be under media, MCAST vol, OS2 image, no, go up. Disk images, OS2, free five, disk zero, and do a hard reset. Let's see if this can even load this. This is, um, I'll go full screen here so we can see. Or, you know, I'm gonna leave this because I'm gonna have to do a bunch of things beforehand. Um, this was a project I was working, that's promising because we have the OS2 up here in the corner. I wanna see if this actually gets further though. Um, I was working on a Banyan Vines project um, and because I had to crack the copy protection. I got that to work, sort of, um, but that video project has had issues. Okay, so we can actually use 86 box to continue. So let's reconfigure this. So we want a socket five Pentium uh video card we get a lot more video cards with this um i want to say s3 verge is supported out of the box in 3.0 so let's go with that we want to go with the existing image i have so all files uh, C86 box. And uh, we want to go to the radioactive hot dog. That's fine. Remove the vines root. Alright, 
So that's an IDE Hydra drive there. And we need to add a Aptex CD-ROM drive. Save changes. And then eject. So it's going to complain. Let's go back to VM view. And let me switch it to the correct VM. And now you start seeing the reason why I don't like using 86 box. Because I have to crop out that. Alright. Oh, and it's it's going to be problematic, ain't it? Oh, no. It's, it's going to be really problematic. Alright. Let's see here. I the just to make things a little bit more complicated, this is probably a developer's build of 86 boxes. Probably isn't even. Actually, I know for a fact that this is not one of the official supported builds. Let's try jogging with the VM a bit. All right. Come on, come on. You see, I can't even get into setup, so something is definitely less than happy. Uh... You see, it's not even seeing the mouse. So let me go to other peripherals. Why is this not having input devices? Oh, okay. PS2 mouse. Well, that went all weird. But okay, at least it's seeing stuff. Okay, I just had to use a newer BIOS. Welcome to OS2 compatible compatibility love. Yeah, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. The, the BIOS I'm using virtual uh, 86 box saves the BIOS settings across machines, even when it really shouldn't. And I'm guessing whatever I had the set before. Hey, look, now we're, we're in a seer machine with a really neat animation. Uh, control escape X to enter. Okay, that was not a key combination you should press while you're in next. I pressed that and my whole screen futzes out. But it did boot, so at least we're making progress. Let's try a different config. One of these will boot. Uh, I It's what I keep telling myself. One of these will boot. CMOS checks some error. Okay. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We actually made it into BIOS that time. Do auto detection. And it sees the hard drive. Oh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a freaking miracle. Yeah. So that's kind of why I don't use 86 box extensively. When it has better hardware support than PCM, but I find at the same time, when it goes wrong, it really goes wrong. Just checking the other settings to see if it's actually happy. Yeah, I always wonder what this virus warning would do. Oh, music died. Thank you for the heads up. Let's pick a techno... Technosphere thing. All right. Yeah, that works. That. That works. All right. And my mouse cursor is stuck again. My mouse cursor is still stuck. Uh, 
It's... I'm tapping keys, nothing's happening. Only I could somehow get a VM. Oh, I know what happened. I hate this bug. All right, so what's happening is, all right, let me try an all control delete. Yeah, the BIOS crashed. Again, this I think is a wine problem. I don't think this is a problem of 86 box, which is why I'm not incrementing the fail counter every three seconds. But this is why I don't use it. Yeah, I, I suspect it is for boot sector viruses. I've never actually seen it do anything, but doesn't mean that it can't. So let's let's first see if we can get back into radioactive hot dog land. Because at this point, um Is it And once again, it has decided to freeze. All right. One more try, and then I'll start futzing with the settings again. So can I just set you to auto? Yes, I can. All right. Save and exit. Go. Boot, please. Oh, sorry. Well, OS2 booted up. OS2 booted up. Yay. I think what happens is whenever I tab out, something bad happens. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. I tabbed out. And the keyboard stops responding. Let's see here. Is there a way I can make it stop doing that? Also, this needs to be a serial mouse. I mean, I, what I could probably do it at this point is, yeah, okay. It's now complaining about cross-link files. Hey, look, it booted. All right, so that works. So now if I release the mouse, I still get stuck, but I can work with this. I can work with this. Or no, how am I going to work with this? Because I have to change the disk. Yeah, see, I can't. I can't actually change the floppy disk to the to the boot disk that I need. All right, so some creativity is going to be needed here. I am open to ideas, chat, on how to do this. So if I let me just see if I can mount the disk. Keyboard and yeah, now the keyboard doesn't respond. Okay, so let's see here. If you enable virtual desktop settings, uh, output. Okay, so PVC, yeah, is actually a really good idea. I've not had this problem with Wine before, I've used 86 box without issue. But that is actually not a bad idea. So, what, what is what PV, PVC is suggesting is if I open Wine Config and I tell it where is it? I don't want a theme. Where is it? Uh, I can tell it to emulate a virtual desktop. And then, yeah, see, now we get this virtual desktop here. And so, if we try that, all right, it's a little bit uglier than I'd like, but this might actually get the job done. So, uh, let's bring this, the window capture back. Yeah. I don't really love this solution, but I think it'll work. I gotta decrop the window. 
Yep, yeah, and it's try it's currently booting off the OS2 install desks. So, well, the installer is going to change resolution several times, so I think we're just going to have to deal with this. Um, like I said, this is entirely a problem with the fact that I just want hold on, before we do anything else, I want to check one more thing. See, if I look at the actual disk image size, they're slightly too big to be used. Once we install, we can go back to PCM, but we're going to have to use 86 box to get the install off the ground. But welcome to OS2 Warp. So, okay. This is promising. We that we are not dead. We are not dead. We are continuing the upgrade train to warp. So right now we've managed to go from 1987 all the way to 1994. So, so far so good. It's, it's still going. Um, oh yeah, I should put the actual CD in. That would help. So the CD is on my desktop. So home, desktop, nope, not snaps, desktop, uh, warp. Oh, it's going, are you going to do that? Are you really? And then it's going to crash. Yeah, it is going to do that. Because of course it's going to do that. Nope, it's fine. Okay, it recovered. I got to copy the install CD to the 86 box directory. So this is still booting up. I remember that I've done this on real hardware and it takes forever. I, I don't know why. Uh, but PVC, thank you for that tip. That really, really did work. I'm not counting that as an OS2 fail because Again, this would work perfectly on real hardware, but I do need to copy the CD-ROM to the right location. So OS2, OS2 warp three install ISO here. And I really hope it didn't crash because that is entirely something that could have happened because the rather dreaded OS2 decides to stop working with a black cursor is a real thing. And um, yeah, okay, sorry, it was Pancake Sparkles. So you have my personal thanks for this, but it's not doing anything, which makes me suspect something died. Is it actually dead or is it mostly dead? I have that distinct feeling it is mostly dead. It probably doesn't like the graphics card. The The most common fail of... Um, the most common OS2 fail is it doesn't like the graphics card. So... Oh, that's pretty. Cancel. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's dead, Jim. I think it I think it I think it's entirely I think it's dead, Jim. Alright, let me try rebooting. We could install it from floppies. I really don't want to install it from floppies. It's 42 floppies. Uh yeah, mock you know, mock 64 is not a bad idea. So you know, let's try. Let's try a mock 64 card. So that would be the, and that's an ISO one. So it should be okay with that. Uh, was PCI even around in 1994? I'm not even sure. All right, all right. Come on. All right, so there's the OS2 thing loading up. Alright. 
I know VLB was a thing back then, ESA and Microchannel were a thing. 86 box supports microchannel, um, complete with reference discs. I don't know if I really want to go down that particular rabbit hole because um, the rabbit hole is deep. But we could try it. All right, so there's the resolution change. So I think, how many fails are we at now, chat? I think we're at fail. I think we're at, I think we're at 19 at this point. We haven't updated in a while. PCI was a thing on Pentiums. Um, let's see here. V, no, um, AGP is an extension of PCI uh, with faster bandwidth. VLB uh, was basically a direct pins to the processor. Okay, it's still, it's trying to boot. I see the flash, the disk flash. So it's really trying. Yeah. I've got options if this doesn't work. I just don't really want to use them. We could, because we could burn the disk and I can get the ThinkPad out. And I could even transfer the files over. All right. So we're loading. I, I love the fact that we're dealing with all the graphical problems, all the real world OS2 issues in emulation. All right. This is where it gave up the ghost last time. I think it's trying to load Presentation Manager and for whatever reason it can't. Let me see here. All right, let's let's see what we can do about this. So what? I don't think it's the graphics card it's choking on. Um, I'm just gonna put a sound blaster in. I don't really think network card shouldn't matter. Standard PS2 mouse. Oh, that might be why it's not happy. Yeah, hold on. That. It could be trying to enumerate the bus, and that's why it's having issues. Because this might be an old set of settings. So, internal controller. Alright, let's give it one more try. If not, we're going to go to more, shall we say, desperate matters. Well, we're using a 90, we're, we're using a Pentium 90 megahertz, which would have been absurdly fast for the era. This, this BIOS is from 96. So warp, um, oh man, this is bringing back all the bad warp memories. It's like all the, all, all the things that could go wrong with warp. All right. You know, the other thing it might be having issues with is it might be trying to load a CD-ROM driver and failing miserably. That is entirely a thing that it could be happening. Because there's two versions of the disk one, one for CD install and one for, um, one for floppy disk install. So, Maybe it's unhappy with the CD-ROM install. Yeah. This was not... OS2 Warp 4 um, was probably the... Uh, and 4.5 were actually decent. Warp 3 was the Vista of OS2s. And th this this is really what I'm remembering. All right, it's still going. Fingers crossed, it gets past this point. All 
like I said, I've got one or two more tricks up my sleeve, but the rabbit only goes so deep. So let's see if it gets through this part. See, I don't actually have bad memories of Millennium Edition PVC. Um, Vista, I remember a lot of things going wrong. But I don't really have that many bad memories of me. I, I know, I know. It's blasphemy. <sighs> yeah, okay. So we're, we're stuck at the black screen to death. All right, I'm going to try one more thing, and then we're going to have to go... We are going to have to go desperate measures here. We are going to have to go so desperate measures that I I, I don't know. It, 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 it's, it's going to require rocket surgery. It's going to require rocket surgery to the nth degree. I just had an idea of why this might be completely broken. So this is a socket five. It... No, I, I, all right. I'm just going to try the floppy disk install. I'm an ex smoker. E seed K. I quit a years ago or, uh, about two years ago at this point now. And I'm trying to stay quit. Um, but I won't lie. I'm really tempted because my God, it's full of, it's full of, uh, you're stressed vaping to my stream. So, hello, welcome, smokers and vapors. It's Drungle One with yet another video. Uh, I didn't watch all his videos, but some of them were really, really amusing. Uh, and I just lost my mouse cursor. Where the heck did my mouse go? Let's see here. Um, all right, so let's try the floppy disk installer. I, if this works, I'm going to just die a little bit inside. Because I really don't want to do this many floppy installs. CD-ROMs were invented in 1987. They were really, 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 really... Uh, you, know, you know the problem is that my fan base can remind me that I have in fact ran drivers for Linux to make it do things. But I had the source code there. I had the source code. Um, Pancake Sparkle, we could install OS2 to a compact flash card. Okay. All right, you know, I, I'm about to go medieval on this. I am literally about to break the ThinkPad out and we are going to go to real hardware because this is, okay. This is fine. No, this is not fine. This is me about to scream my head off. All right. I don't, you know, just as a thought, I don't really like this thought. It is possible it's having problems with Pentium auto detection. So I'm just going to try, I don't think it will work, but I am just going to try a 486. A no frills, nothing special, nothing special, 486. ECK, thank you so much. 32 megabytes should be fine because that's what we were using in 2.1. Uh, it's only the really early versions that should have issues. I mean, we could go to real hardware. It will probably suck less, which is such a depressing statement to make. The The real problem with this, with OS 2.2, is it uses a lot of features of the Intel processor that most other emulators cannot use correctly. Um, so that's why it does this bullshit it'll work generally fine on real hardware i want to see if it'll behave if it's on a 486 because it's possible the pentium auto detection code has got some issues okay 
Anomalous Freak. So Anomalous Freak just friend to send me a Power PC ThinkPad. On one hand, I appreciate that. On the other hand, I feel like I need to go screaming in horror. Okay. I think there may be something wrong with this OS2 warp. I would have to burn this to a disk, but we could do this on real hardware. <sighs> I'm not giving up this easy. No, I, I have come this far. I am not. I am not going to be put down. I am not going to be stopped by OS2 being a pile of dog droppings. No, I have... Do we want to go to real hardware? Because I could copy the radioactive. I We could do this. We could put the radioactive hot dog on real hardware. But... Okay, because what I could do is I could plug the radio... I could copy all the OS2 files to the ThinkPad. Let me get the ThinkPad. Screw it. When in doubt, go IBM. Let me find the power brick for it. Um, it should be over here. Just keep listening to the sound of my voice. So, all right. Um, That's half the power brick, there's another half. Okay. I didn't expect to get this out or we would have power brick, power brick. I need electricity. Please bless me, oh power of the, I don't know, things. No, that's, I don't even know what that one is. There it is. Okay. We have a power brick. Get OS2. This is not the power. Yeah, no, that is the power board. Let me plug it in and then I will move the camera for you folks. So you can see the horror that I'm about to unleash. Get this cord wrapped around. I keep an extension cord right here for this sort of emergency. Okay. Fine. And we are going full screen. Okay. I am back. We are... Let's see here. Unfortunately, we're going to lose the face cam... And you can see my current beta, my existence right behind me. Uh, and this is going to start running Linux because it's been a while. All right. This, no, I don't want, it's got a stuck key. Yes, uh, no. Today is just gonna be freaking heart I have a knife and I will use it, ThinkPad. Behave. Okay. All right, so this should still have a working, uh, working 95. No, it's not a ThinkPad, it's not a PowerPC ThinkPad. It's, uh, it's an Intel one. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. The sound has to be played. It's a 380D. Let me get a blank. Let me get a CD in to start burning warp because we are going to real hardware and then I am going to get um, the radioactive hot dog on here. Let's see here. Uh, 
uh, which means I need a couple boot discs. Let's see here. I have I have driver discs for this machine. The question is, what the heck did I do with them? Okay, all right. 3D6 card services, OS2. Um, you know what? Card services is useful. We, I got an idea. I, I have a plan. Because I got one of these, and somewhere in my apartment, I have a trans flash card. I have a trans flash card and we can use it. Let's see here. Is this okay? Yes. Okay. So if I go back to my full screen, um, I have a trans flash card here, which has all the files that we need. So, all right. <sighs> Let me get a blank disk. Because we're going to have to burn a few CDs. But you know what? I am so determined to do this. All right. I've got three blank CDs. I'm going to start. I'm going to let these burn. And folks, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. If you really enjoy this content, um, support me on Patreon. I'll drop a link in the chat in a bit. So first thing we got to do is we need to burn the OS2 warp CD. So CD record. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that's blank. CD record OS2 warp free install. That's going to start that. What I need right now is MS DAWs. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Ah, here they are. They're from my last mail call video. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can recognize where I'm going with these. So while, while the CD-ROM burns, Okay. You know what? Yeah. I'm, that's fine. This is fine. All right. So I hate to format this install. It isn't actually ugh, getting this ThinkPad's Windows install working is never fun. But screw it. The show must go on. So we're going to start by running installing MS DOS on the ThinkPad. Okay. The knife, the knife is for uh, convincing hardware to work that won't otherwise work. And let me move the camera so this is in a better position. Okay. Cause you can tell I was planning to do this today. Uh, just how's the mic sound? Just because like I said, I'm, I'm at an awkward angle. So let's run F disk. Uh, delete non-DOS partition two. Yes. Uh, could use partition magic for this, but okay, delete partition two. Yes. And then delete primary. Yes. Oh, I forgot to make a partition, that's fine. Hold on. Is that better or worse? So, okay. Yeah, we probably could. I don't know. We'll see. See, I, it's hard to stream with only one monitor, so it's kind of a trick okay so allocate all right so we're going to first start by installing ms dos 
while that's going, um, let's go back to full screen VM. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So right now, I am just remembering that this is going to have problems. I should have done this under Windows. And the reason I say this is going to have problems Yeah, okay. I I I may I may have screwed this up. That's fine. Um I I actually my friend Cirocell has an original Newton. Uh I don't ask why, he just does and we 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 don't ask there are some questions we just don't ask. So, okay. Here's what we're going to do. I have I have a plan. So with the VM shut down, I should be able to mount, should be able to mount, <clears throat> I should be able to mount the CD-ROM, the, the disk image with the radioactive hot dog. All right, so OS2, K part X, OS2 one, radioactive hot dog so because the easiest way i'm going to be able to transfer these files over is if i do it by cd so here's all the files how many files how much disk space are we talking about here we are talking about 60 megabytes in total which is not bad at all if i had the network card which i don't know where it is i'll just burn it to a cd and we'll use that that's fine so this is still doing the right operation we'll burn all the um files from os2 to a cd-rom although i don't actually know if that's going to work now that i think about it it might it might not like some of these I know are not valid file names under under DAWs. This hard drive does not this ThinkPad does not have a removable hard drive. Or I would have just gone that way. Um right now it is formatting itself back to defaults, which is fine. This is all fine. All all is good here currently looking at my floppy disk collection i have utility disks i have the microsoft network client but i don't know where the cable is uh blah 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 blah, blah. all right i am not giving up we are we are definitely not giving up this easily so while that burns God, I, I'm literally, I literally feel like Neo as Rome burns. So I'm going to go to the droid cam. And I just realized that is just not legible. Okay, that is legible. Okay. So we literally are now watching, we're watching the progress bar go burr. All right. So, okay. D DSTN. Uh, yeah, it's a passive matrix display. It's not a particularly good passive matrix display. It wasn't a particularly good one when I got it. Um, this is my original ThinkPad 3, 380D from when I was a kid. Um, and uh, I put it bluntly, it's kind of crap. At least the display is. Let's see. While that copies, I am going to look. Let me think about this. I actually, let me see here. Can you make a folder with those file names under DOS? I, I don't actually know. Okay, apparently you can. I didn't know that. Um, I was just testing that on a console. Okay, so at least this... Yeah, TFT displays kind of rot. This machine has kind of been um, 
su- this machine has gone through a lot of suffering. I can't believe we had to go to real hardware to get this far. Like, it's like, why? Like, I shouldn't have had to go this far, but screw it. In for a penny, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah. I don't, like, see here on the edges, you can see where the light bleed through is. I don't remember if it was like that when I was a kid or not. It, it's just been too long. So, you know, you take the good with the bad, I suppose, in that one. So, while that loads, I really probably should have used Windows 98 or Free DAWs, but, yeah, screw it. All right. We're, I've got two boot disks. We're going to use these to create the OS2 installation CDs. Um, I'm going to need a warp disk, which has Oak CD on it. I'll make that while that installs. So let me grab this, put that in here. I didn't want to inject that. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. All right. So I just stuck a floppy disk drive in my desktop. So that was me rolling over to the side. All right, so if I, what do I have on this desk? I don't even know what's on this desk. Oh, that's a bunch of, Okay, I know exactly what's on this disk. That's a bunch of free DAW stuff. This is actually something I coded ages ago for dumping hard drives. So, yeah. Yeah, I I should have used free DAWs. Oh, look, it's already on the next step. But I'm always really nostalgic for always doing DAW sex. So I'll put that back on while I keep talking. So... What I am doing on the other screen is I am currently copying the CD-ROM drivers because that is the next thing we are going to need. Um, so we're going to need Oak CD. I can't remember if MS-DOS comes with... <clears throat> I want to say OS DAWs comes with MS-CD in pre-installed. I want to say it does. I'm just checking. Yes, it does. Okay, so I just need Oak CD. If not, I can just copy it later. That's not really a big deal. Okay. So, all right. So, right now, this is going to install. You know, I'm going to... No, I can't turn on that because it'll start echoing. All right. Let's get this closer. Okay. So, install one is going. Install two is going. Um, this is a good time. It's a good time to ask questions because, yeah. So MT four twenty. That's Memtest four twenty. Okay, disk one down. All right. So disk two. If I can get it to go in the slot. All right. So let's. Let's see here. So that is still going. All right. Fingers are deeply, deeply crossed. Uh, okay, I can turn on the mic on the camera. You, you might, might. Yeah, yeah no, you're, you're going to get, get. Well, hold on. If I do this, how does that sound? You should be able to hear the uh, floppy disk sounds just fine like that now. At the cost of not hearing me so well. So, okay. All right. It spins, it spins, it spins. So right now I've got a CD. Okay. Right now I've got a CD burning. Okay. This just said the warp CD is done burning. So, okay. Yeah, so the warp CD is finalizing. I'm gonna burn another CD with all the files up to this point, CD just ejected. So, okay. So here's our warp uh, free CD. So 
So this is basically what we did before, except I'm not going to write 21 floppy disks to install OS2.2.1 on top. So I'm getting another blank disk. And I'm copying all our files up to this point. Um, we're at the point that we gave up trying to do this in the VM. We're on. We're doing this on real hardware. Okay, and I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's two disks down. Third disk in. Okay, all right. So while that goes all right we are going to find out if we can successfully copy okay all right and then uh i'm trying to remember uh, when was the last time i did a ui burn nope that's not how that's not how you do it okay Screen is not in focus. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay. How's that look? Is that better, chat? So while that while that goes, I'm going to go back to full screen. We're going to burn a new CD. These are all the files we've made up to this point. Cancel. And apparently we're having some technical difficulties. Of course we are. Of course we are. All right. So this is almost done installing. Um, Yeah, okay, so apparently there's a lot of breakage with trying to burn. <sighs> apparently trying to burn a CD in. Okay, so it's make ISO FF out file desktop uh, OS2 files. ISO do. Okay, yeah, so apparently trying to burn a CD from within the UI is just hard. So that's all the files, but the file names were not preserved properly. Like, see, I lost the exclamation mark. So you, I think I have to use the Juliet extensions to make that work. Yeah, I think if I use Juliet and Rock Ridge, so, yeah, I think it's RR Rock. So basically, these are Rock Ridge and Juliet are extensions to the CD-ROM standard add, added by Windows, um, but I don't really remember how you do rock ridge is it rr no come on it's it's gotta be here no i don't want to make an apple i just want to make a rock ridge cd I think it's DAT capital R. Yeah, okay, it is capital R. Okay, I should have just gone to my gut on that one. And then if I look at files, yes, okay, all the file names are good. Okay, okay, so now I'm going to let that record. CD record files. Okay. All right, so while that goes, we go back to DroidCam, and then uh, floppy disk out. We need to set up CD-ROM support. 
All right, so that let's let that boot up. So now that will boot from the hard drive. Really hoping this is all really hoping this all works. It's it's been a while. All right. Okay, so copy Oak CD ROM sys to C. Okay, MSCDX. Yeah, okay, so it is there. So config.sys device Oak CD ROM sys auto exec dot bat. And then here we need MSCDX D one two three four five six seven eight. All right, three finger salute. Please work, please. That's the CD-ROM driver. Testing extended memory. Yes! All right, so disk goes in. All right. Uh-oh. Was this... I burnt this desk. Yeah, I don't hear it spinning up. I've used CDRWs on this machine before. Hold on. Yeah, this one's a blank. One more try, one more try. I am remembering now that we were having problems with this last time on the last stream. And I wonder, is it even? Yeah, I don't even hear it spinning up. Let me try an actual CD-ROM with it, just to see if the drive itself is gone. This was, uh, you're gonna get a preview of a future project. This is Visual C++ Cross Edition, Cross Development Edition. It's just a press CD I have handy. Let me, let me see if it'll read this. Yeah, well, it's the disc spun up. Apparently, it just doesn't like these CDRs. Okay. All right. So all that for nothing. Is that is this what it really comes down to? Yeah. Okay. All right, fine, fine. We are going to try, let me fix the camera. I'm not giving up, not that easily. I've got a few other things left I can try. Let's go back to the full screen desktop. And yes, that was my phone that went off because my phone is also my camera and I forgot to put on silence. It's, it's going so well. It's just going so well. All right. Um, yeah, I think the fail counter is going to have to go up next time I bring it up. Let me think about this for a moment. Okay. Is it 
possible that this will work with VirtualBox. Let me get my windows organized because obviously this stream has gone a little bit pear-shaped. So I have a, is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. I have a DOS 6 VM here. That's fine. I am vaguely curious if this can actually, let me see, let me put the OS2 warp CD in here. If this can actually make the disk images, because there is support in VirtualBox for OS2, but it's for warp. So let's, let's see here, so OS2, Free disk zero ng. I am really curious. I'm gonna try CD install. So this is going. Let me go back to VM view. Fix that. Yeah, can't format target disk, which is basically what I assumed was going to happen. Right protect error. Okay, hold on. That means we're actually we're going we're we're making progress, but oh, you know it helps if I put the disk in. Format A Q. Okay. Okay, so that can quick format. Okay, that actually worked. Uh, that actually managed to make the disk. All right, let me let me try it. Let me try making both disks this way. OS two, three one image. Okay, so let's try this. So this is the installation disk. Uh, it's sort of working. Okay, hold on. Try this. Disk at one. I swear, if this works, I'm going to go a little bit crazy. Okay. So that managed to make both installation disks. That managed to make... I just realized, hold on. I'm on the mic. Folks, if I'm on the bad mic, let me know. Let me know if I'm on the bad mic next time. All right, let's go back to radioactive hot dog land. If I use the disks I just created in 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 VirtualBox, because apparently that worked, can I actually install? If not, I would have to transfer the VM to eighty six to VirtualBox. But that's not the end of the world, so, okay. Uh, start, please. I swear, if this works when everything else has failed, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit spare. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. Um, okay, where is, that'd be under DOS 6. This is boot looping, but I'm not that worried about it. So that would be disk zero. All right, all right, so there's the radio, so the radioactive hot dog is back. Let's do an alt control delete. I am going to be flabbergasted if this works. And it doesn't look like it did. Okay. All right. Um, it just rebooted, but I'm not sure why. So let me see what's going on here. So virtual box. But we can, there is hope. There is, in fact, hope here. So because virtual box was able to make the images, 
which means I could copy the files into VirtualBox and then keep going that way. So we're between a rock and a hard place, but we are actually getting somewhere. I, and I just realized we lost the music again because uh, things, magic, and... Okay. So did the disk... Okay, so the disk did mount that time. All right, OS2 system. I just want to see something. So if I go to drives, I go to drive A. Do I have an... Oh, yeah, no, I have an OS2 BIOS here. All right, I'm not, like I said, I'm not giving up that hard. Come on, please. If there is a merciful, merciful. Look, look. The OS2 indicator is there. Oh. So, um, I know I've been ignoring chat a little bit. So, um, yeah, okay, we got the inst we got into the installer. The question is, can we actually get further than this? Because we got this far with 86 box. Um, the, let's see, let's, all right, and now we've got some music. So, when we actually um, did the stream last time, we actually got up to 171 viewers at times. Um, so we're only at 81 concurrent viewers. So this has actually been a lot smaller than the previous stream. But maybe it's because it's on a Wednesday, even though this is a time that you, YouTube says that I've got a lot of viewers. So I don't really know. Okay, so it's now loading. We've gone this far before. It's still reading the disk. Uh, Jacknav, I'm really trying to avoid content ID strikes. I'm really, I'm just staying to the epidemic sound, uh, epidemic soundtrack music. <sighs> oh, oh, that's new. Oh my God, we actually did it. Insert the CD into the CD-ROM drive. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Oh... I win. <laughs> In your face, IBM. In your face. <laughs> Except. <laughs> Don't format. Yes. <laughs> I win. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Let's update the fail count. Um, what's the fail count? Uh, I think I'm going to go with, I don't know, 44. Because uh, there was a lot of fails there. That was like a lot of fails. Oh, no, that's not the fail counter. That's the rest of the image. Okay. All right. So if um, if we really want to do something that's a lot of pain and suffering, we could install Oracle on NetWare. Because, um, yeah, I'm a little sad that I wiped the ThinkPad's hard drive. I, I really didn't have to. Um, I have used CDRWs with that machine just before. I think the CD-ROM drive is on the way out on that. 
and I this would not have been possible on real hardware. Uh, let me phrase this: this project from um, not that this project would be impossible on real hardware. It's um, uh oh, I uh, I might have hung. I'm looking at the statistics, and I think it may have crashed. So, um, what I was saying was, um, with the ThinkPad itself, it, um, a lot of it boils down to the fact that I can't hold a coherent sentence. This is ridiculous is that I've used that CD-ROM with CDRWs, but it is possible the number of CDRWs is just eh. So it is, I think, I think it's crashed. I think, I think, I think OS2 may have gone the last laugh here. I might have to make all the floppy disks. I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. We could try this in VirtualBox. But yeah, I think this has crashed. Because I'm... Let me go full screen. I've got the statistics window here. And there's no drive activity. At all. Which to me suggest that the VM has me my VM has stopped PVC yeah I know that that is in fact the case I've had some issues with the ThinkPad CD-ROM drive in the past All right, I'm not giving up just yet, but all right, let's let's go a little bit more in depth. Let's give it this some more memory. We're going to go with a PS2 style mouse. Uh, you know, what? actually, let's go with a 486 with a higher end processor because sometimes these things matter. All right, let's switch the disk and then fix the bio settings okay i i like how the oh yeah i got and i that's what did it may have done it it may have been white trying to use a y2k turn off clock synchronization no no all right let's turn the clock back to 1995 It's, uh, I'm going to just be pressing here and holding. It, it, using OS2 was like like running through Linux. I, I won't lie. In a lot of ways, those two things are not all that different from each other. Detect hard drive. Accept. Okay, so it shouldn't see the second hard drive. Let's see if it's a little happier for 486. I, I have my doubts, but... I really have my doubts. You know, we could try easy installation. You're not even going to boot, are you? Oh, no, because floppy drive is none. Yeah, okay. That's a pretty good reason why it's not going to boot. Remember, kids, always have your floppy drive. Oh, my brain is... I might have to call concede defeat on that. So, the pink-green BIOS is for EGA, and it's really for people that are, like, trying to display this on a monitor, because if you're in BIOS, something has gone interestingly wrong. Why is this hanging? 
Why is this hanging? <laughs> have I have I not suffered enough? Apparently. Oh, you know what? I, I bet I know why this is hanging. Earlier in the stream, um, I, we had two hard drives. No, it's not having it. Something broke. Something broke. All right, let's. All right, I'm going to try one more thing here. And if not, we're going to VirtualBox because at this point, I'm running out of ideas. And there's only so much I can try. Okay, so floppy drive. I always love these WinBioses. I always was kind of sad that. Let's see here, continue. So detect C. Yep, that's fine. Save, go. Yep. <sighs> yeah, all right. I'm going to add another five fails to the count. I, I mean, the fail counter is kind of a meme at this point. It's an amusing meme. But yeah, okay. So, we were Rolf. We were discussing about emulators having the floating point bug in the past, and the answer is, <clears throat> to my knowledge, none of them do. But there's no reason why they couldn't, because the bug is so well characterized that you could re-implement it. See, now I can't even get it to boot back up. Seize the CD-ROM. Go into BIOS. Entering setup. That's fine. That's all correct. That's all correct. Save settings. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, I really don't want to do this under VirtualBox if I don't have to, but I think we're going to have to. Which really annoys me. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try one... I got one or two more tricks. I'm just going to restart everything. Just to give myself a clean working slate. Uh, where did the VM window go? Move to other monitor. Okay. Fresh slate. Try try a Pentium machine, 2 machine for the heck of it. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll try that. Because at this point, I don't even... Does this even go that new? No, okay, so 86 boxes not go to Pentium 2. Oh, look! It, it's actually booting. It's actually booting. The bio... Yeah, because there's the OS2 banner. I did not expect this to be the issue. The problem with doing... Um, Doing a PS2 70 or 90 is I'd have to get the reference desks. Oh, you guys are seeing a black screen. Okay, it um, it is booting. I'm going to try easy this time and see if it does any better. Yeah, okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. it it's all good. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. The, the problem is that, you know, when you stream a game, you can lock OBS to a single window. When you have to jump from VM to VM, it sometimes gets stuck and I have to futz with it. And so I'm not as incompetent as I seem. All right. It's loading.
Okay, all right. You know what? We're just going to try easy installation. Your hard drive is too small. What the? Are you kidding me? Is it? My hard drive is too small. Advanced installation. You know what? Screw it. You, you know, you've got the right idea. We are going... I, we installed OS 2.2 to this disk image. How How is this too... It's a 2 gigabyte disk image. F-Disk. Yeah, F-Disk doesn't have a problem with it. F-Disk sees it just fine. F-Disk unsuccessful. No, okay, we, 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 we are not, I am not taking this lying down. Let me see here. Uh, full screen. I believe 86 box can emulate a PS2 machine. I think it can emulate. Let me, let me see here. What is, we'd have to go to a 386. That's the problem. I really don't want to emulate a 386 that would be incredibly painful with this version of warp Let's see here what am i using for controller i could try an adapt tech yeah let me try with adapt tech let me see if that makes it a little happier yeah the bi it could definitely be the BIOS having issues. That's why I'm going to try SCSI. Adapt Tech should work out of the box with this version. So if that works, great. I had less trouble installing Windows Early NT. So let's see. Let's see if it'll take a SCSI. Well, if we're on SCSI, it shouldn't matter. It, that could be the problem. That really could be. I, I really hope it isn't because that's a really ugly can of worms. But this is right in the time period, 1994, where these things that would have problems i'm just how did we get this far with no problems and then it all just goes so let's see if it will work with the adapt tech because adapt tech should work out of the box with us okay that was actually a really important error we just saw because it tried to do what's called an int 13 that meant it was in fact talking to bios disk services so let's see if it'll work on SCSI. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think chat, you're right. I think I've got to go to a later BIOS. So definitely moving in the right direction. You know, it is possible. Okay. Yeah. For uh, go into BIOS settings. Okay. Uh, let's see here. BIOS settings. None, 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 none. Uh, set OS2 mode for. SCSI or not the SCSI to OS BIOS mode to OS2 all right this is in 1998 one so all right so now the SCSI smart BIOS kicks in 
There's the boot floppy. I mean, we're getting progress. We're getting further and further with each attempt. I probably should just do this under VirtualBox because I'm almost certain this will work under, under VirtualBox. But I mean, this was the reality of using OS2 Warp. I, I Everything I've encountered was something I remember from real life. Warp Connect, which was four, and 452 were so much better than this. All right, still going. I I I am st I can't believe I'm having this much trouble. I was an OS2 user. I thought I knew how bad this got. M apparently, it was a lot worse than I'm remembering. Okay. All right, I'm going to just hit F3 and drop and see if it even sees the, the blasted hard drive. Like, I know for a fact that OS2 doesn't get a lot of love in VMs. All right, so we made it this far. So it does see the hard drive, but it's reporting it as unformatted, which is slightly concerning. You know, I wonder if the drive got corrupted in one of the crashes just as a thought. Let me see if I can even just boot off it. Or actually, hold on. Before we go down this, I'm just going to put it back on IDE. Because... Uh, damn, it didn't even give me a chance to fix that. That was quick. Yeah, I'm just going to put it... Yeah, let's... Let's uh, roll back. Let's roll back to the backup. I could have easily blown up. I could have easily blown up something. And this is why we took backups. How many backups have we... Chat, how many backups have we restored today? 2-1, radioactive hot dog. OS2... Upgrade base. All right. Yeah, I think this is the third or fourth one. All right. Uh, come on, start. Sorry, the v uh, PCM is giving me a little bit of grief. There we go. It boots. It boots. All right. Standard settings. You just need to be an auto detect. And then I got to fix the picture so we can see what's going on. And I just want to see if it will even boot. Well, that's promising. You, you the black screen was expected. Okay, so it did give a few warnings, but I think it's okay. So. Um, all right, so let me go back to VirtualBox. DOS 6. I, I'm still flabbergasted on how much issues we're having with this. Yes. So the the radioactive hot dog is still good. Sort of. Kind of. I really want to get this upgraded to the next version. Like, you, you don't know how much it's chafing to know that we're having this much trouble. I just noticed it's in LBA mode. We need to change that. Um, enter setup. Actually, it needs to be in LBA mode. And this should support LBA mode. 
And the reason I know this supports LBA mode because on my ThinkPad, which I have run OS2 on, although granted it was Warp Connect, it was able to deal with an LBA hard drive because that BIOS has known bugs. Because some operating systems, uh, so the thing with LBA is that some older operating systems, including OS2 um, 1.x, can't deal with hard drives larger than 504 megabytes without pain. So, all right. We're, we've got, I've got one more, a like I said, if this doesn't work, we're going to go to plan B. Plan B is not pretty, but it could work. So come on. So LBA mode is not backwards. PV, so PVC LBA mode is not backwards compatible with CHS. Um, LBA mode was built as an extent. CHS is compatible with the old MFM and AT IDE controllers. Uh, LBA mode is for being able to use hard drives bigger than 504 megabytes. Uh, plan B is not floppies on the ThinkPad. I mean, if we get enough Patreon goals, I will do another floppy install on the ThinkPad. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it it got further. It got further. Do not format. That oh god, that may be what the problem is. That may be what the problem is. It may You know, I remember this problem. Like I actually remember this. It it no, it's not signs of life. It crashed again. But I remember this problem. The problem is that it won't install unless unless you format the hard drive. I bet I bet if I format the hard drive I've got the backup. We're going to test this. I bet if I format the hard drive, it will install. I will bet a dollar that that will work. I, uh, this is a known good version of OS2 Warp 3. I got to see if there's a fix pack available. I, I'm going to look for a fix pack while we try this. I bet if I format the hard drive, this will work. No. I, okay, I remember it. This is coming back to me. It has to be an HSPF partition. We're on fat. If it's not HSPF, the upgrade fails. I, I remember this. There is a way to fix this. We are going to go with deeper magic here. Okay, so if I go to PCM, I have a copy of partition magic. Apparently... Partition magic can dynamically change a partition from FAT to HPFS. I don't know if that actually works in practice, but we're going to try it. And while that is going, I'm going to see if there's a fix for this. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, live streaming. Yeah. No, this... We, we need to, there is no way to migrate HS to HPFS officially uh, in OS2. Windows NT 3.1 and 3.5 can do it. Um, and I have been told that Partition Magic can do it. And let me make sure I haven't lost my video stream. Okay. So let us see if this is actually true. So if I go to Partition and I go to Convert, Convert Fat to HPFS. Yes, you you must. <laughs> yes, if partitioning is you must run sysx 
Yes, conv- ending you with conversion. Apply. Yes! I knew partition magic was... Crap. <laughs> okay. That is actually... That's annoying, but at least it tells me what's been going wrong. The extended attribute file is corrupt. <laughs> we did... <laughs> It took right off and then went right down the toilet. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's run check disk on this. We have an error. I don't have the help file. I think the help file's in the other disk. Okay. 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 All right. I know what to do now. So. That was actually what we needed to find out. So the problem we're having is that the extended partition table at some point got damaged. I don't know when, but it did. So we can use check disk from the boot disk to fix this. So, and we can boot 3.0 far enough to actually get there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fail counter is going up. Fail counter is going up. We are now at 50. We're going, we're now at 47 fails because Star Trek. All right. We're going to try and F this, this. But what amazes me is it died so many times for what is essentially BS reasons. Because of course it is. So Retro Gaming Comp, um, if you enjoy the stream, please subscribe, leave a like. If you really like this, I do have a Patreon. I'll drop a link in the chat. Um, I'm currently, I normally do videos, but due to some real life uh, issues, um, my video production facilities have been gone poorly. I could show you guys what's been going on in DaVinci Resolve if you want to see, but long story short um i don't know when i'm going to get back to making videos it's a combination of real life stuff and health stuff um i don't really like going into the details of my health issues on stream but um i felt that i was going to have the energy to do this and i was right and i'm having a good time doing it all right we are going to f this this so hard uh, I don't need F disk. I need check disk. Uh, do I not have check disk? Are you kidding me? Check disk is not included. Didn't didn't we go through this? Didn't didn't haven't we already gone through this that we had to do um. I, I feel like we've done this, that I had to run check disk from DAWs to make this work. Yeah, actually, I do remember this. We had to run check disk and scan disk. Yeah, I, I, I distinctly remember we had to run check disk and scan disk from MS DAWs. Um, to be able to fix it because OS2 can't fix its own fracking boot disk. <laughs> yes, I'm using scan disk to fix an OS2 problem. Okay. Uh, we don't need to do a surface scan. Check disk, CF. Yes. Okay, so that's all fine. So we eject. Now we're going to let OS2 boot up. I don't know how the extended 
attributes file got corrupted. OS2 extended attributes. I remember this being a problem. I remember there's a way to fix it. But I also remember that there was a lot of magic involved in fixing it. Okay. Um, I'm currently... Let's see here. All right. So it went through all that, and now it's happy. Now, so if I go back into partition magic... So now that we've done a clean start... Well, before I quit out of this, let me go back to the command line. I just want to run check disk from here and see if it complains. Yeah, okay. It actually is unhappy. So why is it give check disk? Okay, hold on. Check disk CF. Uh, okay. So, um, so PVC, um, the OS2 extended attribute, to explain what extended attributes, OS2 has some functionality that, um, normal DAWs doesn't. Does, I want to say there is a way to make an OS2 rescue boot disk, and I want to say create DD is how you do it. Create DD OS2. Is this what I is this do what I think it does? Because there is a way. You know what? Let me try just type create help DD. Standalone dump procedure. No, create DD is the um you done effed up feature. I don't think sys. Yes, yeah, sys was not a thing in this version. Um, all right, so I'm going to need. So we have crosslink files. Most of these I can delete. So let me. All right, so if I delete all these, check disk. C. But I'm I, I don't and then that's probably a file I need. Yeah, okay, see it's cross-linked on extended attributes. Right, okay. Which is what it was telling us before. So how do we fix this? Uh okay. Let me think about this. I think I'm going to have to copy it to... Yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to copy this to a floppy. I, I actually think that's exactly what I'm going to have to do. So if I go into my OS2 boot floppies, because check disk has to match the version. Let's see here. Uh... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just have to make a new floppy for this. That's that's fine. So change disk, blah blah blah. Or was it on the install disk? It, they used to IBM used to hide it, but they used Okay. Alright, so yeah, so I'm gonna to have to fix this. There's a few ways we can fix this. They're all kind of annoying to do, but the most annoying is I'm going to have to back up the whole machine and then restore it from a backup. I really don't want to do that. All right. What's on this disk? Okay. So this one, this disk has plenty of free space. Okay. Check disk.com a. Okay. File copied. All right, let's 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 see if OS2's check disk can actually fix this. So let's boot off the CD. And I am sending an alt control delete to say the least. Um, all right, so extended attributes basically is, um, the best way to think of it is as the desktop file on classic Mac OS. Um, 
in that it stores additional metadata that the FAT file system doesn't support. Because at this point, IBM was really pushing people to use HPFS, but you can't dual boot with Windows and DAWs on HPFS, so FAT support was basically there. So, okay, is this the one I can hit escape on or is it the next screen? Okay, no, it's on disk one I can hit escape and bail out. Okay, so that's going to boot up. Then I should be able to hit escape and then I'll be able to run check disk and then they'll be happy and ponies and ponies and happiness. How does this get screwed up this badly? Like, we haven't done that much. My head exploded. Yeah. I'm pretty sure once we get past this hurdle. Yeah. No, I, the, eek, I've had plenty of these old issues um, running Gentoo, so you know. Yeah. PVC, that's basically, yeah. Um, the EA data file is basically the same thing for OS2. It, it really isn't all that different. And I don't want to reinstall because we're testing the upgradability of OS2. So at least theoretically, it is upgradable. It's just proving to be that the theory and practice are two very different things. All right, so I should now be able to drop to a command line, and I can. So now, if I put uh, willow.image, source, PCM. All right, so now I should have a check desk. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. So now I can run check disk F. And the answer is it's still broken. All right. Um, let's see here. Can I delete? Can I just delete that folder? I can. Actually, that was the old fix for crosslink files, is that you would... Hey, look, there's no errors. All right. Don't breathe on it. Don't breathe on it. There are no errors on it at this moment. It still boots. The radioactive hot dog is okay. Folks, the... All right, so check disk C. Let me see if it has any errors while it's running. Okay. Okay. Shut down. I'm making a backup. I am making a backup. All right, so we're, we're going to make a backup. I'm going to try the OS2 warp free installer. If um, now that we've now that we um, okay yes shut down yes shut down my programs and then if it doesn't work we will just convert to HPFS. Because all right so close that out close that out PCM. OS2, bigger HD, OS2 fixed file system image. I mean, I remember OS2 having weird issues. Is it really possible that the file system was that? F you know, actually, it probably was. Because I remember I had to use HPFS back in the day with OS2. Like, it wasn't an if, it was a you did this or you would suffer. So I'm going to try the upgrade one more time. And if that doesn't work, then we will try the conversion. So let's put the upgrade disk in. 
Unless, chat, you think I should just do the upgrade, the conversion right now. All right. Chat, you let me you let me know. Do you want me to try and do the conversion to HPFS now, or do you want me to um um <clears throat> uh try and just install the upgrade? Because right now we're now getting into third party tools. Probably best to convert now. Yeah, I'm kind of of that matter fault myself. So let's let's put partition magic's floppy disk back in the drive. Uh, warp does support fat. It's just not particularly good at it. All right, so partition magic, partition magic disk one. Okay, I actually had partition magic one at as so Billa. What exactly is Kickstarter s what thingy? Okay. All right, so yeah. God, I don't remember the last time I did this. Okay. Let's see here, what symbol bar at the bottom? The symbol bar at the bottom is the fail counter, because. That much fa this much fail requires ah official okay let's try this convert okay so you have to do the sysx install after conversion to restore it well no. really doesn't like that fine fine you know what there is a way to do this fine fine you know what I'm not giving up this easily we are going to do this we're I, I am definitely not giving up this easily Screw it. I, I have come this far. I am not I am not giving up without a fight. So what we will do is we're gonna copy the OS2 bigger hard drive, OS2 HPFS image. Let that copy. I'm gonna spend days copy finding all these. I really am. We're gonna attach this as a second hard drive. If people, if this sounds familiar to some people, it's because we've already done this. OS2 HSPF. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Nope, cancel. All right, so OS2 HSPF. That's fine. Okay, so now we've got a second hard drive. And we're going to, we're just going to do this. Okay, so hard drive one. And we are just going to, <clears throat> I could, I don't have an NT. <sighs> we could try that. I would have to, to successfully install the thing is, I don't know if NT would preserve the OS2 per, um, attributes file, which is kind of what the problem is right now. So I'm going to try doing this here. Let me see here. Backup. I'm trying to remember how you do this. Help backup. Oh, that was the wrong command. OS2 has a built-in backup utility, so I'm planning on using it. Let's see here. Moves uh, files from one location to another. I need examples. Let's see here. 
I click examples and nothing happens. Let's see here. I think I can just back up the whole thing and it's, it would work. Let's see here. Okay. Um, does not back up system files. Okay. Services. Okay. Format D HSPF. Okay. New, ho uh, you know, what? I'm just gonna call this Empire because the first drive was Empire. Sear, god damn it! All right, how do I tell? Is it dash fs? Sear. Uh. I thought it was FF, FS, HFPS. Format, format. Does work on a read, write, optical disk format. Hmm. HPFS. Do I not have HSB? Oh, uh, New Hope. Yes. There we go. Okay, now we're formatting. Now, now we're gaming. This might take a while. Uh, yeah, this might take a while. We are going to be watching this format bar for a while, aren't we? I don't know. I, I, toxic Femmes, uh I really don't think I'm winning. I, I This is like hell. Yeah, I don't know if I want to count this as a fail just because um, it wasn't a standard feature. So, yeah. Okay, but it's formatting. The problem is that the last time we tried to X copy... It, um, we, uh, what, what, what did it do? It, um, it failed catastrophically. But I don't know any other. <laughs> I mean, we could install. The thing is that I could go for all the trouble of installing Windows. Oh, you know what? I just had a. Hold on. Before we do this, you know, no, I, I should have just let that run. Screw it. Screw it. I shouldn't have controlled to see that. What I was thinking is I could just have checked it, but yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay. So then we'll use xcopy to copy all the files from C to D, switch the hard drives around, Reinstall and then install warp on top and hope it works. Because that's what you had to do. Mm. You know what? While we, we can we can play with Nico while that's formats because this is an advanced multitasking operating system, which means we can do more than one thing at once. So, look, there's Nico. The cat is chasing my mouse. Or, the, the, the cat is chasing my cursor. It looks really bad on, um, on Radioactive Hot Dog. But it is working. Sort of. Let's see here. Disable cat. So while this format, so now we're at 12% of formatting. How many hard drives can we format in a day? 
Wow, that is so pathetic. So I can just click that and solve the puzzle. Oh, OS2. Then we have Klondike. Oh my god, look at look how the colors got applied. Look how the colors got applied. Also, OS2 starts with um This is This is bad. This is bad in a horrific 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 way. What have I unleashed upon the world? Like I, 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 uh, I don't have a place to place that frig. Oh, an ace. Another ace. I, I should stop playing because then you guys are just going to end up watching me. Nope, we got 21%. I can play. Do you guys, guys want to watch me play solitaire while we wait for the hard drive to format? What I really need is an eight. Uh, I can't use that. Jack. Oh, eight. But not the eight I need. But I'll take that. I, you know what? I got this move. Flip. Gives me a six. That's no help. Queen, five. Three. No help. Queen, oh, ace, ace. Okay. All right, sorry. I am now paying attention to the chat again. So, um, pointing device, do you really have a prep power PC machine? Um, because if you do, I would love to, I really like ha have this huge thing on being able to um, demo one of the risk-based versions. I actually have a package waiting for me at the UPS store with some very special hardware from a company that is no longer with us that I don't really want to give more spoilers for because, you know, I, I have to have some air of mystery. Okay, we're at 35% formatted. We are, we're, we're formatting. We're formatting Mike McGellan. So while this is format, oh, I forgot this. There is an autoplay. You can have OS2 play the game for itself. And then it deadlocks because it can't actually beat it. So it'll just keep trying until it can find a, a deal it can win. You know, just in case you couldn't beat uh, Solitaire by yourself. Because that's a thing that's here. All right, anyway, let me focus a little bit before I put you all to sleep. Uh, no, I want, I'm done playing with Solitaire. Solitaire can go away. So there's the puzzle. So I am trying to think what else we could do here. I mean, I don't know what else. You know, I can futz with this. No, I'm just going to – I should probably just let this run. So here, here's my thoughts. We format to HPFS. We copy the files. Um, and then, yeah. And the uh, the desktop cat thing is from OS2. So, um, yeah. So po uh, pointing device, I just picked up a copy of MSDN um, for RD CD collection, but the three CDs that... I really wanted, which were the risk development tools, were all missing. So, yeah. So, I don't know what to do about the broken HP data. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to back up and format to a new thing. We're just going to have to X copy. Um, and what we'll do is we'll X copy from a floppy disk. Oh, no, frack, that won't work, will it? I can't remember if HSPF was built into. Yeah. All right. We'll let the format. It had. It might be. I. I don't actually know. All right. So while that runs, I want to check some things. So. Command prompts. 
I want another OS2 window. I want more than one OS2 window. Create another. No. Yeah. I... Why can't I have a second OS2 window? You... You're a multitasking operating system. Let me have more than one window, please. Thank you. Uh, SysNX. Because we need a way... OS2 doesn't let you just transfer the system files because, you know, it's stupid like that. So 59, 60%. Yeah, okay. So... We literally this stream has been let's watch progress bars go. That's how I feel right now. Okay, not a problem. If we don't get if we don't start making progress in the next hour, I'll wrap it up and then I will figure out this off stream. Because I I don't know if I really want to do a third stream on OS two upgrades, but. Yeah, P BVC. It's it's a it, it's a counter. It, it's a progress bar in flat form. It's it, it, it's something. Okay, and then what I'll have to do is I'll have to copy X copy to a floppy disk so we can copy the files over. I okay. There is a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it is a plan. Okay. I I mean I I'm really hoping. So while I, what I want to do is I want to look at partition magic. Partition magic sys in x because it was talking about that for converting hfps. Let's see here. So there is so while this is going there is All right. So if uh, hold on, let me. I'll go full screen while this is going. So, full screen. So this talks about how you convert, um, cop. So copy sysxx, copy the root from here. Wow, this is just obnoxious. Okay, so boot the server from an OS2 floppy disk that ensures the new partition is given a drive letter. You need to make... Wow, okay. Uh, so this conversion cannot be reversed. You have to run server magic to actually do this. So this is probably for... Um... Okay... And then you have to make all these sorts of edits. All right. So this is doable. I'm just going to have to get a little creative because I'm going to have to find UHPFSX. But I've got all the disk images. So we have all the thingamajiggies we're going to need. All right. Um... So, 89%, 90%. Okay. I'm feeling optimistic about this. Yeah, we're going to do a backup of the freshly formatted partition once it's done freshly formatting. Because H HPFS is not a journal file system. There is so much that can go wrong. It's not funny. But I do want to see if it is... I, I, I'm like, at this point, I am so vested in seeing if we can actually go from OS to 1.0 to 4.52 that I'm willing to go for these hoops. Because most rational people, if they're still willing to put up with OS 2 to this point, would have just formatted. 98. I mean, the other option is I could skip to warp 4, but what's the fun in that? 99. Come on. Sweet. All right. So let's call you Empire. 
All right. Excellent. Uh, don't shut down hard because I, I, this corruption here is not our friend. Shut down now. Okay, we are now shut down. So that goes away. That gets backed up. HSBC empty dot M. Let that back up. All right. So the next thing we do. Next thing we do. Is uh, I need to check what's on the certain OS2 desks. So if I go OS2. IBM OS2 2.1. See, I don't know. What I'm looking for here is sysints. So that's on disk one here. Yeah, so there's since disk one there. And then I need UHPFS. Okay, so all the files we need are there. Okay, so let's start the upgrade fest VM. Change disk. All right, so this potentially will work. Potentially. All right, so let's go back to full screen VM. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta copy all the files. Ah. I also need to be able to feel my legs. Just saying. And I really hope X copy is somewhere I can reach it. Come on, come on. I am so, so hoping this works. Is it booting? Is it doing something? Yeah, no, it's booting. It's just taking its time. Okay, that's disk one. Disk one. All right. Time to see if deep magic works. I, I, I don't know if it will or won't, but Really hoping. Really hoping. All right. So OS2 is booting up. So now we're going to copy all the files from the fat partition to the HPFS one. Or, well, file system. Let's see here. Uh, I, I resort to black magic every time I edit my videos. They make DaVinci Resolve, uh, Thomas Muller. Okay. I mean I mean we we're we are already so far into black magic, it's not even funny. We are so far into black magic that black magic is having black magic. Uh and also we lost music at some point. I, I we need a suitable menacing theme for all this. Like, I don't know, like let's just go to albums and let's just pick something. Uh, gaming intermission. You know, I can work with that. That I can work with quite nicely. All right, so let's drop to a command line. Do I have X copy? Of course not. All right, so X copy, copy, X copy, D. Okay, so X, so copy... X copy D X copy uh, source D A uh, E S and go. Okay. Well, it's trying to copy. I'm really hoping this works. Last time we tried this, um, the whole thing panicked. Like, I mean, it literally, it trapped out and panicked. So, 
So. I mean, I, I'm, I, I can't believe I, I'm like, I, I'm feeling the magic. Is it even, I'm just curious, is it reading this all in a memory or is it actually writing these to disk? It is actually writing these to disk, so it is making headway. All right. So right now it's copying the Willow file. Okay, so all files got copied. HP, all right, so now if we run to check disk D. Let's make sure everything's still healthy. So far, so good. Okay. So, according to the instructions, we need um, sysinstall x. Okay, so... Uh, sysinstall... That's probably for a different version of OS2, but let's try it. Or hold on, let, let me see what's on. This says that this is on the installation desk. So let me just see if it's actually there. So if I look at the install disk, is there a sys install? There isn't, so I'm guessing this is what I need. So sys install 1D. Um, okay. All right. How is this used? System installation software failed to initialize. Is it sys install two? Nope, that ain't it. Okay, all right. The This file may not exist. That is entirely possible. Or or I missed it and it is actually on disk install one. So copy sys insects all copy, copy, copy sys insects all com D. The system files have been transferred. Okay, that means the files are in fact bootable. That means the last thing to do is I gotta get, I gotta get into the editor. E uh, D config sys and it trapped. It trapped. Oh, that is a little painful. That's okay. You know, that's a lot painful. I'm not going to lie. All right. Um, that, okay. So we trapped that. That's the fail counter is going to go up in a moment. I'm going to switch the hard drives. I want to see if it even tries to boot. I'm not convinced it will, but I I, I need to see if this will actually try. Uh, of all the things to trap on that. Okay, hold on. I uh, drive C eject. Because I don't want... Uh, I learned my lesson last time. Make sure... PCM has no problem making the same disk image things. Yes. Okay. Um, we haven't increased the fail count because the fail count has failed. A kernel file is missing from the disk. Uh, eject. 88. Was that the hard drive it tried to... I don't remember if there was a floppy disk in there. So it tries to start and then fails. All right, let me try writing 
the install the um, the boot sector one more time. And if that doesn't work, we're just going to try installing. Yes, well, the, the, the fail counter is going up now at random increments. One more. We are making progress because it is trying, trying to boot. Okay. So there is actually one other thing that we might have to do is I just realized. Let's see here. Format. Yeah. Okay. So we missed a file. Uh, there, there's actually more steps here because I'm following the partition magic guide on how you do this. Which, of course... Oh, and you know what? Check disk was on disk 2. Well, now I know. So I'm actually curious. Do we have a line editor, like, on disk 3 or something? Because I have that distinct feeling there isn't one, and that's really crappy, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing a line editor anywhere useful, so... Thanks, IBM. I mean, I mean, just look at the amount of fail we have gone through from start to finish. I mean, it's... We haven't even successfully managed to install anything. You know, why should this be a useful thing? Actually, I do, I do understand why that thing was missing. Okay. Okay. So, so far, so good. Okay, so yeah, so disk was improperly stopped. That's completely understandable because we hard crashed. Um, so we'll run check disk. As soon as we get to a command prompt, there's the command prompt. Uh, image is still good. So check disk C dash F. Gonna run check disk all the way through. Fingers crossed. Okay, no errors. No whammies, no whammies, whammies. So I need to copy UHPFS DLL to C. Okay. So. Uh, so here, I might have to edit this file under Linux. Now, amazingly, Ubuntu still has support. I like I, I. This is not a thing that should be a thing, but Ubuntu still has support for um, HPFS. So if I have to edit config.sys, I can actually do so. But let's see if it actually can boot. Kernel files missing from the system disk. You know what? Let's just see. This is probably a stupid idea, but the last time we did this, all I had to do was start the install. So, you know, let's just see if we can start the install and install over ourselves. So, if I... If I go to the DOS... Yeah, IBM, IBM really, they didn't understand their customer base. I mean, OS2 did not ship with a console editor at all. I, it only shipped with Edlin and then only in the DAWs box in 1.0. 1.1 had a full screen text editor that could not be run as a standalone app. Then they got rid of that for the graphical PM one. And then they removed all the graphical tools. E.exe only works as a presentation manager application though so i'm going to, so now we've converted everything to hspf i am just curious what's going to happen when we try to upgrade i, I have this distinct feeling nothing good but yeah uh the trap error we got was when i tried to run e probably because it got upset due to the fact that um you know i probably should have run install x with you 
UHPF, but um, this is fine. This is all fine. This is uh, the, the the nothing. Absolutely nothing could possibly go wrong. All right. I I'm I'm probably tempting fate in such a way that fate is going to really make an idiot out of me in about 20 minutes, if that. But, yeah. All right. So, apparently, I also learned something. All right. So, advance install. Accept the drive. Do not format. We've gone this far before, but it hasn't frozen. And then it did. And then it did. Oh, wait, no. That's different. Invalid base product level. That That's actually a different error. What? Greater than 35 megabyte primary partition exists. Invalid base level, incorrect version. That's the error. That's the error when. Is this a red spine version? This. This may be a red spine version. Okay, so. Um. How do I explain this? So OS2 was shipped in two versions. Um, it was shipped in red spine and in blue spine versions. Um, and let's see here. Well, the thing is, it says invalid base product level. This should be a blue spine version of OS2. In fact, I know it's a blue spine version. Base product level. Um. NewZ documented this pretty thoroughly. So, I mean, it is possible I did something stupid. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, I remember NewZ wrote an article about this. So he does all this, and he runs into this the same exact issue. Um, yeah. Let's see here. So... Yeah, so his CD was a red spine issue, and then he – the only solution um, – let's see here. You scored a lot of media. You have to format. Do not format. Install the disks. Yeah, so what is supposed to be – okay, so there were two versions of OS2 – that existed there was the red spine version and there was the blue spine version and the red spine version required you to own your own version of windows the blue spine version did not but this should be a blue spine i don't i i uh... My, uh, yeah, so it's definitely, if I look at the source files here, OS2 image. I mean, it's also possible that certain versions of OS2 cannot be used to upgrade to other versions. It's not like anyone's documented any of this because, you know... Why would why would we document something that is so obvious? Okay, I might have a second copy of this ISO that might be okay, but this this is a blue spine image. Hold on, I just noticed something. I just noticed something. I really hope I'm wrong about this, but I just want to try this for kicks i um in the successful install that new Z did he used floppy disks 
uh, to install. If uh, I go back to his upgrading, f um, he because he ran into this. The way he got around this, if I scroll up, is he used the floppy disk version. Um, right here. So I wonder. I legitimately wonder. Let me. Here. Let me just make sure I'm full screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. Yes, I am. Can if I were to write all the um the discs. Let's see here. Uh, I need to go to Microsoft DOS X. Okay, so this is like that. So if I just out of curiosity because if I don't have to make all the discs I can put up with this uh, let's see here OS2 disk images OS2 okay so that's reading as the same file so you know what let me copy I'm just going to see if I can install it from floppies because this is a red spine version. It is entirely a red spine version or sorry. It's a blue spine version. Otherwise I'm going to skip ahead. I could skip to warp four, um, which I believe will let me do the upgrade anyway. So, all right, so let's see here. All right. Um, yeah, because I'm reading for Neo Zed's write up because he did the two to three and it worked for him. So, advanced installation, load system files, accept, insert disk two. So it's getting further. I swear to God, if it works because it's floppy. Um, Charles Dorvel, we've gone through hell to get this far, and I'm not convinced it's actually working. We are trying a floppy based install because at this point, everything else has failed. Yeah, it's still going. Do not format. Are you kidding me? IBM, what the hell? You have to do an upgrade install with a freaking floppy disk? I knew this was a blue spine version. What is this bulk? <laughs> What? This is bull. This is literally bull. Gar I swear to God, if we actually get to the second part of the installer, I'm going to start. I, 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 I'm not going to drink on stream. But this is bullshit. <laughs> Why is this working off floppy disks? Yes, this is IBM hates me. This is IBM hates me and. Uh, 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 no okay at least it failed in the same way <laughs> at least it failed in the same way Okay, all right, all right. Let me see here. All right, I, I am curious enough. Let's see, it is possible it doesn't like it because it's a different base version. I mean, it's not. All 
All right, I'm going to try something a little cheeky here. Although it probably won't work. Let's see here. All right. Let me let me go for my files. I might have another copy of OS2. I know I have a prototype copy. But that probably won't help. So chat, do you want me to try and get a um here. refund floppy disks of the future? Yeah, you guys, uh, let me think about this. Yeah, cuz this definitely definitely should have worked with a blue spine uh with all right. I'm going, let me check for, I'm currently checking through my files on the other screen. So just talk amongst yourselves while I see if I actually have a version that um, will work. Okay. So, and the answer is maybe, I don't know, hold on. I've got like 30 things labeled OS2 in my junk folder. So possibly I'm trying to figure out if I might actually need a red spine version. Okay. So let me go and explain what this is while, um, while, while I wait for something to run in the background. So, four windows. So, basically, to save on licensing costs, um, there was multiple versions of OS2, uh, and that was known as Blue Spine, Red Spine. And maybe, and I thought, yeah, see, you can actually see the photo here that shows it. Um... So, OS2 Warp with the Red Spine was meant for people that already had um, win, uh, OS2. But you know what I'm seeing right here? I'm seeing an upgrade edition of OS2. So, apparently, there was a dedicated SKU needed if you had to upgrade your fracking copy of OS2. Because, you, you know, it's not like this wasn't hard enough. All right. All right. We're going to try one more thing. I've got a set of floppy disks here. It was I I just had to wait for them to copy over from the the um other machine. And they're labeled they're labeled OS2 Warp 3.0 Blue Box Edition. I have no idea what these are. I don't think I've ever tried them. They were something um, I just had because I grabbed a bunch of files for doing this. So let's see if these work any better. All right. So let's put disk zero in and give it the free finger salute. If not, I am really fracking tempted to reverse engineer this. Like, literally pull out the disassembler and start figuring out what's needed. I just realized I lost the, um, sorry, I lost the webcam. Okay. Yeah, it's the, the, the OS2 misery, ma the OS2 misery counter is surprisingly high at the moment. So I don't. I legitimately don't know if these are any good. There's quite a few discs on this one that were not on the others. Let me see if there's any differences. I can actually do a mass comparison while this runs. Because if it's just the same discs that I already had, then it's pointless. Although I wouldn't have had to go through all the hell that I did to make the disc images in the first place. Uh, let's see here. Diff. All 
So this has an OS2 level file on it. Oh, and this, this one actually does look like it has some differences. So easy installation. I think easy installation may have just formatted my hard drive. We're trying to install OS2. Um, you know, the fail counter is going toward... I'm changing the fail counter. The fail counter has gone to IBM. Because I don't know what else to describe it at this point. Uh, we're trying to install Warp 3. We're trying to upgrade through every version of OS2. We've gone all the way from... OS 2 1.0 to 2.1. Um, we've had multiple hangs trying to do the upgrade step. So I manually converted the whole thing over to HPFS. Um, but we're having problems. We ran into a red spine, blue spine issue. Um, or as they say, or basically the spine is not. Oh, great. So Sebastian has exactly what we need, which is apparently a working blue spine copy of OS 2. Quick, folks, get go go to his house and get it because so we can finish the upgrade fast. Okay, it's still loading system files. Has it crashed? I mean, it is entirely possible that we broke the auto detection somewhere. Okay. Ah. Uh... Valid base product level. This OS version of OS2 cannot be installed. Okay. Alright. Fine. You know what? You know what? Th this is fine. This is all fine. This is this is this is fine. All right, let me go full screen because I'm actually, I'm going to, I want to see something. I want to see what this is looking for. And you know what? Screw it. Invalid base product. Where is that error actually located? So the error is here. Um, strings disk 01 dot image base so there's the base product level or what it's looking for I'm guessing that's in the kernel missing type missing sys level and then I think it was on 04 what was the other disk that it wanted and disk 14, which I don't think I actually care about. Yeah, that's probably not a copy of the kernel. <sighs> yeah, I think that I'm going to have to try that. But I think we are probably entirely foobarred at this point. Um, let me try. I can try that. And while I try that, I'm going to leave this full screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, let me see here. So that's OS2 sys level. I don't know where it reads the sys level from. Because basically it has this entirely overly complicated install thing. So if I go to home uh, to my media directory while that loads... Um, and while I'm here, base, invalid base. So it's the sysinstall2 file that's having issues. Right, um, so what we're looking for is invalid base level. So if I scroll up. There is one thing I could try, but I don't know. That probably won't work right. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it pro I mean it could easily be looking at Let's see here. Am I looking at the wrong boot thing? No, I'm not looking at the wrong thing. So OS2. So this is talking about all the different upgrade paths that could potentially happen. Yeah, so like dual boot install, it could not find missing files. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to reinstall OS2 2.1 directly over itself. And then I'm going to re I'm going to try this one more time because right now we haven't managed to actually install. Um so far we haven't lost any data, but we haven't actually managed to do anything useful. And my thought process here Although we might lose the radioactive hot dog. Okay, so this is going to flash for a while. Yeah, so my... F yeah, so... Alright, so let's drop to a command line. So... It is possible some files didn't get installed. Yeah, so look. The syslevel file... Is, oh no, it is there. In fact, it so it is there even though it's reporting. Even though it's reporting it's not there? What? You know, I got a really stupid idea here. Let me see here. Hold on. At trib, syslevel, OS2. Yeah, see, all the system flags are messed up. So let's let's see if we can just reinstall over ourselves. Okay. Uh, you know, I should have checked what the syslevel command says. But I still think I want to do a reinstall on top of itself so it doesn't do anything stupid. Although I don't know how much, well I feel about this. Because if I run syslevel, it's not going to show on the booted system. And the booted system has not actually been successfully started off HPFS. So I guess we're going to rerun this install step. Which, you know, is fine. This is fine. Because this will fix all the attributes. And then if syslevel properly says it can be upgraded, then we'll be able to upgrade. Um, I'm running this on an emulated Pentium 3. The problem we ran into is that when OS2 is on a FAT6... Well, we ran into multiple problems. We had corruption in the FAT16 extended attributes file. And you know, let me bring the camera back over here. And we think that was causing some seriously bad juju. So I formatted a hard drive with HSPF and then manually transferred all the files over. Uh, it's got 32 megabytes of RAM, uh, Sebastian. Okay. When does SpaceX launch? So, uh, yeah, I might call it if let me go for this entire install because this won't take that long. All things considered. Um, I'm reinstalling. So, yeah, so I'm reinstalling OS 221 and I'm not optimistic about this. Like, I am really not. Yeah, I knew that Warp Free had problems with large amounts of memory, but um, I'll check when the next SpaceX launches. SpaceX launch today. The SpaceX launch is at Texas. Uh, it's already happened. It was at. Oh no, sorry, that wasn't ha that. Okay. 
So OS 1.0 was for two. So uh, Felipe, to answer your question, OS 2 2.0 was for 386 and up. Um, I've run it on hardware as late as um, a Pentium 2. It generally is not all that picky as compared to some things. So we'll see. All right, so that's the first stage install complete. So that, oh yeah, I got the install disk back in. Uh, install disk, desktop, install disk. We've been at multiple days. I mean, considering where we started, I've put about nine hours into this. I'm just, if I can't get past this, I might continue off stream and I might do a video, all of this. So I don't know. It's, there's been a lot of, shall we say frustrations with this project to put it bluntly, but I also don't, I, I, I would love to see if it could actually be done, but I won't come back to it immediately like if if this stream is completely poo-pooed then i will um i'll do something else for a while and then we'll come back to it so you know i i like to show the suffering too i just i'm just I, i'm a little surprised on just how few concurrent viewers i have at the moment so you know, I, I, I know a lot with YouTube is you shouldn't get all that wrapped up about around the numbers, but the number of views I have today are a lot lower than usual. I don't know if that's because YouTube is punishing me or I am doing it midweek, but I would think that the view numbers would go up. So who knows? All right. So, so far, so good. That's the reboot. We're probably going to lose the radioactive hot dog, but I can live with the radioactive hot dog. Okay, so, so far so good. Okay, so we're just going to install all features. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll probably have to go look for the radioactive hot dog theme, but yeah, I mean, I know it happens. It's like I said, it, I, I've been dealing with some major real life stuff. That's why I've been streaming instead of making videos. So yeah. So, um, you know, my big, my, my, like I said, um, mid April and kind of ongoing stuff sort of hit the fan for me in real life. Today is an exception to the rule. So yeah. Okay. So just as a note, I just saw that Wingding does actually get installed. So I guess that does mean that there are certain things that survive i also suspect um wow my brain just completely derailed its train of thought i also suspect that um yeah wow holy cow i can't i can't i i completely lost my total train of thought um I also suspect that part of this being a Wednesday midday, although a lot of gamers stream during this time of day, I would love to see OS two in Russian. That would actually kind of amuse me to say the least. So who knows? All right. So this is our last try. If this doesn't work, I'm going to pull the plug on the stream. If this does work, 
I'm going to rapid fire go all the way from 2.1 to 3 to 4 to 4 5. So here's hoping for the best. So yeah, YouTube can be a pretty fickle thing to say the least. Um, you know, it's easier said than done at times. You know, like who knows you know like they tell you the most important statistic when you youtube is um watch time but with streams the watch time not many people watch streams all the way through so it's this ongoing question of what is good what is bad magic ponies and god knows what else you know and trying to be entertaining at the same time so um, so with Sound Blaster on OS2, um, JackNav, my experience is you have to have it set for a very specific set of DMA settings. You've got to have the OS2 multimedia kit installed. For 2.1, that was an optional add-on. In OS2 Freeland, it, I want to say it was on the bonus disc, uh, and it really wasn't all there until, you know, later. Let's see here. All right. So, okay. Um, Felipe, there is no upgrade path past 452. Um, as far as I know, Ecom Station doesn't allow you to upgrade from. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'll try it. Um, and I don't believe Acadia OS has an upgrade path either. Again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'd be willing to try it, but I don't have those things to try. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we went through quite a few. We probably had about an hour of just completely futzing with settings just to even get um os2 warp started it just kept dying in strange and unusual ways so i don't know all right disc 13 we are near the end we've probably lost the radioactive hot dog we will have to go without our lord and savior so Yeah, Arcadia. So I know for a fact that ecom neither ecom station nor Arcadia have the source code to OS two. They have the driver development kits and they have some support at IBM, but anything they've implemented as a core thing, they've implemented as a kernel patch. You know, like a binary kernel patch. Um, and I know this because I actually talked briefly on doing some contract work with them. Uh, that was years ago, but there's apparently there's just a giant, you know, the whole OS2 is a giant rights quagmire more so than most. So who knows? So, okay. All right. We are getting there. Sticky. All right. 15, three more discs to go than the two driver discs. And then we will try the upgrade. Um, it's not so much IBM's licensing. I the the thing is that they can't make a red spine version of Arcadia OS. Apparently, it's not possible to make a freestanding presentation manager anymore without the Microsoft OS two bits. This is why you couldn't install the red spine OS two without having Windows. Um, so there's that. So a lot of it comes from that giant pain in the ass. So, um, Ecom station I thought was a one-time payment. So, I, I, but Arcadia OS, they've got a very small market and they have no illusions of ever becoming a mainstream OS. They're mostly there to hold on, help the people that are still stuck on OS2. Yeah. 
Well, Arcadia OS is not made by IBM. It's made by a third-party company that licenses it from IBM. <sighs> All right. Second to last desk. Second to last desk. And that's my stomach growling. What was IBM? I just realized what you, the pun you made in chat as like, yeah. Okay. All right. Final disc. Now, hopefully this will boot under its own power. I'm really hoping this will boot under its own power. God, I remember doing this on real hardware and it sucked. Um, in New York City, the Metro our, our Metro card system is still powered by OS two. It um PVC yes we're now on HPFS. I still don't know if this is going to work. If we're still going to get a red spine error, um, so I I I really don't know at this point. Preserve the existing install. Uh, find, add, yeah, cancel, don't do that, migrate, okay, migrate, exit, yes, automatically edit, put the printer disk in, so now we should be on an HSPF install. God, the sheer amount of magic that's holding this together is frankly impressive. Because if we can get warp free to install, we're home free. Well, Ecom Station's no longer um, developed. I thought I thought Ecom Station was entirely dead. I mean, it's possible it's not, but I thought it was. Uh, I don't remember what Warp 4 required. Warp 4 had a fairly hefty memory requirement. I remember that. All right. And we need more music. Let's go with Spring Feelings. Okay, so display drivers are installing. Display drivers are installing. And, you know, I just realized the camera's really been in a cruddy angle for probably the last 20 30 minutes so okay there we go eject Let's see here um atm is an automatic telling machine teller machine you know a bank machine that you get money out of um all right so moment of truth will os2 21 boot off hspf and will our applications have migrated? Well, it booted. We've lost the hot dog. But that's not that surprising. No, wait. I saw the hot dog for a brief moment. I don't think we completely lost our settings. Let, let's see here. Because, like, these things stuck around. So, some things were carried forward. If I go to color schemes. Okay. If I go to system setup. But we've lost. So yeah, see, this stuck around. So, if I go to scheme palette. Yes! The hot dog lives! The hot dog lives! The hot dog. I I appreciate the hot dog. I uh, I just need to make a slight adjustment to the hot dog. Okay. Yes. So the hot dog still lives. And then if we check disk, we're now on HPFS, and it boots off HSPF. 
yeah, the hot dog got disabled, but it did survive. So now we're on a high high uh, high density hot dog. <laughs> Sebastian, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The hot dog the hot dog demands blood. Blood for the hot dog. All right. And let me see what cis level reports. Cis level. So cis level reports that were OS2210. You know what I realized? There is one more version of OS2. And yes, we are going to take a backup. OS2211. There is. I think 211 was. Let's see here, 211. Yeah, 211 was actually a. So I don't think you have to do the upgrade. But let's look at this. Hold on. Let me see if we look at the CSD level. XRO. So right now I'm looking. Let's see here. So XRO. So cat sys level. So if we look at the sys level for OS2 3.0, which is right here. It's a lot low different. I wonder if I was just to copy the sys level file over. I mean, it there it would not be. It can't be that easy. It really It could be that easy. All right. Let's do a let's back let's shut it down. Let's make a backup of the uh, good old hard drive. Now that the radioactive hot dog is on H HPFS. Yeah, we might have to install a, a, a fix pack. Um, so we will see. We will see. God knows we've, we've suffered enough through this. All right, so HPF desktop. Uh, OS2 reinstalled HPF. Oh man, please let this work. Please let this work. Please let this work. Uh, VM, thank you. All right, and while that boots up, let's put the disk in. Go full screen. All right, chat. I am taking. I am taking odds if this will actually work. I am not optimistic, but I will take odds. I am. I mean, was there a dead? I'll try the CD-ROM install because let's see here. Let's see here. OS2 Warp Upgrade Edition. Was there a dedicated upgrade edition for? There was a dedicated upgrade edition. Why is there a dedicated upgrade edition? We, well, we could try changing the sys level file. But why is there a dedicated upgrade? I mean, I know Windows had a dedicated upgrade edition. I, I uh, Never even occurred to me to look. Let's see here. Upgrade. Okay. Welcome to OS2. I want to drop to a command line. Sys level. So sys level is not here. So sys level OS2. 
So that's the 3.0 sys level. Advanced installation, accept the drive. Do not format, we've gone this far before. I, 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 the, the, I, I, I'm really, no! Okay, fine, fine. Fine, you want, is, is that how you want to play it? We will do what you want. We will try, I'm going to try co copying the sys level file. Because, uh, well, I don't know what version it wants. This might be a problem. There, there are so many things that could potentially be wrong that I don't know how to narrow it down. So I'm going. To, I'm going. I'm checking a few things on the to trick the installer into letting me actually do this, which is probably something I. System install two. So it should be reading. So looking at okay. So if I look at this, it it look it is looking for the sys level file in installer two. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going I'm going to be I'm going to try this. I'm just going to try copying the sys level file and see if it makes it happy. And if that works, I'm going to be really annoyed, but so be it. I mean, we we definitely see things where it's looking for the sys level file. But I'm not sure if that's the only place. And I'm a little concerned that it's hard coded to look in that location. Um, I don't think Girda supports this, or I just disassemble it and see what it's doing. So, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I just want to see her. All right. So let's drop to a command line. All right, so C OS2 install, move syslevel OS2 syslevel old. Okay, and then what were the attri- I doubt this matters. All right, uh, and then copy. Sys level OS2 C install. Okay. All right. Um, Sebastian, I'll check that in a moment. Let's let's see if that gets it past that. Because I don't know what the expected sys level file is. Because for all I know, it's checking a lot of things. Whoa! Holy cow, that worked. That worked. <laughs> Yes! Yes! In your face, IBM! Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I just broke the I just broke the upgrade check on a live stream for iOS 2 blue blue um blue spine. 
Yes, yes, yes. I'm in. I'm in like Finn. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And I, the best part is I don't have to feed floppies. We are go. We are going all the way. If this works, I am going to keep streaming until I install the last version of OS two. We are going to the moon. Eject A and let's keep going. Yes, I can't believe it. We actually did it. Yes, 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 yes. That's a good sign. OS2 uh, version three, it's booting off the hard drive. To the moon might be in my, hey look, look. It's it, it's got colors. Uh oh, uh oh, the installation drive can't access the source drive. Uh oh, red alert. Oh no, <laughs> I know what happened, and what happened was bad. So um, do you, here's what's missing. The CD-ROM drive. There should be a CD-ROM drive right here, and there isn't. The CD-ROM drive disappeared during the installation. God damn it. No CD. Yeah. We lost the install drive. But th this is fine. We're going to roll back. We're going to roll back to a backup, and we're going to install from floppies. I am not losing. I have come too far. Screw it. We are going. We are going. I'm not losing this. Not. Okay. So, fine. All right. So, close this. We we are going full floppy. I don't. Ah, oh God. Trying to do. Okay. OS2. Um, where was the. OS2, okay, OS2 bigger, C, OS2 save image. I don't know why it lost its CD-ROM drive. It really shouldn't have. Bigger, HTGD. All right. Fire it back up. And we are going to try this. Again, I, you know, this had to be a common enough issue because there was an official script on the CDs to turn the CDs into floppy disks. So, you know, as painful and as horrible as this looks, why is this? No, don't. Okay. Uh, Frig, hold on. Hold on. Hold the horses. Start her up. Start her up. Uh, come on. Where is... Why is the VM not running? Um, PCM, where did you go? Something... PCM just broke on me. No, like, I'm serious. It actually did break. Why, why this? PCM? Yeah, see, it starts, and then it doesn't actually do anything. I think PCM decided it's not going to quit. Uh... Hold on, upgrade fast. Copy this. And probably I have to. Is it having a config issue? Why why is this having so much issues? S trace. C 
CD-ROM, why is it trying to access my real life CD-ROM drive? Uh, fine, eject. Why was that a thing? Why, why did I have to eject my CD-ROM drive so PCM could start? I, I kid you not. I, I actually had to do that. And now I can actually load the VM up. I, I, I'm, okay. That, that this is fine. Apparently, apparently you can't start PCM up if you have a CDRW in the drive. So okay, this is fine. Let's try this again. This time we're going to install from floppy disks because I'm not giving up. We, we, we already got past the first big hurdle. We got it to can be convinced that this is an upgrade install. I can I can live with this. This is fine. All right, I just got to figure out which floppy disk now has the, um, has the, the, the sys level file that we need. Uh, it's probably on disk one, but I just want to be sure. Let's see, here's disk one. Yeah, it's on disk one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, never going to give you up. Uh, why is it saying the disk was not, I, we, or I, what? I don't want to have to run check disk on this. I really don't want to have to run check disk on this. We, all right, fine, fine. Uh, check disk CF. Because we, we've already been down this. We've learned a lot of things about OS2 that I really, really wish I didn't have to learn. But I've learned. Okay. So... Uh, Sebastian, I rolled the, I rolled, I made a backup. I just rolled the whole VM back to a backup. So apparently when I made the backup, I screwed up. And apparently it's stuck. I don't know. Let's see here. Check disk C. Is it actually doing anything? It's reading. If I go full screen, I can see it's reading stuff. It's not actually touching the hard drive. I guess it's still loading the, the HPFS stuff. Oh, there it goes. Now it's doing check disk because now the C thing is flashing. There it goes. That just takes a really long time. Okay, so it's checked 100% of the disk. Okay, now it's happy. So now we put disk one back in. Copy, sys level, OS2, OS2, install. I did put that in the right place, didn't I? Yes. Although I feel like this is not the right VM. That's fine. All right. Um, advanced install. That's fine. Accept the drive. And don't format. I have the distinct feeling I didn't properly do this, but this is fine. This is all fine. Um, Goff Alice, I've been streaming OS2 for five freaking hours. We have literally had to patch around an upgrade check in OS2 warp installs media. We had the CD-ROM drive disappear halfway through the upgrade process. So right now we're trying it from floppies on the hope that this will possibly, possibly take it a bit further. We had to convert the entire thing over 
to um, HPFS. It is running on a hope and a dream and a freaking miracle. But I'm not giving up. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm figuring I'm going to start losing people soon, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not. I, 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 this has become a matter of pride for me, like legitimately. Um, so if you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. If you really enjoy my content, follow me on Patreon. Let's see here. Well, the thing is that Goff Alice doing macOS on a Power Mac G3, I mean, yeah, you can go all the way from server 1.0 to server 10.5 if you're sufficiently determined. Um, why are you doing it the hard way? I, I would have just patched the kernel. And, of course, this is the guy who has quite literally recompiled Darwin uh, from scratch. Uh, in fact, I got Rhapsody 5.3, which was only in source code form, to run on x86 because, yeah. All right. Come on. I have a Discord. I do, in fact, have a Discord. I will drop the link in chat since right now we are, um, we are, shall we say, you know things okay it's still going it hasn't crashed i'm watching the disc activity lights on the other screen yep all right the os team thanks you for using this product yeah probably because about one in about six people never actually made it this far please take a few months to complete yeah no I, I i i read that right months to complete your registration card and mail it today being a registered user puts you on our mailing list for all our latest product news. Let's see here. If I was to write an OS2 business card, um, I think it would probably start with make upgrade process not suck. Check. Make HPFS not suck. Check. Um, support dual booting a little better. Check. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I actually unboxed, I have actually have the registration card for some really old IBM software. I've been really tempted to throw it in a mailbox and see what happens. Um, yeah, OS2 support had a very advanced bootloader from 2.0. It could be used to start Linux. It could be used to start uh, Windows 95, 98, and NT. It was more powerful than NT loader. The biggest problem is that OS2 was a pile of crap. I mean, I, I, I don't know how else to describe it. It was just basically a pile of crap. Um, because we are trying to do something really simple. Uh, yeah, I, I you know, at this point, I'm slightly concerned of what it's going to take to get all the way to Warp Connect and then Warp 4.5. I like to think it will just work, but I really, really shouldn't think that way. Uh, Sebastian, OS2 was well below its time. It was built around OS uh, 286 segmentation, and it was cludged around in 3.0 to make it usable. Um, honestly, a DAWs extender does everything OS2 does, but better. I, I, I really... I've coded for OS2, and it's a fracking miserable experience. Uh, the earlier versions are actually quite a bit better. So, you know, but a lot of it is that IBM had to replace all the good. I See, I just saw the IBM IDE CD driver go flying by. So the goddamn CD-ROM drive should have worked instead of us having to do this special thing. Oh, God, so many floppies. Um, we went through IBM. We we started at IBM OS2 1.0. This is the fourth time, a third time I've had to migrate the file system because file system. 
Okay. Oh, easy to use. The graphical desktop helps you manage your work and be productive right away. The launch pad gives you quick in access to frequently used features. Just point and click. It's that simple. Okay. As an actual OS2 user, and I have quite a few in the chat, um, who else besides me thought Launchpad was the biggest pile of garbage that came out of Workspace Shell? That was the bar that floated in the middle of versions 3 and 4. So, yeah. Okay, so right now it's installing MDOS. So, we're getting there. Wow, this is, this is really slow because of the amount of compression IBM used. Okay. Um, Felipe, so if you want to code on OS2, it's a lot like coding for the 16-bit versions of Windows with very arbitrary changes and a compiler that just hates you. The easiest way is to use OpenWatcom and to look in the header files because that will be the best documentation. Do not, for the love of God, do not use visu uh, IBM Visual C uh, uh, Age. You will just hate yourself if you have to use that so okay and then as um let's see here as as um i don't know um and then the, if you want to target the 16-bit versions of OS2, the best way to do it is with the Microsoft Programming ban um, Bench. Uh, Felipe, you will long for MSVC 1.5 if you really try using Visual Age because it was so badly coded, it's not even funny. IBM still used the 386 compiler from 1989 from Microsoft up until Warp for for driver development as well as the kernel so okay diskette free okay so we're gonna i really wish that we could install from the cd-rom I, I i keep thinking that this will hopefully be the last time we have to do this from floppy okay okay yeah okay i'm gonna lose my stream to spacex so oh well all right Disk four. God, it's amazing. This is one disk at a time. Okay. <sighs> Nothing could possibly go wrong. Like if I lose my entire stream to SpaceX, it's like, okay, fine. I'll live with it. All right. Disk four is just Rex. This is going fast. Visual Studio 1.5. No, if you want to experience, try Visual Studio 2.0, which only supported NT3.1. OS2 is greater than SpaceX. Well, as much as I appreciate SpaceX, I don't think they have enough thrust to, heap, to, to haul this sh uh, heap of garbage to low. Hold on. OS2 runs your existing applications. You can continue to use programs that you're already familiar with and add new programs as you need them. That means you can run a wide range of DAWs, Windows, and OS2 applications at the same time and share information among them. And OS2 is compatible with a wide range of hardware. <clears throat> I, I, I... Chat, can you just do something for me? Because I, I, I don't think I'm ready to, to comment on that. Well, the the CD-ROM, to be fair, I've had the CD-ROM drive disappear under NT before. Because it's not like that's not exactly a new problem. But Windows NT was smart enough to copy the installation CD to the goddamn hard drive. That was just bad. The installation CD disappeared out from under us. Oh, God. You know what? It probably... It was probably trying to use whatever install CD was configured under OS 2.2.1. And because we didn't have one installed on 2.1, it just goes... Oh, God. 
Oh God. Why? Thankfully, thankfully there's no warp free five. Okay, disc at five. We're getting there. The crank, let, let, let's see what lying bullshit comes from IBM next. The award-winning OS2 has even more features. <laughs> A new look and feel. Improved performance. Support for more hardware. Your system will run smoother so you can work better. And a bonus pack includes a starter set of applications that lets you get it using the power of OS2. No, Mike Wilder, we're running, we're installing OS2 3.0. We've had some issues. We've had a lot of issues. Like, we've had an absurd amount of issues. And on that note, if you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. If you really enjoyed this content, um, drop, feel free to follow, um, follow, uh, support me on Patreon or drop a super chat. Um, so the honest truth is I don't know what I want to do for future streams. I mostly did this one because I really could not let this be a half-baked thing. Like, I really couldn't. Um, we got so far, and the fact of the matter is we're going to probably do it. Like, I, I just... I, I almost want to make a video out of this, but... I don't know. It, it won't be one I do immediately. There may be some stuff that's happening this summer that will change how um, my content comes together probably in August or September. So I might make that video then, but I don't know. So I, like I said, I, it, there's some behind the scenes stuff that I might release as a Patreon post. Um, that I probably need to talk about. So, I don't know. All right. So, and I gotta tell you that bonus pack was one of the worst features of this version of OS 2. So, I think 6 is the last one we need before we reboot. Get the most out of OS 2. Check out the easy to use documentation. You know what? I'll give them that one because OS 2 actually has decent um, documentation. The book gives tips and techniques a guided tour of the desktop, and troubleshooting information. After installation is complete, a wealth of online information is at your fingertips. Yep. Like I, like I said, I know a lot of people that swear by OS2, like, heavily. I am not one of those people, even though I was an OS2 user back in the day. I ran 2.0, 2.1, and I might have even ran Warp. I don't, not long, because at that point, the OS2 ship had kind of sunk. Yeah. So, so Petro, not a problem, because we haven't actually gone that far. We are only now just getting OS2 3.0 installed because I had to hack the installer because um, it it was too good for this sinful upgrade. Uh, we also had to install an HPFS partition. We had to copy the files over. We had to patch OS2 2.1. It, it has not gone well, but we did have a new radioactive hot dog. So, okay. All right, the the crank g turns blood for the blood god. Oh, and we're installing from floppy disks, which just just to make it that much more painful because um, OS 2s uh, OS two lost the CD ROM drive halfway through installation. It just flat out stopped existing. I don't know if the hot dog will survive the upgrade. I really don't know if we will have the radioactive hot dog. Um, Pancake Sparkle, that's because this is IBM's um, extended disk format, which crams 1.8 megabytes onto each floppy disk and um, is obnoxiously slow because it has to also decompress. Work faster and smarter, bullshit. 
Uh, if you're on a network and want to share information with your colleagues, be sure to check out the fastest server available. LAN server from IBM. Uh, yeah. So, I have, I might have something, uh, in, something starting with work and ending in bench. I love that it's making me reinsert the same damn floppy disks again, disk one, um, in the future. So, okay. OS2, easy to use, protects your investment, ahead of the pack, reliable and stable. It's the world's most popular 32-bit operating system for IBM and IBM-compatible PCs. Oh, boy. This was, I should note that this was released at the very end of 1994. Uh, I was not the winning bad for Land Manager on eBay. I was very tempted to grab it, but yeah. Um, there, there, there have been some false advertising claims in this installer. Um, there has been a lot of false advertising. Okay, we've managed to copy everything that was on the CD. Now the question is, can we get all the way from start to finish? Can we get all the way to start to finish or is it going to lose the floppy drive? Because God knows it lost the CD-ROM drive halfway through install. It's going, it's going, it's going burr. What's the best OS for an i286 CPU? Xenix. Xenix. Initializing. Uh, yes! Yes! Look! Looky, looky, looky! Oh, look, we can install the CD ROM drive. We can actually install a CD ROM driver. Uh, non listed IDE. Multimedia support. Uh, we have a sound blaster. Uh, I believe we emulate a sound blaster 16. Okay. Uh, no SCSI. And we have no printer. Do not install a default printer. Let's see here. Um, we also have a lot of graphics cards. What do we... I don't want to install a graphics driver just yet because um, if the graphics installation fails for whatever reason, it can brick an OS2 installation. Okay. Migrate everything. Yes. 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 We are going. It let us install the CD-ROM drive. This will be the last one I have to do by floppies. Yes. I still have to install with floppy disks. Oh, it's so close. Oh. Yes. Yes. Um, Petro, it's got better hardware compatibility, but really the hardware list is just the things that IBM were shipping in the um, Avitra line of computers. That's really all it boiled down to. Um, yes, we. Uh, I'm hoping we'll have a 256 color hot dog. I actually think we're in two, well, no, that's dithered. So I guess we're not in 256 color mode. Um, but yes, the hot dog has been upgraded. We, we actually, we, we've been stuck here going around in circles for a while. Like, it, it, it hasn't been good. But we only have two more left. If this actually installs, we install warp 4 and warp 452, and we're done. So, uh, Nail, the status is we successfully upgraded from OS 2 2.0 to 2.1. We went through a lot of issues to make 2.1 upgrade to 2.0 to 3.0. We had to migrate to HPFS, which was not easy. We had to patch the installer to override a Sandy check. So it will do an upgrade install. Um, 
And then we discovered that if you do an upgrade install from 2.1 to 3.0, it loses the CD-ROM driver halfway through and fails to install. So we are currently uh, installing from floppy disks, but we'll have a CD-ROM drive past this point. So, yes. Send, send tweets to IBM with the radioactive hot dog saying that we need more IBM uh, OS 2. Yeah. No, the CD-ROM literally dropped out halfway through. It, it, I've seen that happen on NT, but it's so rare on NT. <laughs> this, is, this is just upgrade pain. Well, to be fair, let's create... I would presume that if you were upgrading from 2.1 to 3 with a CD-ROM, the upgrade worked before you started. But then again, they also gave a shell script to make all the um, floppy disks. So, um, you know, maybe we should do a strip... Do you guys want to see more upgrade streams? I mean, we could do streams where I upgrade for every version of Debian or similar. Or try and upgrade for every version of Netware. Come on. Go. Go. Okay. Disk 8. It goes. It goes. Netware, I can't start with 1.0 because 1.0 has never been archived. We'd have to start with OS2 286, uh, go through 3, migrate it to E directory, then go through 4, 5, and then migrate it to AD. Um, I, I need to do more Netware stuff. Like I said, I've had some serious, serious... Um, serious things that have impacted my video production. So never heard of me. I have heard mixed things on YouTube and live streams. I'm a little bit concerned if I'll be honest. This stream has a lot lower concurrent viewers than the other ones have, but it's also on a Wednesday midday for a good part of the world. So, I don't know what to think about this. I I don't know. It's... I know Caffroid Ray Dude has done that. I know a few... I know LGR does blurbs on a separate channel. Quite possibly. I, although, I don't know if LGR has ever mentioned the reason why he does blurbs on a separate channel. Um... So, I don't know what to do and I don't know what to think. Because... YouTube does not give any real insight to how live streams and stuff go. I don't know. I mean, see, and that's kind of what my problem is. I could easily stream on Twitch if I wanted to. I mean, I have a Twitch account. Um, I don't like Twitch is a platform for several reasons. Um, so, so the thing is that what I've seen with watch time is I'm not sure that one video affects another. Like if one video has really good watch time and another doesn't, it doesn't seem to have a, shall we say, cumulative effect um, so to speak, like, um, let me rephrase that. I don't think YouTube looks at you watch time as a channel statistic. I think it looks at it on a per video statistic because you have a lot of channels where you have one video goes massively viral, but the rest of their videos have maybe a thousand views of that. So I don't know for a fact um, what I do know is that the reason subscribers are so important to YouTube is that they get the initial velocity for a video 
because I see this very clearly on the statistics that you that subscribers start watching my videos their watch time is what you causes the algorithm to start pushing it further and further to non-subscribers so yeah there is also the extent and i hate to put it this way if i ever want end up as a full-time youtuber content creator I am mostly dependent on building a Patreon following and so forth and not a YouTube following per se because what you get from YouTube ad revenue is pathetic. I'll, there, there's no real way to put it around it. I really, you know, I, I suspect LGR makes low to mid six figures as probably does some of the other million ones. I, I get an idea, you know, for... A weekly content, I'd be guessing maybe a few thousand dollars in ad revenue if you are the one top 1% 1 of video creators in your field. So, Goff Alice, don't worry about it all so much. Um, really, I don't blame people. So, people that watch views on YouTube of an ad blocker actually hurt the channels they watch because they drop a statistic that's called revenue per mile, which is part of what YouTube uses to determine how far the algorithm goes. But I can't blame anyone for using an ad blocker on YouTube. It's obnoxious the number of ads they put on YouTube. I mean, I, I, I feel bad saying that. but And what they charge for YouTube premium is ridiculous. So, but that's really how it boils down to. Um, sh uh, sh um, Shemizer, about a quarter of my revenue, I make about $100 on average per month from YouTube. About a quarter to a fifth of that is premium revenue. So, sorry, I just had to take a drink. Um, yeah. I Like I said, I understand... Um, I understand why people use ad blockers. I, I, I honestly... The abuse of ad networks is so obnoxious that I... It, you know, it reminds me of how cable TV used to be ad-free. So, yeah. You know, and I, I, I kind of concern would um, see her disc 11, you know, and this is kind of why I don't know if I'll be streaming again for a while, not until I get some more video content out, because I'm worried. I am to an extent worried about how the streams impact my channel, but I can't imagine that Google is so Google doesn't take into account that streamed content has very different characteristics to live content. You know, a lot of it is chat interaction is a big thing. So, I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest. It does stress me out quite a bit. Um, The fact of the matter is that I really would love to be a full-time content creator. Um, I can't, as it is, I have very little work because of my health issues. Um, so in a lot of ways, this would be represent a lot of independence for me. But, you know, I have to work with what I have. You know, and I'm going to have long periods where I'm not going to be able to make videos. And there's also stuff where, um, yeah. To tox toxic, what do you mean by gangbusters? I, I... The thing is with Twitch... Twitch is basically built for gaming content. If you are a non-gaming channel, you are not discoverable on Twitch, period. YouTube does a pretty good job at connecting people from to your con from your content to your content. 
Um, you know, like I get a lot of people that see my live streams and it's the first content they've seen. So, yeah. I, yeah, like I said, I, I understand. So, and the thing is with also with Twitch is that I bitch about content ID there. I've had content ID problems with this thing too. Twitch will just flat out delete your channel and they give you no tools to work with. Like I've heard horror stories much worse than what I've heard from team YouTube. So I'm more comfortable with YouTube as a platform than I am with Twitch uh, for many reasons. But I, like I said, I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping to get to the point that I'm not directly dependent on my channel growing, that I'll have, be able to release special projects like, you know, doing the Dronada Bolton board thing or doing future live streams. I, I really, I just really don't know. It's, it's so difficult to know for a fact. Uh, Felipe, Twitch actually has an exclusivity agreement if you become affiliate or partner. Um, this has been a major problem for my hacker group because once you hit the threshold for affiliate and partner and you don't take it, your channel is deprioritized for promoting. This is a pretty well-documented thing on Twitch. So... Um, yeah. Um, for me, I um, I've gone content ID'd because I use commercially licensed music, but I have a commercial use license. So in my case, I can win a content ID dispute because I can prove that I have the commercial license licensed music, like just because I just noticed that I don't have music going right now. So the other reason for doing live streams is you don't know the person unless you interact with them. Like, I don't know LGR. I don't know 8-Bit Guy. Of the retro tech YouTubers, there's only one, and I'm not going to name them, that I know on a level beyond what their content is. And this is why I got a lot of backblast when I made the video about Richard Stallman. Because people thought, oh, you use Linux, you worship the free, the cult of the Free Software Foundation. The amount of hate mail I got is was amazing. You should. I posted some of the excerpts on Twitter. I still get hate mail from that video, and I don't regret posting it because, you know, I have to post who I am as a person. I don't have. A personality when I go on YouTube this is who I am so you know it is what it is what it is what it is one thing I am going to check when I end the stream uh, all right you know actually I can probably check it right now I, I don't know if I want to bring it up while I'm on stream I want to see how YouTube is pushing the impressions Yeah, it is actually pushing quite a few impressions, but I can't see how hard they actually are pushing it. I'm looking at the, the dashboard right now. So until I shut the stream down, I probably won't be able to see it. So, no, it's not that people hate me for using Linux Pancake Sparkle, uh, although I do get a lot of comments about it. It's a lot because I don't worship at the... Um, I don't worship... Um, uh, Stallman. Um, I have very bad experiences with the Free Software Foundation. I mostly made that video because I have dealt with Stallman and he is an, one of the most toxic people. And this is before I, you know, this is just from my own personal experiences. So, um, the fact that I was willing to say bad things about Stallman and call him out on his bullshit basically really burned me. And I actually suspect my channel was damaged because of that backlash. But what can you do? Okay, so it wants me to install, put printer disk one in. But I don't know what, oh, P, okay. 
Whoever named these files did not do so in a good way. All right. I, I'm sorry if I'm getting on my soapbox right now. I really, I apologize. So, all right. Um, I'm currently trying to find where printer disk one is. Let's see here. Display one, TCP IP one. Um, I'm missing a disk. Hold on. Where is the printer disk? I, I've got the script that makes all the disks. So I can find what file it is. But this is annoying. I am not. I have come too far to be stopped by the fact by a missing printer disk. All right, so, all right, to so make disks, which one makes the printer disk? Printer. Okay, so it's it's the driver disk one is what this is called because of, of course it is. Yes, we need the, pr we know we have to install the null printer. You actually have a special IBM null printer. Now we need the display driver disk. I'm guessing that's PM uh dppm uh nope that's not it all right which one's that let me i've got the file display driver disp one oh there it is who who would ibm name these things okay yeah um Oh, no, the IBM null printer has been a thing since 1.1. Okay. Okay, it's installing the video driver. Turn the crank, 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 turn the crank. Come on. And then we have to install the video driver. And then we have the radioactive hot disk. Yes, this is an effect. So, um, Petro... The floppy disks are generated by the CD. There is an actual s install script on the on the CD-ROM to generate all these floppy disks. Because apparently this problem was known. That IBM knew that people would have a CD-ROM drive. <laughs> and so apparently there is a clip feature on YouTube these days. I don't know what it is, but apparently it is a thing. Okay, so now, now we get this wonderful UI from my... How do you guys want to migrate your um, autoexec.bat? This is the old one. This is the new one. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this mess. Uh, okay, I'm just going to hit save. I'm going to hit quit. Uh, I'm going to hit quit again. Installation is complete. Remove, remove the disk and click OK to shut down. Come on. All right. Reboot. Reboot time. Actually, I'm going to shut it down. And I'm going to back up the hard drive. Because at this point, at this point, I'm not taking any chances. I, I, I don't care. OS2. I, I'm going to have to, like, remove 30 or so copies of OS2 from my folder. So, let's see here. Installed warp free IMG. Okay. I've backed up the image. Let let's go. Okay, come on. Come on. Well, that's promising. That is promising. I don't think the radioactive hot dog will survive. But we've managed to upgrade to 3.0. Um, this... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> the radioactive hot dog survived! The sound support didn't. Okay. We have some errors. But it, the radioactive hot dog survived. 
And it's still trying to run the OS2 installation program. Oh, it is glorious. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to shut down. I may have just forgotten to turn the sound blaster on. Uh, the, this That may have just been user error. So let me put, make sure there's an actual sound blaster. So let's bring up the gear. Uh, sound. Yeah, okay. That's what happened. I forgot. I forgot to put the sound blaster in. Okay, we just installed the sound blaster. Okay. Now let's let's see if we can get some glorious, glorious, um, glorious effects out of this thing. Uh, what video card did I put in here? I think yeah, I've got a mock. Let's find out. It's still not happy. I saw I saw errors. Initialization failed. Okay. It's not exactly happy. All right, let's let's uh find the system config. All right. I got to remember where this is. It's been a while since I used this version of OS2. Uh, and as much as I like Radioactive Hot Dog, I think for the moment we are going to go default. Yeah. We'll, well, the Radioactive Hot Dog will return, but I actually need to see what I'm doing. So somewhere in here, this is system setup. Is it direct? Device driver install? No. See, this has been migrated over so many versions of OS 2. Oh, man. This is a glorious disaster. Yes. Because this is not even the correct color scheme. All right. So, let me see if I can remember how you do this. I think it's an OS2 system. It's my it's under selective install. Uh crud. I have this distinct feeling some things might still be broken. Selective uninstall? No. Okay, we've got sound. That doesn't do anything. Crud. Well, okay, it's it's fairly broken. All right, Felipe, I think you have uh, have a good night. Okay, so obviously there are problems. What is this trying to open? So that's trying to open install.exe. So if I open, let's see here. Does it see the CD-ROM drive? Have we? Gone a CD-ROM drive. We don't have a CD-ROM drive. Because, of course, we don't. The program can't access the source drive. Yeah, okay, so I, I think some things have gone wrong. Like, I think a lot of things have gone wrong. I think... I think... Oh, you know what? I, I know what happened. I know what happened. Okay. So I accidentally, and I, I do mean this in a accidentally sort of sense. Um, so this needs to be removed. Um, we accidentally reinstalled over a broken upgrade install. So we need to do a few bits of edits. to actually get this to work. So now we should be able to shut down. Oh, look at that. OS2 2.0 desktop. Is this, what went so wrong? That's not OS2 3.0. That's the, that's the 2.0 workspace shell. I just realized that. 
Okay. All right. I'm not. I'm not giving up. Uh, simple programming codes. Welcome back. All right. So let's see if we can actually install the rest of the drivers. I have a distinct feeling we can't, but we'll try. We'll have to find the ones that wants and copy them. Fingers crossed. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't... Yeah, there, there's definitely some things missing. Okay. Uh, the directory stored... So the set desktop line is broken. Okay, that is progress. Okay, we did make it in to the second stage installer. That's fine. That's fine. Sound Blaster 16. I don't want to install a printer. Oh god, this might make me reinstall every desk. Okay. That's fine. Install. Install. Uh, a drive is not ready. Yeah, you need to have a disk in you. You really do. All right, it's a fairly broken install. I'll, I'm not going to deny that. I think I remember how to fix this. Retry. I remember correctly, it's having problems because... Okay, close that. We don't need that. So this will do the update. Yeah, wow, holy cow, this this broke. Okay. Sorry, I I I was a little bit kind of um I got a little distracted from chat. Okay, so it's trying to do something. I have that distinct Yeah, because this is not what this should be. I mean, this definitely is not what this should be. I mean, here's the bonus pack. Oh, you know what probably happened? Is, remember I said, told it that you're going to, you're OS2 3.0 and you're upgrading on top of yourself? I think it took objection to this. Also, this appears to be stuck. All right, so we're going to have to make some edits to some core system files. So that's PM shell. Let's see here. What else did we What else did we lose? Cuz you know, I'd like there's so much I'd like to have. There's the CD-ROM drivers. It is possible that I, because I upgrade from an incompatible version, I think it mostly boils down to a, I have to fix these files. Because I've heard of upgrades going pretty wrong with OS 2. And I can't seem to kill this. I don't know what it's doing. All right. All right. We're going to have to make a few edits here. So let me open autoexec.bat. So when autoexec.bat runs, uh, yeah, okay. All right, well, initializing install program, end program. Well, this is fun. This is fun. I, f I can't even kill this. It's just stuck. Yeah, no, that, that is actually stuck. And there's no way in OS2 to kill a process that's completely stuck. The sys level is completely broken. That is... That's really cute. It it's showing sys level for multiple things. Oh boy. Uh I may have poo-pooed this. I may have poo-pooed this quite good. 
We could keep trying upgrading. Oh, black screen. Hold on. I'll fix that. No, it's not black screen. Why do you... Yeah, okay. Fixed. All right, let's take a look in OS2.in. Continue loading file. Right. Okay. That's completely broken. This is all completely broken. This is so broken. <laughs> let's see here. Um, all right. So let me look at this. So protect only device. It should be fairly obvious what needs to be here and what doesn't need to be here. I hope. I really hope. Okay. So a few of these files I know I need. I need to find the CD-ROM driver. Uh, User.in is that. That's correct. That's correct. Oh, I see what it's trying to do. It's trying to run this cleanup step. And it's failing for some reason. So, and if I edit config.sys and we remove that. Yeah, okay. So, I think now if I just do a reboot. Yeah, I think if I just do a reboot, it should be okay. Yeah, no, I, I, that's kind of where we are. We're definitely trying to install every version of OS2 all at once. Is pretty close to... Uh-oh. Red alert. Oh, I forgot to eject the floppy disk. Let's see here. Going into the text editor breaks OBS. Why? I, it looks fine for me. Okay. Hmm. Weird. The system cannot create the DAWs environment. DAWs cannot be started. So, we've managed to lose DAWs compatibility. Uh, this is fine. How did we lose DOS compatibility? What what went wrong? Okay, all right. This is actually starting to look a little better. So we're no longer getting errors about those missing drivers. So if I just choose that, and then I want OS2 DOS support. I also want HSPS. You know, I just kind of want everything. This might make me reinstall all the disks. Install. Okay, okay. I think we might actually get somewhere. Holy cow. I might have de-screwed this install. Okay, so if I want... I think it's going to make me insert every disk again because I remember OS2 doing this back in the day and it sucked. And it is. It's going to make me do every disk again. Okay, so that's the IBM IDE driver. It should have all these files. It really should. It really should have all these files. Sebastian, have a great night. I I just I'm not giving up. I'm I'm really not. I'm I'm just going to keep going. I I I have come too far. I don't know if it will change the shell. I. I guess, oh no, okay, it's not going to actually reinst ask me for all the disks. It just asked me for the ones it needs. I don't know which ones it actually needs, but, um, okay. 
Yeah, because we went two, three, and seven. So, yeah. Yes, I specifically set the time here to make it easier for the per Europe crowd. Um, I know I get less views for doing that. Um, most of my viewers are in North America. But I do try and alternate it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't mean it, this to go all the way until sex. Let's be honest. I This was not the plan. It's it's really going to make me install all these files again, aren't isn't it? I mean, I can literally hear my desktop grinding. It, it's not happy about this. But I did see the audio get installed. So. so the fastest the thing is never heard of me um the fastest amiga you can buy is the fastest mac you could buy was an amiga that's been benchmarked it's actually true so i am i am taking this all the way i am Wow, OS2 one free proc. That must be a compatibility level layer. It'd be so much better if we could install this from a CD-ROM. I should have just let it install from IDE and then we continue on. But no, I had to do this the hard way. Why did I have to do this the hard way? All right. This is fine. This is all fine. I am going to go I'm going to go for another 2 hours and if I haven't gone close to if I have if I'm still going around in circles, I'll call it then. I just I am so determined to do this. Yeah, I, I know the vintage show and tell. It's just, you know, this was a project that was supposed to be simple and easy. And um, it hasn't. Not in the slightest. Okay, RSP install. So that should be it for this disk. Let's go and want disk 8 now. Yeah. If this gives us a working CD-ROM drive, we're going right on to the next version. I'm not even I'm not even going to at this point. Although maybe I will install the Sound Blaster stuff. Yeah, Goff Alice, I know exactly what you mean. I um This really was only supposed to be like a three hour stream. I figured, how hard could it be? I've been streaming for six hours right now. Like, I I, I don't know how this went so sideways a a except it has it did and i'm regretting my life choices and it's so slow installing from floppy disk holy cow um dylan uh mcdonald just made a 256 mexican peso donation let's turn it into a collaborative um collaborative project Thank you so much for the donation. That is amazing. I I don't remember what the exchange rate from Mexican peso is to U.S. dollar. I think it's 1 to 14, uh, uh, 14 to 1. But that is hugely, hugely appreciated. Thank you. Super chat, you know. So let's keep going. You know, that 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 is the wind beneath my sails. I, I mean, yep, to the moon, seer. All right. So let me think about this. 
19 to 1. Okay. I haven't been to Mexico in I a few years ago, so this is end commander road trip time. You know, I could even get out the you know what? We're watching the floppy disk spin. I'm going to get the photos out while I do this. So a few years ago, um I used to work for Canonical and Canonical sent me to a really cruddy project in Houston. Um, and if you know the tech companies in Houston, you could probably guess what I was doing. Um, and I ended up taking a very long road trip through Mexico. Uh, that is not Mexico. But I basically spent five or six days driving through Mexico. And um, I got to tell you, bring, I love Mexico. I love visiting. I like. I even like driving there. But bringing a vehicle in through the migration de, um, department de migration and Adiuda, you have to do enough paperwork to take on a freaking citizenship. So, um, so does anyone want to hear the experience of what it takes to take a car into Mexico? Because right now I'm running out of things to say about OS2. Um, so, and uh, because we have four more floppy disks to go through, and yeah. <sighs> okay. That or my chat quit. My Spanish is pretty poor. I, I, I used to be conversational, and it has gone, um, well, uh, KF... KF, uh, KF, FF, FF, did you, um, actually get a proper import license or did you just drive to the Guarta Vente Uno? Um, because they never actually bothered to check my paperwork when I brought my vehicle into Mexico. But if you do it correctly, there's a lot of paperwork involved. Uh, Wilfred, thank you so much for the five euro 49, uh, cent super chat. Um, I love Germany. I intend to the, um, when I used to work at Mixer, uh, I developed FTL. Uh, that was my brainchild and it was done in a flat in Germany, having removed a cactus from my boss. Um, and that is my last, that was my second to last Berlin experience. My most recent one involved a mechanical horse, a radar station, and some very out of place Americans. So, yes. Um, so, David EW86, the mainframe with OS2 laptops actually has a very valid reason. OS2 was the preferred platform for Communication Manager, which was IBM's official Swiss Army knife of this is how you plug a PC into a mainframe. Um, this is an alternative to using something like SNA Server or what they now call Host Integration Gateway. So, yes. Um, Pedro, I actually have a second channel called Restless Yankee. Before the march that never ended, I was actually biking across the United States. I covered 450 miles or about 700 kilometers on a bicycle across the full length of Florida. I, um, I The channel never got very big, but... I am now fully vaccinated, and it looks like this summer might be safe enough that I might make a second try at it and go all the way from New York to California. But I, the problem is doing so, I'd have to put this channel on hiatus um, because I – and I, I'm hesitant to do so because doing this uh, live stream or doing this YouTube thing for the last year has given a lot of meaning to my life, a lot – for because of you people, you know, that come into these streams, support me. And we've apparently got the, the super chat hype train going. Holy cow. Uh, dear monkey, I'll get to you in a moment. Um, so um, there are some things I could do while traveling, but my laptop, to get a laptop that could run DaVinci Resolve and fit it onto a bike, um, you can't see it from here. It's over in the corner. Um, yeah. Well, what I would probably do if I, I'm mulling 
if I do it, it'll be in August because I still have to condition myself. Um, I just got past the point that I am now officially immune to COVID or 95% immune. Um, we need we need music. Hold on before before we before we continue this. Um, the uh, because it's now been officially two weeks since my last fa since I got shot two of Team Moderna. Um, so holy cow, hype train people, you are all right, screw it. You you guys win. I am going all the way to war OS2 warp 5.42, and the only thing that's going to make me take pause is that at some point I am going to have to empty my bladder. So screw it. We are going all the way. You guys are amazing. Literally. So as I was saying, I was try I've done three long distance bike tours. I biked from Rochester to Buffalo and then Buffalo all the way to New York City. I didn't quite make New York City, but I went 500 or so miles. Um, and then the second tour I started and then I had COVID. Um, or I didn't have COVID. COVID happened. So, um, uh, Benny, no, we're still on warp 3.0. We are, we are having, we, we've had, we've had some serious technical difficulties. So, um, yeah, Dylan, I'm guessing, are you Canadian? Um, I've got a friend in Canada who's had some really hard things and I haven't been able to go up there to see them and they can't come into the United States. So it's made things easier. Oh, I said five, four, two. Um, well, I live in this alternate timeline where COVID never happened and IBM announced new OS2. And holy, uh, Toxfam8689 has added to the $5 hype train. I'm okay. We have, guys, the chat revenue is at $69.29. Someone donate 20, 15 cents if you can. We, we, we need to go full pog. Or that just happened. That just happened. Jesus Christ. The 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 radioactive hot dog. <laughs> oh no. I can't keep up with all this. <laughs> okay. Frame buffer has decided. Okay, fine. Frame buffer, the radioactive hot dog is going to come back right now. It it it's it's scheme palette. The abomination. I know it's a low resolution abomination. There we go. It's back. The 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 hot dog is back. I will take competing bids to remove the hot dog. The hot dog lives or dies depending on <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are amazing. You really I I can't I can't believe <laughs> Oh looky! The the installer background changed. <laughs> I I um, I'm going, go, Goff Alice, I'm going to set up a co-fly. Um, they just have to do, I have to do some government, um, paperwork to set that up. So, uh, you won't have to worry about that in the future. So let me catch up with all the, uh, super chats. Frame Buffer, who develops my wonderful thumbnails and is partially responsible for the radioactive hot dog and was memeing about it is um is um has decided that the radioactive hot god is going to be a thing so we have a fully dithered radioactive hot dog and then al frazier says all the way baby which tells me we are going to warp 4.52 okay so um so okay so, um, as a note, uh, still waiting for OS2 Warp 5. That's Ecom Station. Okay. I think I'm going to have to, um, buy Ecom Station and do a video on it because, God. Okay. You guys are, we are going to the, going to the moon. So, I was saying something before the hype train got, oh, yes, the hype train. I, um, I actually know a thing or two about stream culture i worked at mixer and um when i was at mixer i made ftl 
the entire incentive for FTL was that we could we could do pitch, um, Twitch pays Pokemon with lower latency. And Luke Garner just threw another $10 down with a what appears to be a flying potato, but in purple. Or in blue. <sighs> you know, I, I the, the thing I really want to do, I don't know when. It, you can see it there in the background. I have Itanium Hardware. Um, and I would love to do Open VMS. But the... Hobbyist licenses don't allow commercial use, which sucks. And that machine has some serious issues with it. Um, talk to him. Yes, I worked at Mixer. I was at Mixer from Beam to Mixer. Um, I developed FTL in their early days. And I was let go because um, I was unwilling to locate to Seattle when Microsoft bought the company. Uh, I was, I was with Matt. Holy crap, guys. Um, so Wilfred, I will look on eBay for Ecom station. I will try and get it. Uh, Navjack27 threw another 20 bucks because the hype train has left the station. Uh, choo choo. Um, yeah, Toxfem69. FTL was entirely my... I, Matt had the idea for it, but I implemented it from start to finish. The problem is that Microsoft fucked with the FTL implementation. Uh, so it actually works a lot worse than what it's supposed to. They made changes that broke the FTL assumptions and it causes a stuttering effect. Um, if you were around in the very early Mixer Beam days, what my FTL was and what Microsoft made it into are two very different things. And I'm, I'm a little bit ticked about that because I didn't know about that at the time. And then I learned that certain people took credit for FTL that had nothing to do with its development. And I, I'm i not going to name names, but it did kind of get on my nerves. But if you want to see some of my handiwork, I archived... Um, a bunch of the FTL stuff was open source and you can find my name in the credits. If you look for it, let me find it here. FTL SDK. Actually, it's still there under Microsoft because of some very interesting and ugly copyright stuff. I technically own a lot of the FTL copyrights and you can actually find my name right there at the top copyright 2015. Um, and I would love to do SGI stuff. I would love to do, um, SGI, holy crap, SGI stuff holds a premium. I, it really does. But I've done work with IREX. I used to be active on the Nico Chan forums when they were still around. Um, we just finished, uh, OS2 setup. So let's reboot the radioactive hot dog. Because, Yes. Um, we finished feeding floppy disks. That's what happened. So let's see if we have working sound and or floppies. Yep. So, yeah. So FTL was kind of... The thing is that FTL happened... I designed FTL right after Mixer. Uh, sorry, right after I left Canonical. And I... When Matt decided... Basically, the entire incentive for... FTL was we want Twitch plays Pokemon on beam without a 45 second delay. That was literally the mission cry statement as handed to me by Matt. And we, at the time flash was depreciated. We couldn't install a plugin. And I looked at this and thinking, how the F is this possible? And I still somehow managed to do it. And I still question how it was actually possible. Okay, so we went for all that trouble, and the CD-ROM drive did not actually get installed. Uh, that's fine. Wait, wait a minute. Why am I not getting a CD-ROM drive? Let me just try clicking install CD-ROM drive. Something has gone wrong. We have no CD-ROM drive when we should have a CD-ROM drive. Okay, I want a Sound Blaster card, please. Thank you. 
And we have... All right. I have this distinct feeling that this is far more broken than what it should be, and we don't actually need that. So install, install. Okay, so install disk two. I have this distinct feeling that this is this install is very, 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 very broken. So what I'll do is if this doesn't fix it, I will manually fix the CD-ROM driver. And then I will Okay, I've got more I've got more donations to the pile coming in. Alright. The OS2 content we need and deserve. You're getting it. I am going to go all the way to Warp Connect tonight. I don't know how, but I will do it. The, ins the installed adapter. Yeah. All right. Install using... Whoa, what just happened? Okay. Uh, display content. Um, I am open to knowing, guys, what you would want to see for future live streams. I chose OS2 kind of on a whim, but if there's a lot of things that you want to see, I will do it. If you want to see me do a, an upgrade for every Windows live stream, I will I will figure out the logistics of it and do it. I mean, like, a lot of people have done it on YouTube before, but, yep, Plan 9. Um, Goff Alice, I will consider Plan 9 as long as I don't have to do Inferno and I don't have to compile the damn thing. Um, Nickly, uh, 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 okay, screw Windows, we can work with that. Netware up up Upgrade Challenge. Twitch installs OS 2. Oh, man. You guys are gonna make me do Plan Nine, aren't you? You, you, you evil, evil people! You're going to make me do Plan Nine. You're going to make me have to deal with RC and Acme, and you are going to enjoy my tears. Uh, Jan, I actually want to do Herd at some point, but at the moment, I'm not willing to do anything under the GNU banner. Um, I have actually committed code to GNU Herd. I am well familiar with that brain damage. I'm I've been really tempted to try and put Linux on the um on the Cthulhu's 486 because you guys know that the, the, that's the 486 that matches the screw up the um Plan 9 or QNX and I'll give Google my credit. So Goth Alice, I have an Intel Professional Workstation. That was one of the reference platforms for QNX 2.1. So, what does this tell you? I, I, I can do QNX. In fact, QNX made a cameo on one of my earlier videos. The only reason the 486 has not been running QNX is because QNX needs more than 8 megabytes of memory. Do a stream where you set v, VFIO PCI pass-through on Gentoo. So, Toxfem, I'm actually going to tell you something. I have to figure this out for one reason. Because I have to do something with a token ring card. I am going to let you debate on why that is going to be a thing. And how I'm going to do that thing. I... I have actually been tempted to do a React OS video because I saw Linus's tech tips video on React OS. I really rubbed me the wrong way, but that was before I was a YouTuber. Yes, hold on, hold on. I um, I want to show the properly cursed thing. Uh, let me make sure the camera. I've got the camera pointed at the right thing. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, OS two is doing stuff. Wait, wait, do we have, do we have color? Oh my ward, what has happened there? 
Guys, I think something bad has happened to OS2. I, I think something very bad has happened here. I I think I think I think something has gone wrong. I I I don't know why. The trick at this point is can I switch the driver back? Uh, something has bad has happened here. There, I, I got, um, yeah, okay, okay, um, on the plus side, I still don't have a CD-ROM drive, okay, um, let's restart, let me send it an alt control delete, let me see if I can get into fail safe mode. Um, it's booting, which is a good sign, but <laughs> something has gone bad. Yes, this is what I meant when OS2, um, yeah, um, okay, here it is. Recovery choices. Uh, reset the VGA. Yes, it's there. Yes, yes. So, um... To the token ring community, I have this a little abomination. Okay, so it's restoring the VGA card. I just want to show this off. Uh, oh, hold on. I have it upside down. Um, and this, I have the RPL firmware for. If you've watched my video, you should know what I am planning to do with this. Because I have a ThinkPad. This, that ThinkPad has a token ring option in its BIOS. I, I probably don't need to go into much more. Okay, so we uninstalled the first daemon. No, that's a token ring PCM CIA card. All right, so what do we have for video graphics? What can do high resolution color? Uh, we've got a couple of Circus Logic, Mach 8. What can... What one of these can we use to get a higher color resolution? I want to say one of these S3s or... Let me see here. Let me see what PCM supports. Machine. Because I don't actually remember offhand what we have for support for graphics adapters. So looking at the support list... We have a bunch of Circus Logics. We have S3 Verge, Trio. Um, let's go with the Trident with the. Uh, let's see here. I, I I don't mind staying in a low resolution. I just want higher color depth. So that should work just fine. We try that. Um. Xj. Um. FK, uh, yeah, wow, I can't say your name. That, we were with the mock color driver. I don't know why the CD-ROM support is still not working. Okay, um, we're going to go with plan B on that one, but let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get the, uh, radioactive weenie roast. I can't believe I remember this much about freaking OS 2. I used to, do so much freaking fracking maintenance on OS2. Yeah, that's fine. I know it's not installed. Uh, display driver. Okay. Okay, it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can deal with that resolution. Display driver disk 1. It's going to be stuck in a low resolution mode. But I can work with 640 by 480. So speaking of um, things, I do definitely want to do by next next step is going to be a thing. And I think I know what's wrong with the IDE driver. I just have to futz with it. I really want the display to work. We don't want to go to warp 4, um, you know, with Picard until we... Um, 
notes here. All right, let's let it install. Uh, let's see here. OS2 IDE driver install. All right, so apparently this is a known issue. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, okay, here's how you fix it. Wow, that is really obnoxious to fit. Um, the problem is that OS2 gets kind of annoyed if its hard drive moves to SCSI. Um, but I know how to fix this. I can fix this. We are going to Plaid. Okay, so this is the 32-bit driver. Okay, so that's fine. So it's going to let me install. And then what we do next is the CD-ROM install driver is here. That's fine. All right, so now we go to A. All right, so copy IDM, IDE, CD, FLT to C. Edit, config, sys. What amazes me is that about 90% of this I'm doing from memory, which... All right, I, I'm not going to be looking at chat for a moment, so bear with me. I just need to keep an eye on the other screen. Just because I don't remember how far down the file has to go. Okay, yeah, it has to be base driver. That that was the part I wasn't sure about. Base DRV IBM IDE CD FTL. Because this has to be loaded in ring zero and not ring two. Okay. All right, and there we go. So now that we've got the drivers fixed, I will I'll give my chat my undivided attention in a moment as soon as we start rebooting. Okay. Do that. Uh, actually, I got to do a hard shutdown because I need to um, switch the settings. So shut down now. And now we switch to the Sung uh, driver because we just installed that. That's incidentally the same one I got working under Soft Landing Linux. So backing up. Um, Petro, I don't think there were AAUI PCM CIA cards. Um, Mach 64 was the driver we tried, and that was the chipset we had installed. Um, 86 box, we had some major issues with frig. Um, you're not going to let me boot, are you? Yeah, no, it trapped. It. Down she goes. I don't know what. So it trapped in the single event queue. Ah. The thing is, I don't know what trapped. I don't know if it trapped because of the CD-ROM drive or if it trapped because of something else. Actually, we're going to fix it. I'm not going to fix this in this. I'm going to let's go full screen. Let's uh, sudo k part x av. So for reasons I do not completely understand, Ubuntu still has support for ma uh, mounting. Let's see here. What do I need? Uh, VM mount. Still has support for OS2. So this... Okay, so it is actually there. Base dev. It's right there. Let me just do that. I have my doubts that that's going to work. But... Alright, so let's unmount and fire it up. So, 
I'm not, so my current daily driver is an IBM 120, um, a, a, a full-sized IBM, not IBM, Cosair K, uh, K95 keyboard. Um, and, um, shit brain. Yeah, so if I just turn this, you can see my full size. I use Alps keys, um, uh, not Alps. I use Cherry MX Blue. Holy cow, my brain is, my brain is showing signs that it's hitting a limit. Um, I would love to get a 122 key Model F, especially because I'd love to get, uh, replace this pile of garbage. This, here, I want to listen to what is the worst keyboard I own. This is an IBM, this is a compact portable one, um, foam and foil disaster. And uh, we have some problems over here. We have some definitely some real problems over here. Okay. All right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving up that easy. All right, so let's remount this. Mount VM config.sys. So that's the CD-ROM, that's the boot. Base dev equals C. So it is installing the CD-ROM driver. I just don't know why it's having issues with that. All right, so unmount. Okay. Oh, maybe I didn't delete the first line. You know, that could easily be the problem. That, you know, thank you for, thank you for, uh, thank you pointing device for pointing that. That is the most appropriate name you could possibly have. Can we get a round of props to pointing device? Yes, okay, so I did delete the correct line. Okay, so, all right, start her up. Pull, pull the cord, turn the clank. Yep. See, I don't like 10 keyless designs. I don't like 60% designs. I do not understand why most mechanical keyboard enthusiasts like those smaller boards, especially because I use the numpad a lot. Uh, Retro Gaming Comp, I know about the con the um, Control Z at the end. Um, that's an OS2 thing, although it is frack. Okay, so that's probably the video driver saying it's not having it. So let's try a video recovery. I mean, I can sort of understand why people don't like the num, don't care about the numpad. Uh, right. Let's see, I have to hit Alt F1 at the right point in the boot sequence. Uh, come on. Okay, I broke it. I broke it. Let's see here, OS2, Alt, F1. I forgot where you have to do it. Scroll S, system badly disabled. Uh, Creative dump disk. Okay, so you have to do it during the white rectangle. Yeah, but Anna, Anna the problem with that, because I looked at building my own mechanical keyboard before... And I looked at the prices of what you had to do to make a, uh, okay, cool. Um, hold on. Uh, restart the install from the maintenance uh, desktop. Okay, that's what we need. Um, what was I saying? When I looked at making my own keyboard PCB, because I decided to look at doing that instead of doing a pre-built, the fact of the matter is you can't find anything worth using. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let this 
do a safeguard. It's going to run the initialization program. We're going to do all this. I'm going to install CD-ROM support. Non-listed IBM. Remove this one. Okay. Multimedia. 16. So this is letting me change all the set all these settings. And then video graphics array. Let me see here. Let me just make sure I've got the right driver selected. So we go into machine, we go to config. Okay, so this is a slightly different TVG. So you know what? If I just choose Super VGA, I should be able to get a high resolution color. Yeah, let me just choose Super VGA because that, that should work. And no, I don't have a fracking printer, no matter how many times this thing does not understand that. Oh no, don't tell me it's going to make me reinstall all these disks. Please don't make me reinstall all these disks. It's going to... Chat, I think it's going to make me reinstall all these disks. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's actually going pretty fast. Come on. Don't, don't, don't make me reinstall all these disks. Yeah, no, okay. It's only going to make me go to nine. All I need is the CD-ROM drive to work. And then we get the... Well, we may have lost the radioactive hot dog because I told it not to migrate. I think it's installing the fonts because I told it to install a video card. Okay, so now it wants disk 10. Oh, God, you know, and all this I remember doing back in the day. It was It was this bad. But this time, it's not going to migrate the settings. So basically, I just wipe the slate clean. No, with OS2, you can't install multiple drivers. You can't even copy the damn CD to the disk. You have to always keep this. When I ran OS2, the top shelf of my uh, desk was the OS2 installation CDs. Because every time you installed a fix pack and some software required a fix pack, you'd have to refeed all the flipping disks. Oh, compared to so many operating systems, a lot of people, um, I don't know. This, this operating system was made by people on drugs. Yeah. So 13. All right. I am about to just say to hell with it and try and see here. Oh, let me see here. OS2 warp. ID CD not showing up okay so now it wants the printer driver again but this is basically the os2 you done fucked up mode where i'm basically resetting most of it all right uh frick every, every time I, I forget which draw disc this is uh, it's not disk P, it's DD1. There we go. Now it has to reinstall the null driver. Yes, we, it, it's, we've, how many times have we had to reinstall that printer driver? I'm really looking forward to the next, if we have a working CD-ROM, we are just going on to the next version. Oh, and it helps. If you install the wrong disk, it just errors. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Um, Petro, you just, it happened to me. Like, I, it legitimately happened to me. Okay. Please, 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 please. You know, if, if someone sent me a teletype, I would so make Ubuntu work with it. Like, I would legitimately go through all the trouble of getting up um teletype searching for programs that's fine okay eject shut down complete free finger salute uh, petro every i i own quite a few terminal emulators it's owning the actual terminal part Although I have to admit that I've had real desire to do um, build an IBM mainframe on a stream. Like, you know, do set up Hercules, go through all the stuff. Come on. Come on. Well, actually, this is high resolution. Holy crap. I think it worked. It's not broken. The abomination is here. It's still dithering, but it's here. Okay, hold on. Apply the abomination. Okay. We don't have working sound. Let's load the installation program. We don't have a working CD-ROM drive. We don't have working multimedia. Okay, you know what? Why don't I have... Why don't I have a working multimedia? The, 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 what is so broken here? It's not even the wind it's not even the 3.0 shell. That that that's the worst part. Let me see here. Um Let me see here. So let me look at this config that bat. So this loads all the base drivers. Loads PM shell. Yeah, it's like none of the settings I do stick. You know, if I was to do a fresh install, I could fix this. Like, if I was to do a format install and fix it, I could actually fix it. Like, here we have the base DIR things. Let me see here. If I edit this and I look for CD-ROM, the driver... Yeah, see, so the driver's loaded right here at IBM, but it doesn't see it. And I think the Sound Blaster... Okay, maybe not the Sound Blaster. And you, you can see all the different, you know, files it's generated. I'm kind of at my wit's end at this point. I mean, I'm not sure what to do next. We obviously got it upgraded. We've got the CD-ROM drive there. We've got a Super VGA thing set up. No, I don't want to create utility disks. Selective install. It did... That stuck, so that actually changed modes. I'm 
I'm just looking at this. Okay. I'm just going to try a Mach 8. I've got my doubts that that's going to work. And then I'm actually... Let me see here. If I remember correctly, there is a way to do this that's not entirely stupid. What? Let me... Let me check something. If I switch the system to use an Abdatec card. Yeah, I see. I vaguely remember you have to do a lot of stupid juggling to make that work. I never got CD-ROMs to work reliably under OS2. Yeah, you got all these pioneers. You got all these proprietary ones. And it basically is screw you. I thought PCM could emulate the, the Sound Blaster CD-ROM card, though. I legitimately thought it could. Okay. All right, let me, let's go this slightly further. So OS, so VirtualBox, OS2 SCSI CROM. So I'm gonna pull up a new VM. And the reason I'm pulling up a new VM is because the fact of the matter is someone smarter than I am has, or no, I shouldn't say smarter than I have. I know someone who's already done this and can give me a working solution. So here was how NeoZ did it. And he got the bus logic driver to do it. And the way he did it was he downloaded this, which has this boot.bid file. Let's see here. So bus logic controller. View config. Bus logic controller. OS2 drivers. It's here. Requires ladder. Let me see if there's a later bus logic. You know, just just for just because I need to find out, I'm going to just switch the damn thing to use an Adapt Tech card. I know that the Adapt Tech card is supported, and then I can fix the graphics. It, this should not be this hard, though. Okay, turn this off. We're just going to try it with the Adapt Tech card, and let's see if it even boots. Datech, SCSI, CD-ROM. I'm sorry if I am not talking heavily. I I am getting a little bit hyper-focused on this. Okay, so it's on CDID3. Now, the thing about SCSI cards is they're pretty... If you support SCSI, you support SCSI CD-ROM drives. So this will go... There's the Abdat Tech card starting. The VM is not making output. And we get a disk boot failure. Of course we do. Solaris upgrades. <laughs> Solaris upgrade stream. That is, that is, that is horrifying. In a horrifying. I mean, yes, it's something we could do, but I, 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 I'm, I, 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 I mean, I have Solaris Seven sitting on the desk. 
it could potentially be done. All right. So disk boot failure now that we're on SCSI. But that means we're not even getting to the boot sector. So, all right. What gives? What gives? So that's ID zero. Fine. Let's try a bus logic controller. Bus logic should work out of the box. Plug and play. There's the, the intelligent firmware. There's the hard drive, one. There's the CD-ROM, which it was brief, but it was there. And then it fails to boot. Is there a disk in the drive? No, nope, it just fails to boot. All right. Fine. You know, this is it. I've got one more. I got one more dirty trick up my sleeve. I didn't want to have to do this. All right. We're going back to 86 box. The reason we're going back to 86 box. PCM OS2. Like I said, this would not be as big of a deal on real hardware. So socket five. The because the nice thing about A6 box is you can change uh you can have the SCSI controller be in two places at once. Which really helps a lot with dealing with OS2. Uh, all right. So desktop. No. Okay. It's C. It's 86 box. I I see the super chats. I will respond in a moment. Let me get it booting again. And then I will. Let's see your IDE. That's fine. Remove. Oh, God. Half the time. Every time I use 86 box. Something goes wrong. Okay, there we go. Now we have this. We have you on SCSI. We have an adapt. Um, pretty sure an adapt tech controller is supported. And then for display, what did we have? We had a lot of these that were supported. I'm sorry, I'm having I'm having a slight brain fart. Uh, I'm going to try the ATI card again. Although when we tried the ATI card, it couldn't even get started, so maybe that's not the one to try. Let's see here. You know what? We'll take we'll go with the S3 card, start her up, and there we go. Um I'm going to try the Adapt Tech first. I think it's got a higher chance of working. Because I need a CD-ROM drive to actually install. So if I can't get a CD-ROM drive to work, then I'm in a world of pain. Okay, so this is trying to start. Uh, A10 and A10 to release, eject, hard reset, entering setup. This was the problem we had before is that it would get stuck right here. And it's really annoying to fix this when it does this. Socket 7, fine, go with something, go with something ludicrously new. I almost wonder if there's a Y2K issue I was missing. There it goes. 86 box, and then it should see the CD-ROM in a moment. Uh, why is it stuck? I think it just crashed on me.
Okay. All right. Oh, there it goes. There it goes, finally. Um, go to setup. That's all correct. Save and defaults. Just had a very long, slow boot process. <sighs> all right. So now... I'm going to try something a bit stupid. It's supposed to be OS2 and 86 box and wine. It's we're we're having a lot of technical difficulties. I just can't get it past this point and I'm not sure what else to try. I mean, I have a few other drivers that I could use. Let's see here. Flashpoint drivers. Let's see here. Bus Logic OS2. Yeah, so there's quite a few things that do work. I think this is stock. Hard reset. Yeah. And this is why I don't use 86 box. Because I don't know if this is a VM glitch or something else. <sighs> All right. Ah. Okay. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Let me think about this. This can be done. I just have to be a little bit – I got to be a little bit more clever. So this is probably a stupid idea, but what happens – I just changed everything to bus logic, and I know for a fact that the bus logic card – was being seen correctly. So what happens if I really don't know if I want to try this, but I got nothing to lose at this point. What happens if I put the warp CD in I start the install from the floppies and then I reinstall it from. Does it work well enough to behave? I have my feelings that this is not going to get me anywhere, but. Well, we, we've gone farther than I thought we were. So let me put the CD install disk in. I've got a backup that I know works, and I know how to fix it if it's still broken. So once this boots up... Let me see here. Because I can emulate the bus logic controller... I know that's not supported by OS2 out of the box, uh, at least of 3.0. And this time, I won't let it migrate settings. In fact, I'm actually going to move the config.systemautoexec.bat out of the way. So that's loading. So far, so good. This should be a lot faster than the last 30 or 40 times. So AC Frazier, um, the 86 box team would love to have it work. They're getting ready to rewrite most of the UI, uh, but it keeps getting stuck. I've given up keeping track of the fail count because the fail count has gone past infinity. We're also at 7 hours and 11 minutes of streaming. My longest stream ever was 24 hours. I don't think we're going to go, why are we on K?
Why, why, why? Why do we have so many discs? Oh, I know why we have so many discs because freaking 86 box. Yeah, okay, I, I know what happened. Um, that ain't right. I mean that 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 ain't definitely ain't right. I'm just going to ignore that for now. That that is just going to be a thing that is there. Um Okay. Move config.sys config save. Move auto exact bat. F disk unsuccessful because. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, the partitioning mapping on drive 8 might be corrupt. No effing kidding. How did that go so wrong? Let's go with the adapt tack. That might be less stupid. I am just making sure. Yeah, that's all good. I, I, and with 86 box, remember, I'm using a second copy of the CD. I'm not using the main one or the hard drive. I've got like 30 copies of the CD. Let me go to SCSI select. Um, yeah, no, that's all. That's my host adapter. Where's my hard drive? Oh, don't tell me it's that stupid. Did it put the hard drive on zero? It put the hard drive on zero. Well, that explains it. You can't put a SCSI hard drive on zero. Well... Yeah, no, you can't because that's why. All right. I mean, I'm about to just put this in VirtualBox. Because I know VirtualBox can do this and not be completely stupid about it. Yeah, see, now that worked correctly. I put on the right bus ID. And suddenly enough, it can see where it needs to be. I'm curious if it'll actually boot from the hard drive. I am actually curious if this will boot from the hard drive. I If that was why the SCSI was not working at all when I tried it earlier, I am going to be freaking annoyed. Yeah, okay, so apparently that was why SCSI wasn't working earlier. No, it's booting off a floppy disk. Hold on. This probably won't boot, but... Um, Navjack, it doesn't support a Pentium 2. Yeah, okay, I get disk boot failure. Insert system disk. I don't know why it's. Whatever. I mean, I, I. Fine, I'll put a faster processor in it. I will go. We will go zoom zoom mode. Zoom zoom mode with a better graphics card. Let's try that. Um. There we go. So we disable all this. It's a SCSI boot system. I'm, 
I don't want to give this up. You guys have been supporting me all the way through. I'm really determined to see this through. But on the other hand, I kind of want to throw it out the fracking window. Oh, black screen, sorry. No more black screen. We have OS2 in the corner. All right, CD install disk goes in. So far, so good. Now, this should fly if it works. How many times have we had to reconfigure the hardware? I like, I, I've legitimately lost track at this point. <sighs> come on, come on. Boot, boot, boot. We'll check F disk and see if it's all sane. It probably isn't, but I mean, I'm just remembering my personal OS2 nightmare stories. That's fine. N13 being missing is completely normal. This is worse than soft landing Linux by far. Because at least with soft landing Linux, I can debug it. Okay, we've got a hard drive, we've got one disk partition, it's complaining the partition table might be corrupted. F disk unsuccessful, okay fine. Um, It's not entirely happy. <sighs> Why is it not entirely happy? Yeah, partition mapping. All right, fine. Uh, delete partition. Save and exit. I'm about to just... Ins okay. Plan B. We are going to plan B. If I do this correctly, it won't actually break anything. I just have to get into... If I delete the partition and put it back in the right place, it will work fine. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to install it because I think doing an upgrade install just breaks too much. There's something missing that I don't know what it is. But how much do you guys want to see a Plan 9 stream in, in the future? I mean, in, in all seriousness. Because I could consider doing Plan 9 as a stream um, although I'd have to do a lot of research to make that an interesting stream because OS2 I know well enough that I can kind of figure out. So, God, I've been I've been going for a long time. All right, like I said, I'm going to call it quits at eight if I don't make any progress. So, okay, that's fine. I can expect you don't see that. Blah, 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 blah. I can't believe how broken this upgrade process is. I mean, it is possible that if I try like five different editions of OS 2 warp. Well, Plan 9 is interesting in a bad way. All right, so create partition... One, two, three, primary. Okay. 
So do that. Drive layers will change. I mean, I at this point, do you... Chat, let me know. Do you just guys want me to try formatting and just install and then do the rest of the upgrades? Because at this point, we're not getting anywhere. And what I could do is I could copy the files from the other desk. Don't give up. Is that what I'm hearing? I'm hearing to do not give up. Nuke it. Format it. Well, we're, we're about to find out. Petro, I'm going as fast as I can, unfortunately. How about non-Microsoft DAW stream? That'd be DR DAWs. All right. Well, I'm going to see if my files survive this, but I think we're going to wipe it and keep going. And then, and then you know what we'll do is at some point in the next year or so is um, David Calvin. Well, let's see if the data survived my manual F disking. If the data survived my manual F disking, I will keep going. Okay. Low. Please wait. Please wait. Okay, yeah, so it got formatted. Nope, format still failed. Why is this let's see a format? Yeah, format unsuccessful. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right. You know what? I'm okay with this. We're just going to put an IDE drive back in. We're going to install this properly. And when I say properly, it, yeah, it's just going to be properly. Um, standard IDE, full speed, and go. Yeah. All right. We're we're wiping it and we're try we're we're going to end this on a high note. We're going to do the rest of the upgrades. And what I will do at some point All right. It's going to burn. Well, Pancake Sparkle, I really hope Bill G, the partition size is uh, first, it's eight gigabytes. This is LP. This is HPFS, Bill G. It's um, the size limit is not what you're saying. Think it is. Um, I will transfer the data from another backup, and then I will let it do the my. Well, now I think I'm just going to let it run for the rest of the install, because without it transferring the data, the radioactive hot dog will not survive. I'm sorry, folks. We'll have to remake the glorious hot dog by hand. Bill G, this was scuzzy, and it was smaller when it wasn't scuzzy. So, yes, the glorious color theme will return. This should hopefully knock on wood big time just work. Dave, David, I need a success here i'm going around in circles and i don't know what's going on so advanced installation why can you still not f disk why why, why you know f disk why do you have two disks now Where did I screw up? Okay, that's where I screwed up. I managed to put the same hard drive in two places. Okay. 
Now, here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to put MS DOS boot disk because I can do that a lot faster. And then we'll just do a quick F disk. There's no IDE to SCSI, it's one or the other. Yeah, it's getting wiped. We're still going to have to sit for a format, but this is fine. Okay, so formatting is done. We are going to try this. Please work. Yeah, it's getting wiped. It's getting wiped. Install Installing 1.2 of HPFS wouldn't help here because we still wouldn't have a valid upgrade path. 3.0 is... Apparently, you need the special upgrade version of 3.0, which is not archived. I, I, I've been looking for it. I mean, I was able to futz the upgrade path, but it's completely broken. So, all right, we'll probably have to wait about 20 minutes, uh, 10 minutes for it to do the HPFS format. And then we will go completely and totally nuts. So, yep. We will remake the hot dog. The hot dog the hot dog will return. We will have hot dog 3.0 and then we will see if the hot dog survives to warp. Oh, sorry, warp connect. Because I'm getting sick of seeing these screens. But while while this installs, we're going. I'm going. I'm going to keep this guy this interesting for you guys. So I'm going to let that put down the corner. Once the install starts, uh, accept the drive. High performance. Okay. So that's going to get formatted. So while that formats. Because, see, this this is already going. Look how much faster that's running. Um, I want to look a bit at Plan 9, because I really know nothing about it. Because, basically, it's the successor to what Unix was, or was supposed to be. And I have an AT&T Unix box on the back shelf over there for a um, completely different project. So, there are four major versions, but I don't know how many are archived. And then, yeah, so ownership. Oh, wow, this is recent. It was transferred from Bell Labs to the Plan 9 Foundation, and all versions have been relicensed under the MIT license. So, this must have just happened. So, okay. Yes. So, um, Bell... Um, AT&T owned Bell uh, Plan 9. And uh, we are already at the reboot screen. Holy cow, that was such a difference. I guess we don't have enough time to have a discussion about this. So, AT&T made Unix. Um, they were a phone company, but they did a lot of research stuff. The I could do an entire stream about the history of Bell Labs. So, okay. But... The short version here is we are going... If the CD-ROM drive does not show up, I'm like... <laughs> initializing install program. CD-ROM device is other. No printer. Support. Uh, multimedia. We do have a Sound Blaster card. Which I'm not surprised was not auto-detected. Don't install the printer. Uh, hold on. I changed the video graphics to something this will support. Yeah, so you should be an ET. Uh, 
Uh, I think an ET4000. Okay. Install. Install. I mean, look at the speed difference. Don't remind me, Petro, because I actually looked in Golang's assembler. I know where that pit of horror goes, like, to put it bluntly. So... I I I I have real problems with I don't have so many problems with the Go programming language, although there's a lot I don't like. Look at the speed difference. I mean, holy cow. I should have just done this a whole lot earlier. I don't even have to put the stupid printer disc in. Uh that's fine. I guess we're at the reboot. Uh sorry, I am uh, Petro, the, the URL will get, can uh, get deleted by YouTube. You're not, let me add you as an approved user. Uh, okay. I can't easily do that. Um, you'll have to post the link somewhere else. Unfortunately, um, you can put it in discord if you want, um, yeah, you'll have to fudge it. Okay. That's fine. Why couldn't it create a valid DAWs environment? Hey, look. Welcome to OS2. Do we have actual high color? I mean, we got all the new icons. We don't have a CD-ROM drive. Why don't we have a working CD-ROM drive? It inst I, 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 I. You know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, we don't have a working CD-ROM drive. Yeah. The CD-ROM drive got through the entire install... And then went away. Fine. You know what? We are going for plan B. We are going so hard for plan B, it's not even funny. I'm stopping emulation. Okay. I have gone, I have gone a step too far. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the radioactive hot dog. Because you know what? Screw it. If if that is still broken, and I mean that broken, then there's no reason not to use the radioactive hot dog install. And what I will just do is I'll launch the install from external media because it is so it is that broken. I I I, I will have to make the install discs. From virtual box but that we can do that that's fine so i guess we're going back to the original plan and if this fails i quit i i i am i, am, I have to admit i am sort of hitting my limit so let's go back to virtual box we put the os2 warp 4 cd in this one because virtual box can create the boot cds okay so d uh let's see here so how do i make the discs so is it prod discs CD install. Okay. So this one, so basically this follows basically the same process. So create a new floppy disk. Create OS2 for one image. Okay. 
Okay, now we do this again. So I, I'm not going to be looking at chat for a few minutes. Just let me get these all created. Uh, I love scripts with no error handling. Okay, so this is a three disc set. I actually knew that. OS2 install image. Choose. Okay, now we've got all the disks made. Let's let's just try to do the upgrade install. I should have just done this earlier. Screw it. Screw and it. Switch back to let me get the machine started. Upgrade fest VM. And then I'll switch the thing and then I'll get music back. Uh, VirtualBox VM. It's been one of those days. By the way, there's the radioactive hot dog, folks. All right. Here's our last chance. Last big chance. Oh, man. This this is just so, so horrible. As long as you're not trying to do upgrades, it's not horrible. Just don't run OS2 Warp 3. Uh, it was just such a turd because OS2, my, the IBM guys basically did everything they could to match Windows 95's announced features and failed miserably four was actually usable oh look at that look at that beautiful warped background no we're not doing a clean install we're upgrading over the we're upgrading over the um the radioactive top uh, uh the radioactive um hot dog i'm just doing it from boot floppies instead but if this you can't do this version of os2 from um from um floppy disks so yeah i think i'm going to order dominoes when we finish the stream i've been trying to cut back on my delivery uh if this fails I guess there's going to be a part three. I will try and track down the broken OS2 version. It's still booting. It hasn't crashed. I'm watching the disk seeks. No, I'm not skipping three. I'm upgrading on top of the broken install pancake sparkle because I like pain and that is the only upgrade path. Because we did a clean install and we still didn't have a fracking working CD-ROM drive. I mean, how do you fail that badly? I, 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 you successfully installed. You successfully booted, installed, and managed to install your CD-ROM drive. Okay, so now I need to install the warp CD. The, I didn't have it in, so uh, yeah, it's the boot. Di no, that's the warp connect CD. That's not the one I want. I want this one. It found the CD-ROM drive. Okay. Congratulations on your purchase of IBM OS2 Warp. Warp uh, contains Warp 4, bonus pack, uh, voice type dictation, personal edition, Java for OS2, and all the following stuff. Yeah, no, we're just going right along yes this will install java by the way except please let me upgrade please let me upgrade do not format all 
All right, I will put the infinity counter in the in the fail counter. I will do that for you. I feel like I should just turn off the fail counter, but Well, it started the install, and apparently it still runs on floppy disks internally. Even though this version was never offered on floppy disks. <sighs> All right, nothing to sit down. All right, let's figure out. I mean, if I really want to, this was the first version of OS 2 in 1996 to have integrated networking support. So, uh, Warp 4 did not have Red Spine, Blue Spine. That was only uh, free. Every version of Warp was Blue Spine. Uh, there was technically a Red Spine developer's release, but it never was released. Okay. Or it was never released for sale is the words I'm looking for. Right, let's find some decent music. Nope, that ain't it. Okay, so uh, disc. Why does it need that? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question that. My sanity has been permanently damaged by this experience. The fact of the matter is, I know too much perseverance. Um, I watched too many Jurungle ones. Look at that. That is that's a shiny effect. That that must have been IBM's entire usability bonus to do that. Did IBM have shares in a floppy manufacturer? Uh, actually, yes. Um, because they licensed the three and a half inch floppy disk from Sony. Like, literally. Okay. If this works, it's the second to the last one. Is there any malware for OS2? Um, any malware for Windows 3.1 and DAWs work fine on OS2. Because there's no ACL. Okay, so there's the obligatory reboot. There's the warp. Make it so. God, Matt, if I was rich and famous, I'd have John Delancey narrate this. All right, folks. I am taking odds. I am taking cute odds right now if we can successfully um, finish this. We have to install this, and we have to install OS2 Warp 452 Work Work 4 uh, Work Pack 4. Like, do you guys think we can do this? Is the hype train going to leave the station or not? Has it crashed? Nope. Oh, looky. It's that that dithering. That was some serious dithering right there. Okay. So I do actually... Do we have any video graphics drivers here? Oh, we have the trio. Yeah, all right. I'm going to install that driver. It's going to complain. IDE CD ROM, uh, keyboards United States, country is United States. Uh, s next. I like how Doc2 Ultra Bay, that's all the stuff for my ThinkPad. I still don't want to install a printer. Uh, you know what? We'll install Java development because why not? Migrate everything, which is probably a bad idea. Um, do we want... I am not going to install the NetWare client today. Uh, screw it. Screw it to the moon! No, yeah, no, let's not do that. Because it's going to actually make me configure it. Oh, that's right. You got to do this. 
Uh, I have no network adapter. It's not technically true. I do have an NE2000 uh, emulated one. All right, and there we go. The progress bar is much less ripped in this version. Uh, Pietro, this is, um, if I remember correctly, this is Java 1.0 beta 3, and the fixed packs brought it to 1.0. OS2 Warp 4.5.2 is 1.1. And I think it goes up to 1.3. Um, yep. Look at the install go. Look at the install go. It It's it's running. Yes, we have some progress of 3D in our element. It, it's 3D... It's 3D-ish, but it's still installing the same bloody files we've seen over and over again. Like, nothing has actually changed here. I wonder if the radioactive hot dog will continue. Warp 4 was actually decent, and this is what people tend to remember as good OS 2. Um... But warp, but everything up to this point was bad OS2. Okay. Oh, this might this might break. Actually, I know this is gonna break. Uh oh. Guys, I think we jinxed it. Like it, it's not black on stream, it's actually black black like like this is not me this is not the stream broke i'm looking at a black box yeah something went wrong something i i know i actually know what went wrong um because i told it to use an s3 trio card um, I didn't think it was going to try and do auto detect. Okay, now the question is, is it going to force me to reinstall or not? We're, this is where we're going to find out. Yeah, we, we complimented OS2 and it ended badly. And it, and it panicked. Woohoo! <laughs> and it completely and totally, it just, <laughs> it just quit. It just quit. <laughs> Let's try again to maintenance mode. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. It just. <laughs> this is going well. That, 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 that's basically what just happened. It could be the S3 card I chose. Um, we're going to try that one more time. I suspect that's what happened. Because it tried to auto detect the card and then crashed. Okay, I apparently it is not going to have it. Let's That's fine. This is fine. This is all fine. All right. So, um let me pick a different card because obviously I'm not I can't have nice graphics. And then I'll just reset to VGA when we get back to that screen. I chose an oak card because apparently those are known to work. Oh, frag, I missed the window. You have to hit Alt-1 right there. I guess we're not... Okay, uh, reset primary to VGA. 
And then we go back and do the maintenance. So this will do the recovery. No, it's it's making progress. It's it's actually yeah, okay. Maybe I lied. It's it's not making progress. Uh, I think we gotta do a rollback. We were so close. Yeah, I think I think just having the hardware change at that one moment was enough to completely poo-poo it. So rollback time. This is why I made backups because I was expecting this. Pro I was expecting this horseshit. All right, we've I I've put the backup it I've rolled the backup on. Installation disc is in. I don't know I all right so all right we're back I just got the backup up let's get the stream back. Oh we are in the home stretch we almost had it working. Almost. I changed the configurations to still use that S3 card because I still want the high resolution radioactive hot dog. I guys just once just once at this point I just want to note you guys have been really amazing. You, your revenue for the stream has been $195. It's like, holy cow, that, that is mind boggling from where I'm sitting. So, um, and I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart that you have really like, as a community, you guys are awesome. And it's hard for me to figure out some of this YouTube thing. It's not like it comes with a manual. And most of the stuff that you find on the internet about YouTubing is, yeah. Uh, I could always super chat myself five dollars. Okay. Let's see what time is it? It's eight minutes to eight. If this fails a second time, I quit. I have the discs made for the last boot. Wilfred, you are amazing. You are really amazing. Like, wow. Okay, so loading. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently, we're, the hype stream is going. Uh, Toxic Femme 69. Yeah, that, that, that. Should have seen that happening. You guys are, I am going to put all this when Google pays me, uh, which, um, into getting a really awesome retro project. I don't know yet, yet what it is, but it will be something awesome. Actually, I do have an idea. Of what I could do. I do have an idea of what I could do. Where did I put the thing that I wanted? To do? Oh, there's the thing I want to do. So I did tweet this on the community page. But I am open to ideas. Of what I should do with this. And let me put it up on stream. Droid cam. I just want you guys to look at the CD and I want you to think about this, about how cursed this thing actually is. Holy cow, that is a reflective CD. So I want you to think because this runs on Windows and yet it has this. God, this is hard to do from that angle.
Sasa. Oof. And I was very lucky to get this. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. It, yes, it is visual. Okay. Goth Alice, you are there. We see you. We are trying this install thing for the fifth time. OS2 Warp is safe and reliable. Uh, no, no, it's not old Mac. It is Win32 and MFC for old Mac cross-compiled from Windows NT. And when I say MFC, I do mean it. So, you know, it, 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 it's not it's not old Mac. It's cursed old Mac as made by Yes, Petro, that that is that it that is for making writing Macintosh applications. Um well, you know, one thing I've wanted to do is I wanted to code Macintosh applications from an Apple Lisa. And um, Goth Alice, I'm sorry. Um, Yellow Box and uh, uh, was was a good thing. Objective C was a good thing. It's it's far more sense than C plus plus. And um, PDO was not a bad thing. I mean, hell, people still like web objects. Web objects is a good thing. Hell, iTunes still runs on web objects. Are you freaking kidding me? Donald, Donald, Mc, uh, Don, uh, Don, uh, Ellen McDonald just um, super chatted 1,337 Mexican pesos. Muchos gracias, senor. Um, C, uh, C, Visit on uh, visit on the uh, Mexico. Piero, uh, no, uh, Quiero visitando uh, tu. And holy crap, that's probably the worst Spanish heard on YouTube in ages. Yeah, this is uh, guys. I'm not going to. We, I just had a horrible idea. I had a really horrible idea. I could make an OS2 powered VTuber. I used to be fairly fluent in Spanish, but I don't speak it anymore. And I haven't in a long time. If I spent a few, why is my mouse glitching out? Okay. No, that's actually VM glitch. Okay, we'll fix that. And then let's try. I'm just going to check. Let's see here. If I go to machine config. I just want to. Sound, okay, so it is a Sound Blaster 16. I want to get the really funky audio. And my mouse is freaking out for some reason. So I guess I'm on keyboard controls. Like, that's not the VM freaking out, that's the actual mouse. Ah, here it is. Non-pro. No, that's that's not right. Sixteen. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry, I will pay attention to the chat in a moment. I just wanted to get that started. My God, you guys are amazing. You are... I'm going to let the drivers... I'm not going to touch it. Um, Dylan, yeah. It's mostly I'm just out of practice. I don't think I've spoken Spanish in any real way in about seven years since my grandmother passed uh i'm my i'm half cuban but i don't speak spanish because my dad never never spoke it in the house um i learned enough that i could talk with my grandmother but it was never good 
she understood English. Um, Jason, we uh, Neozid, we had some upgrade problems. Um, I'll leave the four-hour stream explaining it. I did, however, find a way to hack around the blue spine upgrade problem. You just have to edit the OS2 level data, and you can get it to do the upgrade from 2.1 to 3.0. And then you can really remember how broken 3.0 is. Uh, Goff Alice, you should have seen what the development of writing a new IDE driver for Linux 1.2 was like. Um, there were more than a few hard drives shredded that day. Okay. My ma hand is off the mouse. Yes. Oh, it's still going. It's going. Are we going to have a high resolution hot dog? It's installing software. Yeah. I actually looked up your blog because I knew you've actually done this. So apparently there's not only red spine, blue spine, there is upgrade blue spine. So if you can find whatever version of OS2 lets you do the upgrade, uh, NeoZed, please archive it because it is not archived. Um, Goff Alice... You, I don't know if you've seen my videos. I did an entire video on soft landing Linux, and I've done two video. I've done a live stream on getting a proprietary driver running on Debian 2.1, and I am still flabbergasted that you did really that Daniel donated 1337 Mexican pesos. Seriously, I do have a like a bucket list goal of driving. Uh, the Pan American Highway, and I will visit Mexico when the pandemic lifts. I will buy you as many cervezas as I can. Because, holy cow, that is possibly one of the most mind-boggling things I've seen. And I've had to remove a cactus from a guy's face. I mean, Jesus. I, you know... I saw an IB, I saw something on eBay that would let me do non x86 Windows NT, and I was thinking I shouldn't spend the money on that. But when I get off stream, I'm going to look what the bids are, and maybe I will spend the money. I mean, God, I just had oh my God, I just had the stupidest idea. I, I uh, actually. Dylan, um, when I do my bike tour, I'm actually going to be going from – if I do my bike tour, I'm going from New York City to Santa Monica, and then I'm going to San Diego. So if I'm in San Diego, going into Tijuana isn't exactly that hard. And I have a U.S. entry card, and I used to have global entry. So I shouldn't have any big issues coming or going uh, with uh, – unless the Mexican – Unless Mexican immigration gets upset that I have an expired temporal um, temporal residente visa, because I was actually going to move to Mexico for about six months, uh, not six months, for about a year, so I actually got a residency visa for Mexico, um, which let me tell you is a very interesting process, um, because the intent was to yeah benny uh os2 this is this is the productivity that ibm was talking about when they introduced I os2 on the world but we're only this is the second to last upgrade if this works we all we have to do is recreate the radioactive hot dog and then we are going to the, we are going to the moon oh and also we get to play with java oh and we have netscape Okay. Yeah, I like I said, I I am I I have a bucket list goal of driving all the way from Prudhoe Bay, Alaska to Tierra de Fuego in Argentina. Um I've actually done the northern part of this trip. I've gone as far south as Mexico City. Um 
it, there's just some logistical challenges that have to be faced to actually do it. Um, PVC, that was the argument that kept NetWare in business. Oh, God, it's creating objects. That is open dock. Run, 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 my pretties. Benny, you can drive all the way from Alaska to Panama, and then you either ship the car via a cargo container to Ecuador or Costa or Colombia, or they do have ferries that sometimes link um, Panama City to um, I can't remember the city in Colombia. the The gap is only four, 60 miles across. It just it's one of the most dangerous places in the planet. Okay. Yeah, do you know I just noticed that basic got installed. Does OS2 warp still ship with basic? So, okay, it's still updating system configuration. Okay, um the left-hand one shows your original configuration file. The right one shows the one that was created by the install process. Personally, I don't think I think I should just take the one from the install process. And just use it. I hope I don't regret that. But we don't have a network adapter. Uh, yeah, they, they, they never figured out visual diff. It's still better than the Windows registry. At least it's text ed edible. Okay, so that's the network adapter and protocol services install. And, oh, God, is it really going to sit here and make me sit through all the advertisements? Please don't tell me it's going to make me do this. There are some installers that make you sit through all the stupid ads. Microsoft ones are really bad at this. God, please tell me you did not serialize in a Windows registry to Josen. Please tell me that's not a thing. Please tell me that's not a thing. That that, that can't be a thing. I don't want to think about registry hives encoded in Josen. The only way you could make that worse is if you did it in XML. Well, the registry, the problem is that the registry is used for com, uh, the com. I, li I like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Error, error detected while resetting the Sound Blaster 16. That's fine. So we have no sound. Oh, it's still going. Nope, we're not done. We're not done. False alarm. We're still installing. It connects to the... It connects to the industry leader servers and to the internet for the complete out-of-the-box solution. So was IBM basically saying that you would um, – predicting software as a service? Let's see here. I'm just checking. What? Why doesn't it see the sound blaster? I mean, I could futz with it and probably get it working, but yeah. Well, at least oh, the you know the worst part is that we have a registry on OS two because Windows three point one still has the object registry. Yes, it's still removing delete. It's removing temporary files. I am questioning. So, guys, okay, it says it's complete. 
all right i i want i want you guys to to um pbs <laughs> that joke took longer for me to get than i I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's getting pinned. That is getting pinned. Oh, that is so horrible. In a, it's horrible in a good way. And yes, apparently my Sound Blaster clone is not... It, it is... I wonder how they detect that. No, I don't want to know how they detect that. Yes, yes, I know. Stop blinking at me. I could use a different sound card. We, we can switch sound cards. We can fix this problem. We can use a pro audio card. Oh, we lost the hot dog. We lost the hot dog. Oh, that is le... Ooh, shiny. I'm guessing there's supposed to be great audio here. All right, I'm going to minimize this. That is so lazy. They literally put the previous desktop in previous desktop. I have objections to this. I'm curious, though, if we go here... Sidekick for presentation manager. Does this actually still work? Okay, so they probably need some edits. I'd probably have to tweak it some bit. So there are some backwards compatibility issues, and we lost color in the icons at some point. All right, I'm trying to remember. Where do you? Where do I make the radioactive hot dog? I think it's under system settings. Ah, here we go. Scheme palette. Uh, no, I don't need warp guide. No, go away. Go away. Ah. No, I, I, I don't need help changing... just seeing did, did the radioactive hot dog survive no I don't think it did <sighs> fine I'll make the hot dog myself okay so let's edit color edit color bright bright neon pink please God, my mouse is not behaving. Why are you not? All right. Screw it. We'll, we'll come back to this in a moment. Yeah, it, it's... The mouse is having... Yes, I, I understand. I understand what dithering is. Get lost. Dismiss cue card. Don't assist me. Go away. God, I, I remember Warp Guide. It was bad. Okay, I think... I think there's an easier way to do this. So, undo. If I just go to Mixed Color Palette... There we go. And then... Let's see here. I grab this... There we go. The radioactive hot dog is returning. Just need to get the right colors. So. Ah. All right. Let's see here. I, I, I like how the, the the amount of UI breakage we're getting doing this. You can't really you can't really do the same amount of radioactive hot dogging. 
least not to the same. Hmm. Edit the scheme. I mean, it's getting there, but I mean. Definitely not to the same extent we with the radioactive hot dog. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Let's let's get the sound effects. We can make the, the radioactive ear cancer. Uh, which means I need to go hardware manager. Is it under sound? No. I forgot how you change system setup. Is it under system? 256 colors. Nope, that's not where it is. It is lagging quite badly. All right, let's see here. Mixed, sound, spooler. Why am I not seeing the driver install thing? Did they hide that? It's probably under selective install somewhere. Oh God, it's CompuServe. I forgot. Oh, wow. Who needs the radioactive hot dog? We have, we have CompuServe in neon pink. I, 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 my, I, I, I don't know how much more my brain can take. All right, I'm just going to fix the audio card. And then we're going to do the last upgrade. So multimedia device support. And then I know the, we'll do a pro audio spectrum. Okay. Next, 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 done. Okay, we let that install. Yes, I miss CompuServe, I really do. We'll let this install and then we're going for broke. Radioactive, radioactive ear canyon. No, we're, we're going for the, um, for the, um, Let's just say there's some really unique sound effects with this version of OS2. Okay, and we've lost... We need more epic beats. We need more beats of the shouting. I swear to God, if anyone gets that reference, I'm impressed. Here. All right, and then as soon as that's done, since we fixed, okay, shut down. God, I really miss old school CompuServe with the CIS. All right, so now that that's there, the last thing we gotta do is we need to switch the audio card to the pro audio spectrum and hopefully that will work if not and then after that we're going to do the final upgrade i really do miss all 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 old school um this can't be served. I remember the very first internet forums I ever went on were the CompuServe forums, as well as learning how to script Unix or Linux to be able to do Go PPP Connect. Let's see here. Uh, what broke? Yeah, yeah, I know you don't. Well, I heard a system beep, so that's promising. So yeah, I know you don't know where your sound blaster is. Was that a startup noise? 
Hold on, was that an actual startup noise? Let me turn that up. Okay, apparently I don't have startup noises. This makes me sad. I've got beeps, which we didn't have before, but... God, I don't even remember my old... Let me out. And that is glorious. All right. I'm going to bring this to an end. So we're doing the last upgrade. We are doing the last upgrade. We're doing the last upgrade if I have the disc to do the last upgrade. Oh, don't tell me I... I should have this. Hold on. Why isn't it in my projects folder? Ah, here it is. Um... Bear with me. I have to extract some files. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a little tired. So this will this will be this is the end. This is the end. Press F3 to repeat your last search. Press. No, that doesn't work. That definitely does not work. Okay. You know what I just noticed is I don't think I have the boot CDs for this one. I think I have to make the discs. Oh, but for once we're going to be able to make the discs in OS2. You know, what? I'll I'll take I'll take that. I didn't Oh no. Oh, please don't do this to me. I'm having some you Ah. Uh... I'm, hold on, I'm having a cursor problem. So I'm hoping you guys can hear me still. Basically, one of the windows grabbed focus. I think it's the file extractor. And I just lost my keyboard and my ability to type. Hold on. Okay, I, I just got re-control of it back. 4, 2, 4. Five, eight, six. Kill. Yeah, I'm trying to figure... Uh, I've had this problem before. No one's ever been able to give me a good solution to it. Two, three. There we go. Yeah, I had to... I have the keyboard back. I have the keyboard back. This the Linux keyboard is what went screwy, not the um, not the um, um, shoot, my brain's a little fuzzled. My brain's a lot fuzzled. Okay, I'll be I'll be real honest here. So let's put the warp connect disk in. I actually wonder if this will prompt to do the upgrade on the fly for me. I doubt it, but because I don't think OS2 has any sort of overrun. So we put the boot disk in. And then what we have to do, boot images, which is right there. How do you, it must be the other, no, I think this is the right one. Okay, yeah, it has to be the other one. It's a two CD set and the CDs are mislabeled. Because of course they are. CD-ROM, load image, client. There we go, install. The operating system can't run. Okay. CD install. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so that's not how you start the setup. I actually think this CD is bootable, but... Uh, let's see here. CD. How do you... St you gotta make the boot disks. Alright, so if I go to boot images... I guess that's what we need. All right, so if I go to boot images on this desk. And then I put disk zero, I reboot. Will we get the final upgrade? Oh, no, no. The answer is no because of stupidity. I'm finishing this out on a high note. I don't care what it takes at this point. I am finishing this. Okay. So disk zero. I just have to change the extension so this can do the right thing with it. Desktop, disk zero. All right. There we go. Now, now we should actually be getting somewhere. I hope. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah. Okay. So that's booting from floppy disk. And then while that boots from floppy disk. OS2 disk 1 CD disk 1 CD. I'm sorry if I'm ignoring the chat. Okay, OS2 installation. Copyright 2004. Or 2001. W4, so this is the last pressed disk. Alright, last one. I am somewhat ready to call it quits. We've been doing this for 8 hours. But... Damn, you I I I'm going to I I you guys are amazing. I there's nothing else I can say to that. Okay. I hate that you always have to do the you know, I know why you have to always launch the installer from floppy disk. It's because IBM's own freaking machines didn't support El Torado booting until like two thousand five or six. Uh, okay, we can put music back on. Oh, too loud. Far too loud. And now we are in the home stretch. Okay, just goes in. So while we do this final final thing yeah well i didn't expect to be going until almost nine i really really did not like i didn't expect all these problems but i i, I did not want to make this a three-part thing so i i was going to be determined okay i i'm putting the disc in it doesn't apparently like this floppy Oh, I see why. Hold on. Uh... There we go. The file name was a little bit off. So, Goff Alice, if you want to see horrible, horrible boot processes, I highly recommend ARM. Um, like 
seriously. It's ridiculous on how insanely bad ARM's boot processes are. <sighs> I used to work... Oh, God. I forgot about this. VCU created VLM compatibility modules. I forgot that this version of Warp used LVM. Like... L L LVM as in Linux virtual mo things. Um, Navjack, I worked with John Masters on that in 2012. <sighs> I am not going to go into more detail about that, but let's just say there's a lot of things that ARM fucked up, and that was royally. Lo uh, logical volume, I imagine. It's not the Linux one, um, although it's very similar. Yeah. Uh, Soulcatcher, I tried to install OS2. Uh, you... Well, l look how long the stream is, and we're still not done. I know John Masters. Um, he knows his stuff, but the problems with ARM... There has been so much institutional backlash... That it's only now that John is actually making headway in solving them. Um, because he could have... The problems were known when before Ubuntu even had its ARM port. Because I was there at the beginning. And it was known even further. But it was poo-pooed pretty hard by people that want to make life more difficult. I'm hoping John is successful, but... It's a sore subject for me because of my personal experience dealing with ARM devices here. So, that's all I'm going to say on that. So, hopefully, this will actually install. This was, this was IBM's last push at making OS2 viable. You know, they supported Logical Volume Manager. They support Samba. They supported a lot of things to try and keep OS2 relevant. And it all kind of failed. Oracle database upgrade stream. So, honestly, the problem is that Oracle would probably sue me. Like, I, I kid you not. Oracle would probably sue me. I like how Netscape Communicator is listed right here at the beginning. Um, because Oracle would consider my streams as commercial use. And they would probably F me over. I am very hesitant to do anything with any Oracle products. So, uh, I don't want to format my volume. Um, see, so yeah, that's fine. Components from a previous release uh, have been detected. Look at all the stuff that isn't going to get migrated forward. This is the first time that while doing an OS2 upgrade, we've actually seen some stuff. Yeah. No, touching Oracle, I would like to do a video on Oracle for NetWare because holy cow, it's crad. Base product level is not valid. Is not valid. Incorrect version. The existing version of OS two cannot be installed over the existing version. This version of OS two cannot be installed. Did I miss an upgrade? Did I miss an upgrade somewhere? Oh, this is warp server for e-business. Yeah, no, that this is actually valid because this is warp server. Um Shoot, did I use the wrong disks? Hold on. 
Hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. All right, th this may not be the disaster. I, I think, I think this is, this is a legitimate error. Um. Yes, I've got one. I've got another. Um, I've got another. Let's see here. I've got another thing marked OS2, but it looks like it's exactly the same thing. I think this is eServer, and I somehow don't... Bear with me for a moment here, folks. Okay. Are we about to do, you know what? I'm going to do the thing that we did before. I And I'm going to override the upgrade. I don't want to go through all the trouble of downloading it and, and such. All right, so um, DIR sys level okay because this worked before sys level uh disk free I just need to find the sys. There it is. Copy sys level OS2 OS2 install. All right. And then we just need to restart and try again. Because this is a horrible idea, and there's no possible way this will work. Because this is... Hail Mary time! Okay. Hail Mary. I hate how long this takes to boot up. Yeah, Soul Catcher, I blame you. You, you get on stream... You know, the hype train dies and then and then OS2 stops working. It's pretty much right up there with um, we got on OS2 and, you know, yeah. It's your fault. I, th th that, that's, that's where I'm going for. I'm not quitting. I'm, I'm, I'm still not giving up. I'm going to, at some point, track down all the, um, Soulcatcher, I am, of course, just, I'm just ribbing you. Um, I, I, um, but the fact of the matter is that the last time is we thought something was working. The chat was saying, look, OS2 is working. And then it, we lost, we got stuck for about two hours, if not longer. This is the final hurdle. This is this this is the last straw. Uh this, you know, this is literally this is the moment before Niles ends up naked in the cafe. And if anyone gets that reference, you're my hero. Okay. It's still booting off floppy disk. Can I bypass not one, but two version checks in this horrible, horrible install process from hell? What dog passed? Wait, did I miss anything about a dog? Okay. Also, I have to buy some CDRs. I, I am losing my voice. <clears throat> oh, Frasier. Oh, the dog. <clears throat> yeah, the dog did pass. Dog lived a long time, though. I had a dog like that. All right. Accept the volume. Load the system files. Do not do the format. 
That's fine. That's fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hamana. Hamana. Guys, I think. I think. I think. Come on. Just. Yes! That's another version check broken. <laughs> yes! In your face, OS2. <laughs> In your face, IBM. You can freaking bite me. <laughs> because... I I will. I will as they say. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> War OS I like how the messages have gone lazier. You know, before we were seeing all sorts of advertising, you know, about how OS2 is awesome. And now it's like, this is just a convenience pack. <laughs> yes. In your face, IBM. Make your copy protection easy. Um... Easier, harder to break than copying a single file. Yes. 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 Okay. We are in the home stretch. <laughs> Soul Catcher, I'm not going to even justify that with a comment. Uh, well, you know, it's not the the thing is that uh, Jan, Jan, it's not that the stronger encryption didn't help the license check. It's that they did a Sony and they used the same random number. You know, you just can copy it over and over again. Yeah, that well, frame buffer. You're not wrong, but the idea of operating system DLC makes me want to hurt you. Did anyone else besides me see that it was that it was creating object deleted sex? No, we do not talk about the CD-ROM DLC. We do not talk about the CD-ROM DLC. No, 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 no. We don't talk about the CD-ROM DLC. I'm just going to hit next and we're going to keep going. Oh, do you know what I just noticed? This is the first version of OS2 that supports the Euro. Because you realize that the earlier ones predate the Euro. So, yes. Look, it's it's even gotten shinier, so we can install hardware support. Uh, oh, good. It lets me install none of that. None of that. Install. Yes. Uh, your NetBIOS settings have been adjusted. I don't care. Cert printer. So, if you really want to chow... Oh, my God. I just had a horrible idea. You could technically add the Euro to um, Windows 3.1. You could define it as a character set. So, Soulcatcher, that's because um, Microsoft designed early X11. Like, I'm completely serious. That's motif. Oh... Guys, this is the last progress bar. 
this is the last progress bar. But yes, no. Um, if you want, um, Microsoft created Motif, and IBM weighed in on it. If just to, for those who don't know, let's let me give you a little context. Little bit of context. Let's go full screen. So, uh, yeah, you know what? We can do this tab. So, if we go to Motif and we go to. Are you kidding? There's, there's no Wikipedia page for Motif. Fine. Motif uh, Unix. So this is classic motif. So yeah, you can definitely see the resemblance here and there. And then if we look at Windows 95 Chicago beta, okay, I, I missed it on Wikipedia. I, I am tired, I will admit. Uh, let me go to Toasty Tech. Because he has good photos of all this. If we go to... Let me find a good photo. There's one that really exemplifies it. Yeah, so if you look at this Windows 95 beta, look at the diamond icons and the checkbox. Motif was designed... What is what became Windows 95's look and feel. Especially if you look at some of the other ones, like the fly-downs. The only real differences are the true type fonts, which X didn't have as a concept at the time. Um, so, Motif... Yes. GNU Step does, in fact, have a similar influence. So, Microsoft created what is essentially the UI style for Presentation Manager. They created Motif, which was used for... Uh, CDL and they all and IBM basically reused their work to create um, the later versions of OS 2. So now you know where the, Fo the Fox 3D's stuff came from. And yes, you're right, GeoWorks was more motif. Um, I would love to do something with GNU Step, Open Step, Next Step. God, I, 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 I have so many things that I would, I, you know, I have two kidneys, I, I'd give one up for Next Cube. I, I, I might regret that when I then see the next thing I really want, but you know, I um I at when the Darwin 1.0.1 uh, and 0.3 source code surfaced, me and Neozed actually sat, compiled, and um um compiled it and made it work. You can actually recompile the the mock kernel on next step as well as a good part of driver kit and so forth and so on. Um, Motif was made by DEC, HP, and OSF, but the display language and standard was created by Microsoft. Uh, people are lighting their next cube on fire. Uh, Goff Alice, that, that is the most depressing thing I've seen. Okay. Hey, look, once again, there's no actual diff here. So I'm just going to click save and hope for the best. Okay. You know, I, I'm just happy we don't have people licking lithium ion batteries for the lithium inside. But who the fuck? You know, the. You know, like, I can understand people buying SGI machines for display pieces because God knows they look nice. This is the last upgrade. This is, like, totally the last upgrade. And what could... You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to say the thing. I'm going to say the thing. What could possibly go wrong at this point? Oh, crap. I didn't take a backup. Technically, the last patch is Fix Pack 14, but I don't hate myself to install it. I don't hate myself enough to install it. Well, Frame Buffer, so far I've met Com Comcrap has stayed connected for eight, uh, nine hours. Holy shit, I've been streaming for nine hours. 
Soul Catcher. Well, just keep your pants on. This is this is a PG thirteen stream. Let's see here. I, oh, I don't want to think about people smashing old computers. Um, the last time I ate was before the stream started. I've only gone up once to take a leak. As soon as the stream is over, I'm going to eat Domino's because I am in the zone. I, I the thing is that. IBM made half an operating system. I can work with half a meal. I went there. I went there. So, for the viewer stats for tonight, the peak is we got to 93 viewers. Uh, we're currently at 53 because, holy crap, we went late. Um, so, but this is the longest stream by... Lo um by loads like real loads <sighs> okay so there's the os2 you notice that the we now have an internal revision i have to wonder if like this was a beta build that they forgot to turn that off because that's how the os2 betas identify themselves Well, I have bad ideas. I mean, I'm sitting here. I spent the t all day spent installing OS2. It's not like it's a good thing. Um, it's not like, you know, I'm having any good ideas. I'm just installing OS2, man. Oh, yes. I forgot. This version supports UDF. Probably as a pre... I think it even supports DVDs. No, but I came close to smashing my ThinkPad. And to be fair, it's an IBM product. I'd probably just hurt myself. We're almost there. The home stretch. No, it, no, we're not. It's still transferring files. No, we are not going to down. So, Benny, this also supports JFS, as in the same JFS. As modern... Linux. So, as we get close to winding down the stream, um, please feel free to uh, please follow me, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter. Um, if you really enjoy my content, feel free to consider supporting me on Patreon um, or doing the amazing things you guys have done. Like, Jesus, I I'm looking at that chat revenue and I'm still mind boggled. So, yeah. Um, Let's let's get a theme song to end it. Let's get a theme song to end it. Epic beats, man. Epic beats. Oh look, it's installing books. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, so I had an entire discussion of what it would take to mine Bitcoin on a Commodore pet. And I hate the fact that I was having this conversation. After Hy Soul Catcher, e the fact of the matter is that hijacking my stream is really easy. You just have to dangle something shiny in front of me. It's, look, it's still installing a print client. How many times have we told it we don't need a printer? Like, how many times have we told it? How many printers has it tried to install? Well, we were having an entire discussion, Goff Alice, because I have a Commodore 128. Um, so we were discussing how you would be the benchmark bit, uh, a Commodore 128 by mining Bitcoin. Because you could mine it on 6502 in 40 columns mode. You could ma benchmark it in 8502 mode in 80 columns mode. Or you could benchmark it on the Z80. Because, you know, Commodore not only had one, but... F or you could plug in a 1571 disk drive and, and mine Bitcoin on your fracking disk drive. And no, I am not kidding. You could actually do this on a Commodore. Because Commodore was insane. 
So Dylan, I'm not going to do it on this stream. I don't know if I'll do it because I don't know if I hate myself that much. But you could mine Bitcoin on any PostScript printer. I'm going to let the chat think about this. Because you could easily upload a document to a printer that is a PostScript document that solves a SHA-255 hash and then prints out and then prints out the hash. So you could mine Bitcoin on a LaserJet 4. In, in fact, it would be one of the most portable Bitcoin miners because it would work on all the PostScript printers from beginning to end. You just have to make sure that the font that you're printing the hash out is installed. Which really says a lot about PostScript. Uh, you could do it with PostScript level 1 because the floating point operation... The, uh, the only thing that's a little hard is I don't think PostScript has rotation operators but you could definitely do it pathological postscript documents are a joy of mine um no postscript is not the wd-40 of printers it's the duct tape of printers it's the paper jam of printers wd-40 is the thin paper that goes through the printer and never jams it's the high quality it is still installing freaking netscape communicator god i should have actually installed a network card so we could have gone online with communicator but that would be trusting that os2 would stay stable enough long enough to actually I I mean it is still installing Netscape Communicator it is still installing Netscape Communicator how do you not name a printer Barb Marley Jason, Neozid, think on your sins. Think on your sins. <sighs> yes, so, oh look, we're now installing TCP IP. I don't know. I've been jamming all night. I've been installing OS2. <laughs> My poor hard drive. Oh, I like this. OS2 for e-business. Its scope is broad, spanning the spectrum from private intranet. God, remember intranets? Extranets and the public internet. And it's scalable, too. Which is funny because OS2 didn't support multiprocessing uh, SMP except in some special versions. Are you ready for e-business? OS2 warp server for e-business and network computing. The future is here today. The, uh, it, oh, the camera floated off. Soulcatcher, a lot of things have tried to end me. So, I just want to say that we have upgraded from 1987 to 2001, and it was a really shitty journey. Like, it was the opposite, you know, this experience has been like March of 2020 to May of 2021, except it was OS2. In turn... I mean, it, it literally, it, 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 so many people worked on this and it was such, oh, yeah, actually that last comment, not so much. I, I shouldn't be making light of the pandemic. I really shouldn't be. So I apologize for that. Sorry, it. I am tired, but fair enough. 
I really, really should not. But, I mean, this is, like, one of the worst things of the 90s. So. I know stress and humor is a coping mechanism, but people will take my comments out of context, and I don't want to sound insensitive. I realize the moment I said it, it could be taken the wrong way, so so be it. Um, Bill G, I, I, I keep seeing you in my chat, and I keep thinking Bill Gates. I know you're not actually Bill Gates in my chat, so... Yeah, but there are people that will just come and take it out of context. It's it, it it's it, it's why I, I made sure to say something the moment I realized what I said it, you know. I mean there are besides, there are worse things in life. I don't know what they are, but they do exist. I am looking at my projects folder. So and I'm looking I just realized that I have a copy of OS of Lotus One Two Three for Government Edition. It's still installing TCP/IP service, and we don't have a fracking network card installed. What is it installing? And you know the worst part is that that TCP/IP services is actually from OS Two One Point Three, and still has sixteen bit code in it. You get early. That, that is unfortunate. You get early, easy access to new features and updates for our OS2 Warp 4, OS2 Warp Server for eBusiness in advance. So they're talking about perpetual updates uh, of eyes of the internet or CD for a product that's already dead. I actually can't see if I've gotten any dislikes. Okay. So... We are approaching the 10 hour mark, which is not a good thing. I believe that is the upper limit of what YouTube um, lets me live stream. Let me see here. No, I've got 92 up likes. So, okay. The disgust in your face. Soulcatcher, I'm, I, I want people to meme me on Twitter. I, I'm a walking meme. So, Bill G, did you run your support BBS on Synchronet? Because if you didn't, you've been do you did it wrong. So, Go Goff Alice, that's just a trap zero. How do you run? You can't run an OS two support BBS on Twitter, Bill G. I'm just I'm saying you cannot run a. Uh, okay, Maximus is okay. It it's. It's not Synchronet, which is what I consider the OS2. OS2 installation is now complete. So the question is, will it boot? Bump, 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 bump. Will it blend? What could possibly go wrong? I already tempted that. Soulcatcher, I already tempted fate with that. The thing is, Goff Alice, it could epic because it is an IBM system. Think on that. It's booting. It's trying to boot. OS2, you know, I don't normally believe in destroying retro, retro, you know, antique anything. But if I had a Blendtec blender and a full set of OS2 floppy disks, I would be very sorely tempted to combine those two things. Just because of the amount of dislike I have for OS2 at times. God, maybe that should be my new Patreon goal. Is to buy a Blendtec blender and more OS2 floppy disks. 
Because would anyone really blame me if I if I tried to blend OS2? You know what? I could throw a Vista CD in. Holy cow, look at the lag. Oh, feature installer. Feature installer. I can install... Holy crap, it is still lagging. Look at this. this look at that poor thing lagging. And it's still running the tutorial program from the previous version of OS2. I kid you not. It's so hold on. Let, let, let's the this is the tutorial program for OS2 4.0. So it's still running the tutorial for the previous version five years earlier. This upgrade pro. I've had Windows upgrades that l that clean up better. I've done in place Windows Server, but I just want to look at this. We can install Java 1.3. We can install Java 1.1. We can install the IBM web browser. We can install the OS2 toolkit. And we can install Macromedia Flash Player for OS2. Oh my god, I just realized something. Does anyone else in chat remember the demented cart uh, cartoon movie? That flash animation that was about 30 minutes long? That was just like a source of memes on every message board for years? I could run the SFW on Macromedia Flash Player on OS2 with that. God, I could I could browse new grounds. Fuck it, I'm installing this. Oh, I have to put the other install the other CD in. Yes, it's a two CD set. We're not we're not quite done yet. So the reason the flash player doesn't take up space is it's probably because it's already installed. Oh, man. You may only use this program if you're a current licensee for OS2 Warp 4, Warp Server for eBusiness, or Workspace On Demand R2 or R3. If you, for each license... So, guys, I just want you to look at that image. That's Mozilla. That is Monzilla. Yeah, we're going to install it. I recognize that dragon too. I I, I recognize th these are looking very familiar. Like, haven't we been here before? <laughs> uh, would you? <laughs> hey, look, another microism. Would you like to change the default browser? Yes. Would you like to associate HTML files? Yes. Well, Jan, uh, Goff Alice, it, it's not legally cool. It's on fire. I am honestly surprised that that, that made it through IBM legal. I really am. This is massive. The worst part is that I'm running it on a 200 megahertz Pentium. And we're also going to install the SDK. We are going to compile Hello World. Screw it. We have gone through all this trouble. We are going to we are going to install Hello World. And John, um, installing applications to a top level directory was standard practice on OS2. Uh, do we want to view the readme file? Sure, let's view the readme file. Oh, I was expecting it to open the web browser. Oh, well. Let's see here. Oh, look, the source code's available. The source web browser is based on source code from Mozilla.org, which is under the Mozilla public license. You can get the source code from... Uh, there's no way... Th can someone type that in and see if that actually 
is there. Oh man, warp. I almost want to try and compile it, but it seems like a bad idea. The web browser requires long file names. It must be installed on HPFS partition. It doesn't. Wow. I'm hurting reading some of these. So the URL was ftp.software.ibm.com slash ps slash product slash warpzilla. All right, I'm going to minimize this one so we can come back to it. Or I guess we can't because uh, it's going to stop the install until I close it, isn't it? Okay, now that I've minimized it, how do I bring it back? Uh, it should have gone up here to the taskbar, but it didn't. Uh, is it this one? Yes. I really wish I should turn up the resolution. Warpzilla was maintained to Firefox 17. And look, it even kept a lapsed time. And you must reboot to activate these changes. You mu do not reboot. Be but this tells me I do should not reboot between product installations. Make up your freaking mind. <laughs> Oh god, it's actually going to start it. It's starting it. It's making my profile Netscape. Just hit finish. Oh. Oh. Um it's gone the plaid. <laughs> it's it Help. Help. Oh, man. Netscape, it opened. Oh, God, I forgot about this. It, the Java installer installs through, through Netscape as an applet. I'm not even kidding you. This, this, this is how the Java 2 is installed, as an applet through Netscape. So if I click English. It's it's going. Technically, you could run Netscape, actual Netscape 1.0. Look, it's actually loading an applet. Oh my god, it's actually doing it. I should I should stop. I, I I should really just stop. Um, it's it's struggling. I how much memory did I give this VM? I gave this VM. It's a two hundred megahertz Pentium one. With 16 megabytes of RAM. Ah, that explains it. That explains why. So, yes, the installer for Java on Netscape is an applet. Oh, this is painful. This is painful. Yeah, okay, I think we need to give OS2 some more memory, like, now. Because, um, yeah, yeah, like, we're, we're doing, I don't care if it's a hard crash. We're, we're going to finish installing this, but, yeah, this needs to have a lot more memory. Petro, if you ever want to see horror, try compiling Firefox from source.
But, um, yeah. I don't know. I, I have this... I have this horrible idea of installing SQL Server for OS2, Microsoft SQL Server for OS2. Um, and no, Goff Alice, OS and compiling X11 isn't hard because you don't have to find 50 million dependencies. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Rip. I think I gave it too much memory. <laughs> Yeah, it it trapped. Um Right, let's let's try 64. I think I think I may have broken it. H HPFS was not <laughs> was not what I call the most stable thing known to mankind. Um Jan, I stopped hugging my back up. Uh, so frame buffer HPFS mini is the tiny HPF partition um, that that um, is used in ring two to bring up the rest of the system. Like the the driver design for OS two is fucking nightmare, pure nightmare fuel. Uh oh. Red alert! Red alert! Let's try 48. Um, I think the VM had it. I think the file system corrupted itself. And uh, this is why HPFS sucks. Let's see here. Um, Goth Alice, iMake is not that bad. I think I think I broke it. We could try running check disk. Please boot. I command you to boot the power the power of the pa the uh the uh the power of IBM compels you. I'll give you a nice juicy support contract if you boot. I guess it doesn't really want a nice juicy support contract. How did how did I F this up so badly? I borked it. I I legitimately borked it. Let's let's check desk it. But um I I I honestly I honestly think well, new jack, but the fact of the matter is that it just crashed. I want to run check disk. I want to see how far gone it actually is. But um, so let let's let's recap. It's taken us ten hours to install four versions of OS two. We've had multiple file system corruptions. Um, we've had to deal with really really cruddy file systems. Um, I, yeah, I I just want to see if I can check disk it back to life. I've had to run Monzilla 1.0, rebranded as the IBM web browser. I've had to install multiple versions of OS2. I had to look at Macromedia Flash. Yeah. Um, Optimi the fact of the matter Goff Alice is I worked I did volunteer work at ICANN. I understand DNS like on a protocol level. You can't be I you there there is a point where all you have is optimism because you know that it that is the only thing that's keeping the internet going. Trust me, FTL at Mixer was running on optimism and coffee. So, all right, chat, I want you to put your bets down if um, if we successfully manage to check this, this back to working. I mean, if you really want to see how much I hate, love torturing myself, I'm just going to drop, I'm going to drop a link. I wrote a DNS parser. 
But I didn't only just write a DNS parser. I wrote a DNS parser in Ada. Like, and I mean like real Ada. Complete with Transaction Manager. Because Ada is the best programming language. And if you ever want to see the most broken thing known to mankind, I highly recommend it how DNS compression works. I will find where I put it in the code because uh, I think I just broke Goth Alice. I think I think the ADA was a little bit too much because, you know, it is the best programming language, but I've got an entire rant that explains how it works right here. Uh, is this done booting yet? No. All right. We're going to try and check disk this HPFS partition. And if it's dead, it's dead. <laughs> so, Goff Alice, the entire thing was designed. So, this is how I got personally effed over by Donald Trump. And I mean that in a very literal sense. Because he actually worked to kill the people that was funding this project. Um, so I, yes, I got screwed over by Donald Trump directly. <sighs> and, and people wonder why I look at OS2 and it doesn't even bug me. I, so I applied for funding from the Open Technology Fund. I got it. And then, um, well, I, yeah, that basically sums that up. All right. So let's see here. Do we have check disk? I don't know what disk check disk is on, which is an interesting question. I think it's probably on, it's gotta be on one of these disks. Maybe it's on the install disk. Goth Alice, why is it a small world? Do I know you from somewhere? Or do you know me from somewhere? Okay. I don't have check disk. Did IBM really take check disk off the boot disk? And I realize that that is entirely a thing that they may have actually done. Because, yes. here uh yeah so i will just note for the record that i am an opinionated guy and there are people who are going to hate me for it i don't have check disc on this image because apparently ibm doesn't feel the need to include check disc anymore fine i'll use a different version of os2 jesus christ it's it it it, it, it I'm okay. This is okay. This is fine. <laughs> um, I checked disc two. Yeah. No, apparently... It, uh, Jason, we're not even getting far enough to hit the emergency recovery mode. And it's you hit all F1 at the OS2 bar. Seven more minutes. I'm going to go to 930 and then I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to look at the fact that you guys blew my mind multiple times today because holy crap, you guys are awesome and awesome. And uh, Goff Alice, I can't, I, I don't drink. And the fact of the matter is I used to work, uh, I, I used to do bullshit at, with the Free Software Foundation. And you want to know something? After that, I don't need to drink anymore. Do you want me to keep going until 10? I'll keep going until 10. I, I Well, actually, I don't want to go all the way to 10 because there is a limit. Hey, look! There's the check disk command. <laughs> so the older versions of OS2 still knew what check disk were. And I really hope I don't sound like a bog art or similar. Okay. 
Um, I want to change disk. Go to command prompt, please. CMD. Nice. There we go. Put disk 2 in. Check disk CF. I want to see if I can bring it back. Bring it back, man. Rise. Rise. If you really want to see... I've seen things, man. All right. I, guys, I feel like I really should pull the plug here because, Jesus Christ, I've been streaming a lot longer than I intended. I just want to see if I could reboot. I really, really, really want to see if this will come back after a reboot. I want to see if I can rise OS2 from the dead. I want to see... Has found and corrected a minor file system error. I want to see... Okay, that's more than a minor file system error. Look, Netscape did what it's supposed to. It corrupted itself. Look at all the Netscape corruption errors. Come on... So you, what I'm going to do is before I shut down, I'm going to go hands-free of the camera and we're going to look over my project shelf. Um, and I will let you guys start brainstorming ideas. Yeah. So we're going to see if it boots. And then while that does it, I'm going to switch the OBS mic. Mute that one. All right. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Okay. I command you to boot. I command you to boot. Dasa boot. Seer. Do das das boot. So, I'm just going to note, for the record, I brought OS2 back to life. I I, I, I I don't know what else to say. So, anyway, I'm going to just look at my project shelves. Oh, my, legs, my leg is asleep. And I'm just going to kind of look at some of these. Like, I might have this thing called Oracleware, although that's missing components. And I can't actually see chat, but some of these might be a good stream for another day. Like, oh, you know, I, 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 I'm I thinking this might be a good one. Or, yeah, yeah, some of these I could definitely, I mean, some of these we've already done. This one I made a video about. And then I've still got, I've got some really fun stuff that I need to go through and dump. Yes, that did say Unix PC. And then I got my bike in the corner. Those are the mail call things for the future. And that is an ice cream truck that's going by. And those are two copies of DBase. And I just realized... I should have put the droid cam on big because there is actually a few more things I want to show. You know, multiple versions of NetWare, WordStar, WordPerfect, more WordStar. Just giving a little project. I want you guys to think about that and then figure out what you want to see on a future stream. Uh, yeah, we're close to the end. Yes, that was a copy of Magic Desk. That was a copy of Magic Desk. Yes. Oh. All right, folks. I'm going to drop my... I'm. Let me switch the mics. Because at this point, you are amazing. All right, I'm going to drop the Twitter. I'm going to drop the... The Patreon. 
holy crap, guys, you just, you're about to put me over $300 of total donations. That is nuts. So, and I will drop the Discord link because I, 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 I don't even know what to say at this point. You are all amazing. Let me know. I'll put a community post up. Look at my projects shelf, and you'll you'll be able to tell me what you want. So, as usual, this is End Commander signing out, and I just kicked OS2 in the butt. Boom. For a total stream hour of not of nine hours 30 minutes and until next time i will see you all later and i'm oh, no that's not how i sign out this is end commander wishing you all a pleasant day and to and uh and until the next time bye bye